Good morning, Ohio. My name is Addison Ray. And my name is Nathan. And today we'll be, we'll be streaming Esports Ohio Fortnite for the entire state right here at Ohio University. Before we get into things, we'd like to thank, on behalf of Ohio or Esports Ohio, uh, we'd like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And we would like to shout out to PNC and Lenovo for making Esports possible at Ohio University. So let's get into it. Fortnite, right? This is the first big one uh, for the regionals down here on campus. So it is awesome for, uh, for Esports Ohio Regionals. Uh, we'll be hosting this morning. Uh, what do you know about Fortnite? Anything crazy? Well, all I have to see is like who has the best skin, who has the best like build, you know, the most important parts. Well, I feel like this, who has the best skin is the most important part, honestly. Yeah, well, uh, clearly, I mean, the winning team is going to be the one going out overall. Uh, I've done a little bit of point researching to make sure that we get all this right. It looks like the first, so first place, this is the last team left in the uh, whole arena map, I would say, is going to get 30 points. Uh, each team will get two points per elim. So when you, well, elim, what we mean is when another team uh, would eliminate a player, they go down to zero health, right? Uh, they'll get two points for that. Uh, we'll be playing a course of, uh, I think, three matches, and then the team with the most points overall wins for the state. Uh, and then, of course, here regionally, we will also have a winner. So they could, of course, be one in the same, or it could just be uh, one team from anywhere in Ohio that could win. I mean, that's awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looks like we're getting right into it. We have our spectator moving around. Uh, looks like everyone just got off of the bus, and we are going to different towns. Uh, one big thing to note about the Fortnite map as it is right now, there's a lot of mobility that's going around. A lot of uh, ease of access. I believe there are cars, trains, that you can go pretty much anywhere if you put your mind to it. Looks like right now we are watching players who are getting downed out of the spawn, which is really early on. That was a... Yeah. It looks like there will be builds available for this map as well. We're watching a couple players starting to get some resources from the different houses. Uh, what are your thoughts on the current strategy? I, I know we were talking about some bets earlier on. What do you think is going to happen, David? Well, it's definitely interesting seeing someone get uh, get eliminated as they're <laughs> as they're going down, not even reaching the bottom. And to see what kind of teams we have, I don't think we can see the team names which school belongs to which. We can see their player names. So it's following uh, the team of Zot, South, and Lunar with the I think that's the Omega symbol. Yeah, there were a couple things that I noticed. Um, Fortnite did a recent update. Uh, like, they went on to the next season or chapter. Uh, they do a lot of these things where they switch out the weapons, the different abilities. Yeah. Um, one key thing that I've noticed is you now have the ability to have like, wings. Um, you can fly around. I, I don't know if they're called Valkyrie wings, uh, uh, but it's supposed to be super interesting, uh, especially with the flight mechanics. Another item added to mobility-wise. I've also noticed that if this is consistent, assuming weapons are going to be good, you will be able to see things like the Zeus Thunderbolt, which if you have seen some uh, different clips about Fortnite, it will allow a player to float into the air and shoot a literal lightning at the uh, opponents of theirs. It's supposed to be very powerful, but it does put you in the air at a slight disadvantage. So we will see different uses of that, I assume. Different uses of the wings as ways of mobility. And I assume we'll be using, of course, the normal Fortnite weapons, your shotguns, yeah. your uh, different rifles, and different snipers as well. I've seen I've seen specifically with the wings on, like, TikTok, it would be clips of an Ariana Grande just <laughs> using the Zeus lightning bolts on people below. <laughs> well, I think the lightning bolt's super cool. I, I don't it play at a professional nice. level, of course. I've seen, um, it's also so cool. I feel like I would be really terrified, though, if it's like a little, like, Fortnite sim flies above and then out of nowhere it just <laughs> blasted by lightning bolts. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was super interesting when we saw right off the bat players getting downed out of the bus. I mean, yeah. I have never played in a game mode where I've not even been able to touch the ground before. To see that happen in an actual game is very, very impressive. Very efficient by whoever, whoever took them down. I mean, that's a lot of skill to be able to land early and get a kill. I mean, you think everyone drops around the same area. I mean, the math that goes into that Fortnite really tries to prevent that from happening. So it means a lot of skill on the player. It looks like right now, from we're seeing, a lot of people are still farming resources, getting meds, uh, medical being different things that will allow shield or health regen for when the map will go on to its later stages where we're in battles. One big thing, I actually had placed two bets on what would happen. Uh, when we've seen Fortnite competitive items, uh, when you watch the, of course, very, very professional games, and when we also see more lower-key competitive matches, there's really two ways it goes. It'll either be a big free-for-all, where a lot of players will, of course, be 
uh, I think gun ho is a good term to use, uh, letting them all out. Uh, and it'll be very much a huge fight, a uh, battle royale, as you can say. Uh, or it'll go very much into the survivability of this, where we'll see a lot of players with a lot of medical items, uh, using their builds to be able to build really highly and build defensively, and then trying to survive, not so by fighting, but by outlasting. Speaking of builds, there is, um... They are currently... They, they, this team currently just drove a car right into a tree, I don't really want to say their names out loud, but there is uh, Daeji and then Juan.lol and Anbu Tickledew is currently currently spectating at the moment. They are building. They seem to be in a fight, actually, but I'm not too sure how it's going. It looks like the team we are spectating right now, uh, the one including Daeji, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Juan, uh, they are winning. Actually, it seems by a very large margin. We noticed the player was running away from that fight. A great catch. Uh, it looks like they saw them running away. Um, of course, one quick thing to note would be that these are teams of three, right? Yeah. Very interesting. Looks like we're still moving around. Uh, the one interesting thing that I really noticed is that a lot of these players, it looks like, and not to say that I know anything about Fortnite, but it looks like it would be a almost regular game. It doesn't look like any players are really having one big strategy. It seems they all had kind of landing spots they went for. And they're all really working together right now. Uh, the people we're following right now, uh, they are taking a quick vehicle, and we have moved out. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you can see right now, the storm on our bottom right-hand side, you can notice that 2 out of 12, that is the different storm locations as it moves in towards our inner circle. Uh, I do not believe we can spectate the map right now, but as you can see from the right, some teams are starting to, uh, I'd say, bite the bullet for having to be in the storm too long. Yeah, you can also see at the top left of the screen the HUD showing how many players are left in the game as well as how many full teams. We've already had one team eliminated, and we're and there is twelve players down. Also, right below the HUD, you can see any takedowns that happen. I don't. That is currently not being shown on the spectator, which I've noticed as mm -hmm. this game has been slowly progressing. You can also see in the bottom left hand the team members that are on the same team of whoever is currently being spectated, how much shield they have and how much HP they have. So yeah. you can see also at the top left just be shown that someone got looked like healed or revived. It looks like down. Um, I would I would assume that that's what that signal is yeah, for. Yeah, there was another one of like the. I don't know what they call it, but like the plus sign that's used for like the medical plus sign. I would say that that might be a revival. Uh, I don't yeah. know the exact terminology uh, for that, but I would say that that is uh, teams reviving. Uh, one quick thing to note here. Uh, when we saw on our map, uh, the minimap, it uh, looks like a lot of teams are focusing on the key survivability factor right now. Um, when we're seeing people get down, I believe the reason we haven't seen too many teams go yet is because a lot of these teams are choosing to, instead of um, fight it out and go uh, free-for-all, basically, uh, down to the last man, we're instead seeing a lot of teammates deciding that instead of uh, losing that, they'd rather try to outlast, and they're running away from these fights, which is why we have, well, 30 teams left, only 79, 78 excuse me, uh, players Especially. left. These teams are choosing survivability to come back and revive their teams later instead of simply battling it out for a hopeful win. You can also see on the mini-map that there's teams, they're not interacting with each other, but even if they, like, watch us a little bit close to each other, they might end up running into one another. You can see there's a team marked by an orange arrow, a gray arrow, and the team that we're currently spectating all in around the same area right at the edge of the storm. Yeah, one good thing to note uh, with this survivability, I think it's definitely going to be that a lot of these teams are simply going to choose the wait out strategy. There's no point to throw away the win. So I feel like they're going to try to there's spend as much time as possible right running. Just swimming through liquid, but I saw a couple of his teammates were losing HP during that, but none of them were taking down. Yeah, it looks like they're choosing to just fight the winning battles and not fight the losing ones, which, well, Fortnite makes sense. I'm interested in this movement ability. This looks like one of the new abilities that was added for this map, actually. Uh, one big thing, because they followed this, uh, I, I would say, I, I believe, Greek God, the Zeus, uh, yeah. Hades, the, this very much um, mythological, I would say, is a good, way to, good word to use. Uh, this mythological God-type pattern. They've updated some of the map and some of the features. I believe now, with the medallions, which is a key metal item you can get from some of these ha uh, beans when you uh, fight them. It's like a mini boss challenge. You can get certain benefits from those. From the water we were noticing earlier, the little skulls that were around the body in the light green, that was allowing them a form of movement ability. They get so many uses of it. Looks like we're tuning into a fight right now. And look at that building. That is that so a, fast. The building is... <laughs> a little bit of self-sabotage thing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, look at that. It looks like we're watching... I would say maybe two teams fighting right now. We have a team, of course, or three. A team right here, a team up on the high ridge, and a team across the river. Um, oh, I can see. 
very interested right now. It looks like they're going to a stall out tactic because they can't push the high ground too much. Um, I'll, um, is, is that Lara Croft from Tomb Raider? Kind of looks like it. I don't know exactly. I believe skins are not enabled, or they all have the same skin. They all have the same one. And it, I, actually, it can't really tell from the face, but also can, it also could also be like um, Ellie from The Last of Us. I kind of like thinking like an older Ellie. Yeah, maybe oh, it's, it happening. might be by team. I think each team has a different skin they all use, but oh. the skins themselves are different overall. Because I haven't seen anything really fancy, like uh, yeah. Stormtrooper, for example, is like a, a character team in Fortnite. Just got taken down. We're at 28 remaining. There's a fight going on, but the building's definitely stopping any uh, sniping opportunities that. Yeah, one of the key factors of build I've noticed strategy-wise is uh, your ability to simply block any shots. By using higher level builds like the bricks or the metal, you're able to stop teams from getting the ability to simply shoot you with the sniper scope from halfway across the map. Yeah. Looks like we're seeing a lot of running around right now. A lot of action happening on the map. I'm trying to find some of that. Mm -hmm. We have... One key thing I quickly noticed there, it looked like the teammate off to the left of uh, the team we're spectating right now. They were using... Yeah, I, I completely understand what you're saying. Looks like oh, those are the wings we were mentioning earlier. It looks like a lot of the updates are being utilized quite thoroughly here. I wouldn't be surprised a lot of these updates for Fortnite, I don't know if they're exactly balanced to the different weapons that are being used as well. So it definitely could be players taking advantage of, advantage of the ability here. The ability to move higher or lower on the ground is definitely providing a lot of... Uh, Benefit. Look oh, at the uh, lightning. Was, was that the Zeus lightning. Yeah, that was the Zeus lightning. Oh, I think that completely destroyed the wooden structures right there, right? Yeah, that did a little, that did a lot. There's one team also just got eliminated. Yeah, I've heard it's area of effect as well. That's very interesting. It looks like the Zeus Lightning. Since I I play a a, mil, bo, uh, a mode called No Build that simply allows you to um, not have to worry about the, the ability to build so quickly like these teams are right now. Yeah. I believe what that Lightning does is because it's area of effect. It's allowing these teams to get rid of these structures really quickly. So they're using it less as a mode of attack and more as a mode of um, destruction. So they can prevent teams from being able to uh, get a severe benefit from simply building these structures to avoid shots. The Ellies are currently fighting inside the storm. I'm just going to just call them the Ellies. I don't know what's in there, but at least... <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like they used a mobility grenade to make sure they got to the other side. They're trying to get in front of this team, it looks like, right now. Fighting. It's a very extended fight going on right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know ex uh, what exact weapons they're looking at. It looks like a form of a, a rifle or submachine gun. And it looks like they're going really quickly. They're trying to push this one team uh, inside of this structure to keep them Seems like contained. Just one. It seems like there's just one or two people alive in there. It doesn't mean like the full roster if you look at how the minimap arrows are. Mm-hmm. I don't exactly know. It looks like they're trying to finish this one player right here. If we're looking on the minimap to the bottom right, you'll notice that there's four arrows there. So I believe it's a team of three and then a team of one. Yeah, it looks like he's right down there trying to prevent this team from getting down to him by building the best he can. It's incredibly extended. This person is keeping them let on for a very long time, but was just taken down. And it also, it seemed like the team dropped from 27 to 26 at that moment. Mm hmm. Looks like they dropped a crown as well. I'm interested in what that crown represents. I believe it's a bonus to XP. I don't know if it has any uh, implications in this game mode as well. Here's a use of a new healing item that has come out recently. Uh, it now provides uh, shield usage to the entire team, which is very, very good, especially in these larger games where medicine items can go very quickly in these longer drawn-out fights. Looks like we flashed over to another team, uh, watching them walking around, enjoying a nice view at the beach. Sadly, a beached boat. Just <laughs> lift off the cliff there into the mm. water below. Okay, of the skins you've seen right now, what's your personal favorite? Hmm. Well, I've been kind of hyperfixated on like two or three that I haven't seen yet. Mm hmm. But there was the one like Santa one was. I had like the Christmas sweater. Chris is currently being shot at at the moment, but I think the it's like the skeleton skin. Mm hmm pretty, I do like the skeleton skins as well. Did you see that reaction time earlier? With how quickly he reacted to the sniper shot that was fired at him? Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I noticed really quickly right there. He shot up those brick structures so fast. Um, I believe the sniper shot came from over on a cliff. 
Is that lightning by any chance that you saw down there? Hmm. Not the most really uh, like a very incentive fight going on. Doing the twit build that I will <laughs> never be able to do. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I up. wonder why they're building in metal specifically. It might be that they're running out of some materials. Yeah, uh, we all have left. There was some damage down there, but definitely mm -hmm, a lot of these fights are time. being super extended mm -hmm. because of the building, which is really, oh, wow. Very interesting fight we're watching right now. I would say one key notice I've seen, especially when it comes to these fights, the strategy overall, is to maintain the control of the structure. Uh, if we've noticed, we've seen a lot of these teams uh, fighting each other right now, right? But you've yeah. noticed that a lot of them are fighting over, not necessarily trying to finish the elimination, they're actually trying to fight on who controls the building itself. You'll see people trying to place them at specifically to make sure that they can stop the other team from having that, which I would believe factors into the survivability here. If you control the build, you can prevent other people from not only destroying it, like we're seeing right now, sadly with this one team member oh, getting eliminated. It's taken out. Can't mm -hmm. really see like the HUD of like how many teams are left at the moment. We back to this team, which we have been watching for a decent part of the match today. They are still going. So mm -hmm. good for them. I would say a lot of the teams seem to be going. Um, looks like we're seeing some different that? types of skins. So that's I cool. I feel like that came out like this an impact. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like a lot of gathering of mats right now or materials. Definitely interested. It looks like the storm's starting to really close in, which is why a lot of these teams are starting to battle sooner rather than later. Uh, we can see the storm moving right now. I would assume we're starting to see a lot less teams. Um, looks like high ground is definitely key as we're watching. Don't know what the skin is, but it uh, looks like we're watching one of the players looking down upon someone else. Watching, uh, there is a team of Gojos. There obviously would be, but... <laughs> Yeah, actually, I believe what they're on, there's an island that spawns in towards the ladder, uh, I would say circles, or the ladder movements of the storm. I believe that is what they're standing on right now. It's an island that spawns in, it's above the ground, and gives perfect high ground, as well as some materials as well. Uh, I don't know for sure, though, I believe, though, just from the structure recognition. Yeah, it was um, trying to make some sniper shots at the moment, and they were, they were not hitting, but nothing really came of it. Also have this team in this build, it seemed to be... Yeah, looks like a lot of teams are watching right now. A lot of watching and waiting. I believe we could see the map right now. We'd see a lot of these teams simply hanging out in these structures. Uh, if we've looked, um, besides... Ooh, what is this cooking down? Yeah, besides the fight we just saw right now, it seemed that a couple of these teams were enjoying the uh, comfort of not being in a fight. Definitely getting uh, those elimination points. Oh, we fight one of... Was taken out of the game. That team it seems to be in a bit of a pickle here. Also, what I've noticed as the game has gone on is while most teams do have matching skins, it seems to not be a requirement as the team that we were just betting had opposites. Like, they were not all the same skin. Okay. So it might have been more of a coordination rather yeah, than a forced yeah, yeah, yeah. coordination. Okay. That is interesting. It was something that I was curious about earlier on when I noticed it, and I'm good to, good to get that clarified. Also, Looks wondering like... if you could, like, have skins on, like... The same skin on like another team might be a little like visually confusing. Yeah, I completely I'm understand. Pretty sure that is completely allowed. To have like everyone be like one skin. Mm -hmm. It That'd looks be kind like of funny if everyone was like the default and like the final. Yeah, that would be interesting. Although probably not the end of the world. I uh, definitely better that they're able to have that kind of distinguishment so they don't necessarily run into each other. Looks like we're watching a team using their fortress to reload and restock and re-equip. Um, they have a they have a set of wings available. I saw their car just um, <laughs> exploded on their yeah. on their base, but nothing seemed to come of it. We've seen flying players, and I present to you flying cars and yeah. exploding cars too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely interesting right now. It looks like this team is. I think they were getting pushed by someone else. That's what the car was for to try and destroy some of the structure. But it seems yeah. they are starting to. I think they're just choosing the hide and wait. Hopefully, the other team will leave them be. Um, I think Definitely we've expected them before. Machine going right here to see mm -hmm. how the fight comes out there on the defense, though. So they might be in trouble if they're forced able to be breached. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I don't necessarily know what else. I think there is a team outside right now looking in on them. 
And yeah. I believe they're trying to get away, which is not a bad strategy. Survivability over simply fighting. Although I think that means my bet that uh, this game would be a lot of medic, uh, a lot of meds, and a lot of uh, heals uh, would definitely favor towards the latter end. It looks like we're seeing that pull through right now, as teams that have chosen to fight are starting to die out in favor of teams who have chosen the healing path. I believe we were spectating this team earlier. They were shooting down from here. Otherwise, a new oh, team might have taken It seems like over. the fort that we were actually looking at from earlier. Mm hmm. Another team is intruding on the fight here. Gonna try making some sniper shots, but the break will make it really difficult. Mm -hmm. One thing I think is good to take note here is the different fights this uh, team is looking upon. They're not necessarily choosing one team to focus on to try and el eliminate. They're simply trying to protect their uh, high ground, which as you can see, they're looking down other teams and trying to pick and choose their fights to protect what they already have. At the moment, this team definitely has a really strong advantage being in the middle of so many different fights and not necessarily being targeted in any of them. Means they kind of pick and choose the battle that they want. Yeah, but a lot of one, other teams don't really have that ability. One key thing that you can notice here is you saw the wings down there, of course. There was a jump pad that we saw. Yep, a little to the right of the camera that we saw when he was looking around. That jump pad is able to allow the player to have really great mobility without having to carry any extra items. So they have a lot of factors of being able to escape if there's any problems on this island, assuming that they'd want to leave. Uh, I'm not going to see that happen, I bet. It looks like they're trying to camp out for the long run doesn't surprise me very much but as you can see they're using it right now trying to oh. oh looks like they're jumping down another team they built kind of like a they had like a slant so they would bounce off of it so they'd be able to oh uh, everything has like a riding the skateboard in the air looks like they were using that to get away um as they went to the other side of the mountain and seems to have been using their mobility to get in front of another team really great strategic decision but let's see if giving up the high ground was the right way to go here Seems they're trying to destroy that structure to get away, and that team... Oh, looks like he got to the top of the bridge. Or oh, not, not at all. Great player elimination fell. on the... Player fell the right yeah. Down. Looks like he fell a little too hard there. Yeah. Great elimination on the factor of this team. Great thing to watch, too. Great use of mobility. I don't know that... I didn't realize that the angled platform would allow them to go further. You've lost the ability to see how many teams are left. I'm really curious to see... How the Danes been shaping up as we approach as we approach the later stages, it seems. Mm -hmm. It definitely seems that teams are starting to choose to either run or fight, for that matter. Uh, hiding has seemed to stop a lot less. Oh, and it looks like our team has had somebody run away. We got a runner. And it looks like they are chasing for him. Them. I wonder if they'll be able to catch up to him in time. Looks like they were over to the right by that tree. Oh yeah. Ooh. Might be a losing fight for the person they're chasing, sadly, as they seem to be cornering them and using the high ground to their advantage. Looks like this... Oh, it looks like a full team that they were chasing after. And it looks like, if you can notice to the left, this is going to be one more than one big fight here. Pretty big build is happening currently. The way the storm is arched, the way that the storm is circling on, and it seems like it's very small now that mm -hmm. a lot of the teams are going to be forced to fight it out with whatever resources they've collected for the time they've been alive. Coming back to spectating this player, I have no steel 35. You know, I think that that name is misleading. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're alive this late in, you think you got to have some steel to do that. Yeah, sadly, I feel like uh, no skill might have more skill than they let on. I don't well, know the 35 I part, 35 part to loot anything. Yeah. Maybe they have only 35 levels. Who knows? I really wonder what that stin is. It's very, like, a lot there visually, but I can't mm -hmm. really figure out what <laughs> the stin is. Yeah, it looks like we saw an interesting use of a grenade here by a team. Um, they seem to all be grouping up, and they separated. Uh-oh, it looks like we're starting to watch one team member sadly run into a fight. Maybe jump out of the way. One big thing to notice here... If you look at all the different uses of the storm right here, people running in and out in their buildings, uh, the storm is so small right now. You were really right about that earlier, Nathan, when you pointed out how just tiny it is. All this is just one big melding of structures right now, and it's teams trying to make sure that they're the ones who are building those structures. As you can see, these teams are really grouped together, trying to not separate, and really trying to fight as a group. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see the storm completely engulf the entire teams with the way these fights are going. Yeah, they're definitely going to have... Seem like that one, the one skin that I keep. I honestly, I just want to say it's Ellie from The Last of Us. It has the. It has the it seems like The Last of Us Two. Never played The Last of Us Two. Played the first one though, but it seems like a little bit of it. I've uh, 
good comments. It's a fun game. I am actually, I, I give Fortnite a lot of credit for that. I, I do appreciate that they... So many collaborations. Yeah, so many collaborations gives a lot of freedom of choice there, a lot of availability to the players as a whole. Looks like we just saw an, uh, an elimination and sadly a downed player here on a team. They're trying to swim their way through, but I don't think they're going to make it any farther. It's a sad thing to watch on a stream. Oh, Zach, do you think to have drowned? Or must have was knocked out into the water? I believe the building... Well, yeah, once they were knocked out in the water, the building had some preventative uh, feature on that didn't allow them to move any further. Wonderful getaway here from, I believe, Lunar is who we're watching right now. Storm, it seems to be catching up. Don't force... Don't force Lunar to move. I'm gonna fly up to the island via a grappling hook. I have a really good vantage here. Cena. Different different angle for that shot attempt at the oh, moment. Looks like we just saw it pulled up here. We have six teams left, nine players, which means Ooh. we're probably gonna look at I'm assuming there's a larger team that's connected together, or it's a bunch of individuals, maybe some duos. And it looks uh, the high ground, the island was the last thing left. Very, very interesting. We just went it's down to eight, the teams haven't changed seven. It seems like there's one team has two players, and all the rest have one. Definitely looking into the end here. And I have to make a couple clutch plays to ensure that the game ends. Whoever's on the island seems to be stuck in a little circle of storm. Going to be safe for a little longer. Down the four players and three teams. This Lunar Omega, which we're watching, has got, has gotten their team in the top three. Yeah, I'm really surprised right now. It looks like they're getting the advantage of not having to be involved in the top fight everyone else is in. Two teams. There are two players left. They're going to have to find... This player on the other Oh, this and there team. is our duo right there. It looks like it is going to go down to a 1v2, sadly for them, but happily for this duo, I'd assume. Uh, yeah. Looks like they're simply going through, getting their medic or their meds right now, and it looks like the fight is starting. Building is going quickly. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be a little difficult. And a nice and Elim on the fact of, uh, I believe, two a players Gear the Boy and a team. Yeah. Two players of the winning team. They seem to be the only two of that team. Mm -hmm. For a for the last like seven or so, definitely a good performance from whichever school that team represents. Yeah, sadly we are not able to see that. Hopefully we will get some type of notification of said uh, school and their winning. But otherwise, it was incredible to watch. Definitely an interesting game. I don't know if it went down to simply whichever team had more uh, shields and heals, but I definitely definitely went la long. That storm almost uh, closed in on itself right there. There's some very large. Uh, siege is happening. Mm -hmm. Very extended fights because of the builds, a lot of stalling, and nice to see some of the creativity within the builds. Mm -hmm. Sadly, uh, some of the sadly the Gojo thing we saw once, and it seems like he did not survive the the map. Yeah, it was it was very sad to see some of the inconveniences that the map had on some of its players. Of course, we were always rooting for everybody, but it is very sad, and it's, it's very sad to see that happen. Uh, definitely interesting, though, overall, to see how the players really adapted to the different things going on. We saw that there was a lot of players who were going very aggressive, going into other teams. We noticed that when we were spectating, and I think it was also interesting to see some of the teams that chose not to be as aggressive, to build, to uh, kind of run away. We saw a lot of uses of the cars in the beginning, which I was very yeah. interested in. I wonder what the car's supposed to be. I would argue that it could be... I feel be... like I've seen so many of those on the road, but I cannot put, like, the name of the car. I don't know exactly. Uh, I know that that is combined with... We saw sports car used earlier on as well, and I think there are also a couple other factors. Uh, assuming we are going to have multiple other matches, I believe there is a chance we could be... Seeing these teams going back at it again, I believe now that we know what the map has looked like, how these teams are starting to play together, they're going to shift up their strategy. Recognize some their usernames. Sort of recognize some like, usernames here, so I'm going to see some accounts that maybe we can come back. Maybe we can view the team that won the game a little more, because mm -hmm. that's like the first time we've really seen them. They just kind of snuck in on us. Yeah, and I would say even to that end, uh, we saw a lot of even skin recognition towards the end there. I think a lot of the teams, and what's a great factor there, was choosing individual uh, skins, different things to use as a team. And it's definitely factoring into our ability to remember them, and I believe their ability to recognize each other. Seems like we're getting queued up at the moment. Didn't have the start match button, but I'm not really sure when we're going to be going into this next match. 
yeah, it looks like we are going to be taken into the next one very soon. Very soon. I would not be surprised if we're going to end up in that in the next couple of minutes. Of course, I bet players are eager to get next into the next game and make sure they are ready to go. Uh, but I would not be surprised. It takes a little bit longer. Okay, and for that time, we are actually going to go into a quick intermission. One thing before we cut off, though, we would, of course, for on behalf of Esports Ohio, we'd like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And on behalf of Ohio University, we'd like to thank PNC Lenovo for making esports possible. Thank you very much. We'll see you in a couple minutes.
Hello, and we are back with game two of ESO Fortnite across the state. Statewide, I'm Addison. And I'm Nathan. It's good to be back with you. We took a what, eight, ten minute break ish? Not a ten minute break. Got some water, feeling good again. We are going into game two of three, I believe, for Fortnite right now. Yeah. Something I'd like to know is that we currently have this also streamed on YouTube in probably around, how do you say, like a half an hour? At some point, it'll be swapped to streaming the regional Smash on YouTube, and I think we'll be staying here with on Twitch with Fortnite. Yes. Overwatch yeah. after Fortnite is over. Yeah, one thing that is key here, if you are here for the uh, Smash, uh, Super Smash Bros, um, that will be going on to the YouTube under Ohio Esports. Uh, they will be going live with that, and I would argue maybe 15 to 20 minutes or so. Uh, we will, of course, stay on Fortnite. We will not be leaving you at all. No abandonment here. And then we will be going on to Overwatch later today. So, yeah, we are getting right back into it, starting with Oreo. Now, that's an awesome username right there. That's that's a rare one, too. Four I letters. I haven't seen Oreo yet. Yeah, it Just looks like... Spectating them. I like the skin. It's like a robot with like. Mm -hmm. I would like to take this as my favorite skin. I think this is the coolest one. It looks like one of like the test dummies that you see in like the car commercials. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, it was like, it seems like you can like target practice on the skin. Mm -hmm. oh, Ooh, we got the Yetis now. too. One is on a cloud. And a parachute. I didn't see anyone be taken out immediately, like the last round. He coming into an RVs. Art and I'm collecting some materials for bills using a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. It's definitely really interesting to start seeing these teams gather materials. Uh, one big thing we didn't notice, which could just be that we haven't seen it happen yet, was a team getting downed when they were starting to get into that intro right there, which is definitely something. Looks like we have some movement right here on the wings, which is super interesting right now. Uh, we talked about that earlier, and it looks like it does damage into the ground as well. Uh, these players are able to start uh, moving around really, really quickly. Uh, you'll notice that we are starting to have a little bit of camera switching right here, so we can start seeing some different areas of the view, which is really interesting from our spectating. Uh, right now, we've also had one person down, so the game is off, and we are running to the races. Okay, so, just elite, what do you the elite think bug, happen? Elite bug we were spectating was in the last game on a different skin. So a lot of people actually change their skins up. I know, like, the... I thought the Ellie skin was what... Leaf Blood was on before, I think, and then swapped over to the Yeti. We have this team, which I remember seeing their usernames before. Mm hmm. How do you do, like, the swoop M in, like, username? Uh, yeah, it looks like we're watching a lot of movement right now. I think they're on some kind of ship or island. Maybe, like, an oil rig is what it, I think they're starting to go for. Uh, definitely interesting. It looks like this uh, truck right here. I know what this does. This is going to give them full shield. Hold that. Oh. <laughs> looks like they did that before their other teammates, sadly. I'm going to take about half HP from mm -hmm. just simply jumping off the top of the oil rig. Might come back against them later on. But it seems to be healing back up to full. But definitely using a health item this early when you're not abject to sort of find anyone yet could be not, not the best. But... Definitely not the worst. Have um. Mm -hmm. That's definitely really interesting. Uh, looks like we're seeing a lot of the teams. Yeah, like the skin switch up happened. I, I of course do that with my team when I play. Uh, switching the skin is what causes you to win. Uh, that is definitely true. <laughs> you gotta show the other schools that you have a lot more sins than just the one. Yeah, Fortnite swagger is what counts. It's your exactly. ability to see a lot of different things. The team just got eliminated. Went from 89 to 86 in an instant. Yeah, actually, that was really, really interesting right there. I don't know if they were fighting another team. I believe they were fighting... Oh, yeah, look at this. So, one really key thing here to notice in the update is that there's kind of a mini boss. You're not necessarily fighting other players here. These are AI. Um, they're smaller enemies that are created, and if you can beat the mini boss, you get a huge benefit. I believe this team has sadly been third-partied by another team while they were trying to fight the mini boss, the and they did not realize. really well taking down two people just to get eliminated from the air. Yeah, I think they were two little mini AI, I don't know for sure. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that team sadly got third partied, which is actually tough for them because we are what, yep, yeah, it looks like they're starting to wrap it up. They're doing a lot faster than the last one. Picked up a lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. I definitely think some of these teams, well, well, we might not have noticed last game, that's definitely happened in this game, is teams are starting to get a little bit more aggressive. They're starting to realize that maybe they don't need to wait it out. Maybe they can start to finish these fights. And as we noticed already, two teams have uh, sadly been eliminated. 
we're only on the first of the 12 different storm modes, which, of course, the 12 is the slow uh, crushing of the storm and focusing of it into the center of the map. But uh, it's definitely interesting to see how already we lost two teams. I did not think that happened last game. Already lost two teams, 10 players, a couple teams already pretty stretched out. Mm -hmm. Down a couple players, definitely have... It's definitely interesting to see these different fights happening, and a lot less players. I definitely think that's going to be some team aggressiveness, and maybe it just has some inconvenience. We definitely saw a lot of teams getting more aggressive for these medallions, the things you get from the mini-bosses. So it could very well be that some teams started to get into the same area. It caused some problems there. We have three teams in relative proximity to each other. Obviously, they don't, have, they don't know that, and they might never encounter one another. It is interesting. Definitely have four players at the fencing fields at the moment and I don't think they are aware might have a fight there soon but both teams seem to be down the two players that are in that area mm -hmm. as you can see on the mini maps as we flash by again we're seeing that a lot of these teams apart from the ones that seem to be in little fights here are look like um kind of sticking to themselves uh definitely not a lot of teams in the same places from what I've noticed at least uh, let's try here a constant stream of bullets being heard in the background there. So know where that is coming from. It looks like maybe some small sound glitch seems to have ended now. I don't know how that happened. Maybe somebody was having some fun with their camera. <laughs> Someone doing some practice shots trying to bring a team to them. Hey, you gotta warm up where you can when you can. It's definitely interesting to watch all these teams playing. I, of course, don't build. Uh, it's not my forte. Definitely not. But it's definitely interesting to see how all these teams working together, trying to utilize the different resources. I believe we are watching a singular player push to the rest of his team who have situated themselves on a high hill right now. Definitely an interesting place. As you can see, there's a team on the similar mountain in the bottom right-hand corner. Looks like they are all getting together right now. I'm just trying to build a fort. Building up a little fort right here. I see the storm at the very... Most teams always will probably stay at the edge of the storm. Mm -hmm. have a one player here it seems to be surrounded by three indicated by the yellow arrows could be in a little bit of danger in the near future gonna have only one direction to go and that is towards towards that team seems to be shown to us and we see might have seen one of the players but didn't seem to like out. We have one person looking for people, but I don't really think anyone's too nearby them, but definitely sees a team building, not able to do much about it. Yeah, of course, I, I, I hear you there. Definitely a lot of things going on right now. Looks like some of the teams um, we just saw, I believe we saw this Gear Boy. I, did Gear Boy win the game last time? I believe he won with his team? Yeah, I believe we just saw them get eliminated too. That goes to show that and it's a lot of luck that goes into this game, too, Very apart from skill. Being able to survive and fight the right battles definitely helps here. There's a BHS attached to one of the players in the lobby. We have our first... <laughs> that is a definitely... That Demon Ted definitely relates to the school they're part of. We have... A lot of players have been taken out. It seems to be going pretty slowly, but we lost 10 players and not a single other team since 80 players remaining has been taken out. A lot of teams losing valuable members yeah as this game goes on it's going to be key to have your team sticking together being able to revive them is of course key as always but losing them is definitely not something you want to have happen and it, i believe i might have been wrong earlier on when i said gearboy got eliminated i think he was eliminating other people which is the key factor there You're uh, only watching the team that won last time yeah we actually are uh definitely interesting to them see lost them move their around hp definitely in a fight neither of them have fallen down yet Mm -hmm. This player we are looking at here is the most healthy of their roster. This team seems to be pretty non-confrontational compared to the others, not really near anyone. This seems to be the same, we're coming back to about the same situation here. With the same kind of players. At the same place. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're seeing a lot of players just hanging out, uh, especially with how low this map has gotten player-wise. Um, we just saw it go back up to 69 and back to 68. I mean, players are getting eliminated, but no teams are going down. Oh, Ooh, here we, we go. just lost two. <laughs> there we uh, I yeah. really like the skin on this player here. Mm -hmm. I like the little fire effects, the three triple ponytail. 
That's yeah, really fun and really interesting. I'm definitely curious about how this fight is going to work out, especially as these circles start to get smaller. We noticed the team started to be more aggressive earlier on. I mean, we're down about a third of the lobby, which is really, really interesting. Uh, looks like there was maybe a... a third of the lobby, a tenth of the teams. Yeah. Uh, to lose barely any teams, comparative to how many players went down, means we're going to watch probably... Again, ended this game, a lot of just solo players who are going to try to see if they can win it out. And as we saw earlier on, that did not happen. Down to 66 players. We've lost, let me see if I can do the math here, 25 players have been eliminated. That If you divide by 3, that equates to 8, team, eight full teams of players and only 4 teams like eliminated. So like enough players for 8 teams have been wiped out. Mm -hmm. Well, now... Uh, our fifth team has just been eliminated. Yeah. Well, sadly, I think this comes down to the teams that are willing to fight it out and then try to finish those, and then it comes to the teams that are willing to lose a couple players to get away. I mean, that's why we're seeing some of these players going down. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if teams are even camping out these respawn vans. We talked a lot about the point system, the mm -hmm. risk and reward. There's kind of a risk and reward between going and getting those eliminations and then just staying alive for a while. Mm-hmm. Definitely, if you wipe out one team that sits points, that's about the equivalent probably of getting, like, in the, what do you say, like, the top half of teams, like, just entering the top half of teams. So definitely important to try getting for eliminations. Definitely the team that wins it all will have to take a lot of risks trying to winning a lot of pr probably hard fights. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely interested in what's going on right now. It seems that a lot of these teams are just camping out again. One thing I would note here is that a lot of, and yeah, you did make a great point that I didn't realize. The reason some of these teams are probably trying to last or outlast these others is because you get points for simply surviving longer than other teams. And that might be the key one here. Sure, getting eliminations is really good. And of course, if you get 15 eliminations, that would equate to the 30 points you get for being first place. But the key part here is if you're a team member who survived, whereas the rest of your team might have passed away, got eliminated, um, that means you're going to eventually, it's going to equate you to being able to survive still and get points and benefit from uh, being able to stay alive, whereas those who are going to simply fight it out and try to get some more eliminations might actually have gotten more points if they hadn't chose to. A um. couple snipe attempts I seem to be seem to be hitting them. What I really kind of liked about it is like the team that ends up, will probably end up winning this, will have a mix of a lot of elims and also placing really high and what probably separates the team that wins this from all the rest. Like probably a lot of the teams in the middle of the placings at the end will be those teams that are able to like wait it out for a while mm -hmm. and like keep it and, and get like top 10 but not really eliminate anyone would kind of be the middle of the pack teams and we have like the teams that end up winning and doing all those elims would probably be at the front. Well, yeah, and as you can see, we noticed that uh, uh, the earlier team we were just watching, it seemed that they were choosing to leave the fight, but that they might have been able to win. Looks like an interesting good shot from a person using a sniper right now. Defrostified, I believe is their name. Maybe I'm doing might be butchering that, who knows. The Defrostified definitely alludes to a Twitch account. No. Sadly, I, I spoke too this soon. player probably owns. Mm. I've seen also a lot of YT or YouTube. Yeah, we are, of course, not going to be following their specific channels. We're doing that ourselves. Uh, one key thing here is to notice, and I, I did speak a little too soon about the aim. Uh, we will be seeing, it looks like a lot of these fights going back and forth. Like, uh, as you can see, the window on the opposing um, brick structure over there. It looks like they're starting to shoot through that to then get onto the other team. And the other team's trying to shoot through that window, too. It looks like they have uh, left from that fight. We have a pretty good aerial angle of the kind of fight. Seem to a lot of a lot of fights when you have the build involved and the being stalemates. You build mm -hmm. and the other team builds. You look at each other, then you walk away. Well, neither team wants to lose any points, yeah. and unless they're going to get a guaranteed win, it looks like a lot of these teams are willing to just let it drop. Uh, of right. course, that's not my play style per se. First I usually more, tend to fight it out rather that than let to go. Be right on top of each other here. Need to aerial view. The Zeus Lightning's in a hit. Mystic, who we are spectating, seem to take loss about half of their HP. More really great fighting. overhead camera right Intense here. Intense fight seems like seems like one of the teams is going to be taken out here. Mystic has been eliminated. Seems like 2 a.m. 
is the only player left on that roster, as well as this other player that we're spectating here. They think they found a card that they're probably gonna hop in and try and find more equipment for a future fight. Looks like we're back to our winning team again. Looks like they're simply moving around right now on a card. Doesn't look like they're getting involved in anything. Uh, flashing around, it looks like we have our island again. It probably won't be in the circle this time. I do not know for certain, but that high ground is definitely having a huge advantage compared to this team on the ground in these bushes. Hopefully they can get out of it, or perhaps they can even challenge it. Um, not rooting for anyone specifically, of course. Uh, I'd just love to see how they deal with this. <laughs> so see some common names at the later stages of the game. A lot of teams are pretty consistently ending up in the top or bottom half. From the looks of things, this player we've been seeing around this stage of the game last time. Mm -hmm. Very interested in what they're doing right now. I don't know if they're choosing to challenge it or if they're simply running away, which is good on either side as long as they don't uh, lose any members, but it's definitely interesting. We can see a lot of these teams starting to get pushed together now, and wow, look at the difference here in the team buildup right now. 46 people left alive, 17 teams. We have lost a lot of teams. A lot of these solo players are probably going down. We have had... Hold on, time for math. We are... Just above half of the players in the lobby have been eliminated. Yeah. Delay. Number one from 46 to 47. Wow, look at that. Sorry, I, I hate to interrupt, but that shot was incredible. Right into the air. A beautiful sniper hit. I don't know who shot it on them, but um, definitely, definitely good hit. Lost uh, all of their shield. We've seen a lot of missed sniper shots, but it's really like the first real one in our spectate that we've seen do quite a bit of damage. Mm-hmm. Don't know where this player's team is. Actually, this player's team has been completely taken out. Likely going to follow. Have a lot of players on every direction. Yeah, it looks like he is surrounded on all sides as he's trying to run away. Will he be able to make it out? We are finding out, that's for sure. Fly right into another team, not aware of that. Gonna... And it looks like that will be a no. Gone down in the air, sadly. But Taken down by Defrostify, which you've been looking, which you've been spectating earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it looks like all these teams are really starting to crowd around each other here. If we look, we're seeing it looks like five or six teams all around each other. And a uh, very sad use of multiple turns. Um, <laughs> that looked like a 30-point turn right there. I don't know exactly. What did you see? Got a, I don't know. Trying to get some driving practice in. Yeah, I mean, Fortnite's a good place to drive, although I would say it's no substitute for... Uh, real world experience, and it seems <laughs> that if it was the real world, at least that car would probably not be as good as it is right now. <laughs> it's for their drivers, it's <laughs> yeah, but uh, definitely interesting. It looks like they're using a lot of mobility here as they're they running into another team. Car versus build. So this one comes out. One of the members of this team has lost her shield. The car is about 157 HP left. Looks very damaged, but it's just gonna keep going. Oh, and it's taken out. This team might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, sadly, it looks like this is the John Wickskin, I would like to say. Uh, it looks like John Wick's going to have a tough one this on his hands. I like the little vortex on his back. Okay, now one just quick thing. Play. I don't want to interrupt too much, but this mansion right here, the mansion we just saw, would you live in that mansion? I mean, it's a mansion. I mean, yeah. Yes. But yes would you live in it? I mean, it's in the Fortnite map. you gotta, you got to think about all these factors. <laughs> like, I would just be really trained, and, then and I never, like... I'd never be in any danger. Like, I'd have my little mansion and people would be running around building stuff and I wouldn't even need to build anything. I'd have a mansion. Exactly, exactly. What big thing I noticed? You have so many these players. Wings. Ooh, they're gonna... Winner has been knocked down a storm. They're gonna have to build to defend themselves. A sad dive bomb. Uh, when they were using those wings. I've seen a lot more of them used, but it might not be a good idea that they are being used. It seems so many players are able to hit them out of the sky. I mean, that's an incredible shot from my own perspective. I would not be able to recreate that myself. Pretty. It's so interesting to see that done in these games. Every player is being able to stop the people trying to fly away. And we saw that earlier with that elimination in the air. There are four teams of three here. Thirteen teams left. That's a really large amount of the remaining player base. It's about a third in that one fight there. Definitely going to be a really deciding battle of the match. It seems like no one in this fight has been taken out yet. Yeah, it looks like the team on the high ground is taking advantage of their, I would say, great placement. 
I'm intrigued on how our team below is going to be able to get out of here. It looks like they might be trying to build onto their structure, just try and create some form of cover. Uh, team up top is moving in, and then it looks Wishing like they're using Zeus lightning, lightning bolts right here. Uh, barely keeping it up. Looks like the team is trying to run right now and lost some players for it. Ooh. We were currently spectating, just seemed like they just taken out someone. Down the 12 teams, one of the teams in that bid fight been eliminated to see a crown on the mini-map. Mm hmm. Man, looks like they went down, yeah, and then maybe up with the crown and interest. Looks like they are heading out now. Storm eliminated a player, if you see from the top left. We're down to 28 players across 11 teams. That is. Nearing the end, though, the storm is shrinking a lot. If you look at the minimap, the storm is very small in a part of the lake. Uh, Looks like he is having some followers behind as he's trying to take them out right now through the grass. His team is around him, but will he be able to stop them all? It looks like they will. Um, getting them caught. I mean, perhaps it's just one or two people left there. Uh-oh. Taking some damage. A little bit of a pickle in the storm. Seems like one player on this person's team it was just got eliminated. Mm. Probably also going to be taken out by the storm. Nope, barely escapes, but is very low in a very contested area. Might be found pretty quickly. That team skin, that team skin was all like single color. Yeah, it, it, definitely interesting here. If you look on our mini map to the bottom right, you're gonna notice all these teams are really clumped together right now. I would, I would like to make the argument that this is very much how it looked last time. Uh, we saw all these teams start to get together. Although under that island, it definitely concentrated the fight. We are now in the eighth. Uh, going ninth out of 12 circles. Nine the fort closes in on them, and it looks like it's getting stressful. If, there were, if every team had their full rosters, there would be 27 players remaining, so there's a lot of full teams mm -hmm. amongst, the amongst what's still left. Good try, losing all of their shield in a what seems to be a snipe. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in why uh, these teams are still avoiding these fights, especially endgame. But as we get to this uh, latter couple of circles. I definitely am not surprised that we're seeing a lot of lack of solo players. These solo players are, of course, trying to get points for their team, but when it's 1v3, even if there's a huge skill gap and the one player is much better, it's still very tough to beat three different people. Three different guns or grenades all aiming at you is a lot to fight, even for one person. I'm trying to think about which with the team we're, we were spectating what their skin is. The full body suit with like the glowing eye. It's very hard to tell what skin that is. Yeah, very nice overhead shot right now from what we're looking at. Looks like players are trying to sprint around and going through their builds fast. Storm is going to cut off just about everyone, force them into a, force them into an offensive. Twenty-one players and all be pushing that little amount of space. Mm hmm. Looks like they're taking advantage of. Looks like some players running out of their builds right now. As you notice, we've seen some players still have the ability to use their wooden builds, but we're noticing a lot of people are going to their brick or metal. Which, at least in my mind, suggests that they might be running out of those builds and those materials very quickly. Our defending winners, as you say, is down a teammate, as you see. The Storm is going to take out, or be close to taking out this player. We have a very tight space and eight teams left. The last elims of the game will probably happen in pretty quick procession. They're going to be forced to abandon their build as the Storm moves to that little spot you see on the mini-map on the bottom right. Mm-hmm. Okay, would you live in that building right there? That building? Yeah. I feel like it'd be a safety hazard. <laughs> Just a small one? There's enough hills in my life as it's <laughs> staircase. I mean, it looks pretty secure. As we're seeing these fights start to close out, it might become a little less secure, though. Look at that. Eight full teams. Eighteen, well, eight, not eight full teams, but 18 players. Eight teams all together in the same area trying to fight this out right now. We're down to seven teams. And 15 players. A lot less now. We are starting to see it whittle down. It looks like it's going to come down to the last team pretty soon. We have 13 remaining in the same number of teams. Mm -hmm. Do the math. There probably is only one roster remaining, probably with all three of their players alive. This roster has two. We're down to 12 and 6, 10 and 5. Our defending first place team is on top 5, both times at least. 
Yeah, it looks like sadly a lot of medallions are being left behind. Which means that one team probably has their entire roster if we're at four teams and nine players. It's very impressive. It looks like we're seeing a duo right now. I don't know if that's exactly true. Looks like some players are getting knocked down. Possibly not watching probably has their full team. Seems like this player's teammate has been lost. Hmm. Got an Elam though, that is two points for them. Had the 30 points from their victory before. They probably are close to or the front runner at the moment. Mm -hmm. We are down to the final six, four teams. It's gotta be a couple solos and maybe a duo or higher. I think I'm seeing two right now, but the rest might be solo. Some crazy outplays from whichever team ends up victorious. Mm -hmm. Definitely moving fast. Expecting for one player. Ooh, a beautiful Ooh, elimination right there. Their team were down to the top three. Looks like he's running out of builds fast, but uh, sadly a player watching him right now. It's gonna be him earlier. Oh, be it. Down. it seems like a full roster is alive. Mm -hmm. These players that you've been watching a little bit throughout the game. Well won. done with their whole team. Yeah, and it looks like that's one of our teams from the back, too. We're hearing them congratulate themselves on the regional area, so that might be a win on our team, or, or on our front. <laughs> very, very, very well played, though. Looks like we're going to be heading back to the lobby pretty soon, and we're seeing the train pass by. A very beautiful picture. Be taken out by the passage of time. Mm -hmm. What would you think about the, how that went? Definitely see some nice to see a second team win. Wondering if our victor victories from the first or second rounds are going to perform in the third and deciding round for who is going to take the top spot. Yeah, definitely interesting. Always good to watch. Uh, I'm curious about how these uh, point scores are going to look overall, especially as it goes on. It but of like course, to see how it's being calculated, but it's probably being done by someone in the background maybe or done by the system itself probably is marking eliminations every game as we used to calculate yeah we have a uh, in a couple of minutes we will be returning for the final Fortnite match of the day before we switch to overwatch yeah i believe we'll go into intermission fairly soon and then we will pick back up for the third game Good job at juggling him. Oh, oh but he got uh, invincible oh, screen. He, misses the he was probably going for the uh, Winton Jostis. Or whatever it's called. That could be it. Yeah. I think they live off that nair. I don't think they were making it back, but the backer's going to catch it. Kill. Another three stock. Just gotta see who's going strong. Here. Gotta see what London's last guy is able to clean this all off. They have nine stocks to make up for. Big, big lead here, but we've seen we've seen teams drop from worse. Yeah. Back to FD. Are we seeing another oh. Kazia? <laughs> we seen a Terry. We're seeing a Rob. Oh, I'm a Rob fan. I know you are. Yeah. How how do you feel about the robot? I think the robot's fun to play, but <laughs> he's very difficult to play against. Yeah. And I think if he can utilize Gyro correctly, this would not be good for Ridley. Pretty good sign off the bat, already using it. 
Oh, throws it away. Uh, playing a bit patient Good here. Good job spacing. Good job. Mm, can't get too messy with that down throat. Oh, catches the roll. Are we going to see another early stock from Chili Coffee? Yeah, doing it. Oh, oh, getting the back here though. That... It's weird. That back here should be bad. It's like so slow. It has a really big sour hit, but like... I guess because it's so slow, everyone just gets hit by it. They're expecting it to be at done already. Good laser play. Good lasers. Oh, really has the gyro now. Throws it away. Uh, a bit too apprehensive on the side, dude. Oh, oh, but that one's getting him. Uses a laser here? a bit too much. Oh, oh misses the tag. tag. The third stock. Angel of Coffee has gotten off of that. A bit Not too uh, trigger happy with the side bees. Might want to be safe with those side bees. You have to be more uh, safe with it. Also, it's pretty stale now, so if it isn't a good position to kill, it's not gonna work. Oh, Gyro, oh not quite. Ridley's hit, uh, oh. unfortunately, going through. Another side B, uh, getting thrown off stage for that one. Oh, going for the up B. They're a bit too far from ledge for it, though. Yeah, gotta be like the back air. Got Good it. laser. Now that it's fully charged, actually, but knock really Great away. recovery from the Oh, the side B. Not going to kill yet. Oh, and he oh, gets the spike. Does get the up B. Oh, the gyro. Oh, uh, and gyro. Not looking good for London. Yeah, man. See if you can make it work. Not up. Oh, oh it dropped works. shield too early. Eight times the charm. It's getting the kill that time. Will he start something off of that? No, quite. Ooh, nice parry. Get in there into up kill, get a little bit of swing going. Ah, uh, probably miss him putting a jump. Oh, uh, that side B's gonna be the death of him. Really running away with this. Uppy up. Nice back air from. Yeah, good back London. air, good gyro. Ah, uh, a little bit too far from the laser. Oh, it works. It's, it's conditioned, yeah. Oh, the gyro. Good gyro again. Still too far for the laser. Misses the down air as well. Uh, so I'd be dragging them across the stage. Even percents, but not in stocks. And that not will quite yet. be it. It's pretty stale now, too. Back here, untechable. Uh, yep. That's game it. one going to Chilakathi. Chilakathi. Some strong players that they got. Yeah. And they still have two players that uh, haven't played yet, so. Might end up seeing them. The Mario shirt coming in clutch. <laughs> yeah. It's all the Mario shirt. It really was a devious mix up. It was. Interesting to see if London can bring this back. Smash 2. That's right. It's the second one. The second one's the good one. <laughs> the long anticipated sequel. It's a hero. Okay. Got it. Okay, we're going to be going on a quick intermission while the teams take their breaks. Uh, be back soon.
And welcome back, Ohio, to the Esports Ohio Fortnite Statewide Challenge. I would say, not regionals, it would be Battle Royale, right? Yeah, it would be, um, I think it is regionals, but the entire state plays, because we're like 90 or so players. Yeah, sorry about my butchering of that Battle Royale statement right there, <laughs> but I'm Addison. And I'm Nathan. And we're your commentators for this final of three. It's awesome right now. We have seen a lot of great fights. We've seen some great building. And hopefully we will see that again. We seem to be following who won last time. This player, Wadjo, is who we're spectating. Mm -hmm. As we notice, uh, two teams have won. Uh, Wago's team, I believe, is in the arena right now. There was another one, which is not in this region. 
yeah, I believe they're playing from somewhere else, but it is awesome to see. And hopefully we will be able to see another team from our arena win. One quick thing before we get started, though. On behalf of Esports Ohio, we would like to thank National Guard for their sponsorship. And then on behalf of Ohio University, we would like to shout out to PNC and Lenovo for making Esports possible here. One other quick thing, too. On YouTube, we have live right now our Smash. Uh, the Super Smash Bros. game for the regionals. Already two players taking out. Pretty uh, normal to have an immediate shutdown. Yeah, very interesting. Looks like right off the bat again, we had a couple players shut down before they could touch the ground. Already three eliminated. Not from the same team, because all 31 are still there. Yep, it looks like just a couple people just went down. It's sad, of course, for the team. But thankfully, we haven't lost any teams yet, which means they are still in it for the win. -in. Indeed. It's like we are going around right now. Teams are gathering materials. It was still like this in the beginning last time, too. Following another member of the team that won last time, this player here. Yep, it's interesting. Looks like people are just starting to get healed up right now, get their shield. Looks like a couple teams are in this area, but nothing crazy. Ooh, Moving I haven't on seen from this there. skin yet. I have not seen this skin either, but does it make it the favorite? I like it. Oh, we have Jojo. <laughs> uh, Gojo, a hit character from an anime, I believe, they did a partnership with. I've seen so many tits of that skin only. Yeah, that's like fair. The wings. Looks like we're getting a quick overhead view here. Ooh. One taken down. A team has been eliminated, about four players as well. Definitely interesting. I'm curious about was that the full team or was there people who made it out? I don't know, but we lost three in the span of a minute. Yeah, it looks like, I believe, some people might have made it out there. So just a quick little skirmish. Down already lost the first tenth, about a ninth of the players in this round. Mm -hmm. well, and this happened similarly last game. A lot of players will go down, there'll be a lot of single players, and then when we get around to the medium to the end, a lot of those solo players will sadly uh, get eliminated. Yeah, they're trying to hold out for as lot as possible to get the highest place for their respective team. Mm -hmm. the of course, it's all points game. Looks like we're watching a little bit of skirmish right here. A lot of building going on, a lot of wood. One, uh... This team currently in a skirmish. One of their players is in danger. Gonna be taken out. This other player also eliminated. Very close, though. Yeah, tough one to watch. Looks like we were healing up again, and they're going to get back into it. Mystic has swapped to the... not his name, from Invincible. I think... isn't his name Invincible? No, I think that's like his superhero name. Oh, like the main know, character then. from that show. I'm just going to call him Invincible. Although he was Invincible there. I think he did make it all the way through. He was. Looks like a lot of teams here right now. Oh, I think these are robots. Or AI. I think it's not AI. Some, uh, Very interesting there. right now. It looks like we are watching this team try to go for the medallion, which would come from, I believe, the character to the top of the screen right here. I don't know what this medallion does, though. Do you have any idea? I do not, but um, it'd be actually really interesting if uh, a team gets eliminated by them. Yeah, it looks like we have two teams here. I believe one of the teams is probably just watching them, hoping for an area to take advantage of. But it looks like they are not going to do anything, and this team is going to get away from that. Or we might see them pop down. Who knows? This player we're watching has the lightning. I think it's a lot of uh, equipment to use. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they're using and definitely taking advantage of the additional weapons that have been added to this season. I'm interested in... If these weapons are, of course, better or worse, it depends on the ability right there. We've seen the lightning used a lot, which has, of course, been really good in the battles we've seen it in. But I'm interested in whether or not the lightning itself is like an actually good weapon to take over a rifle or a shotgun, items like that. I assume they have different have usages. I've seen it used to eliminate forts mainly. Yeah. Pretty quickly. Oh, well, that, As you see it, lightning right now. as demonstrated. 
not necessarily eliminating a player, but really limiting their ability to protect themselves. Yeah, and it looks like an interesting battle is going on right now. We have a team building a fort trying to escape this fight. We have lightning bolts going in, and it might be the end of the team right here. Ooh. Team Respectivity is in a lot of danger. All their players are low. They might be eliminated soon. Oh, yep, yeah, it looks like we're seeing them go down. Perished. Yeah, it is a shame to though. watch. Looks like we'll be leaving that battle right now. Looks like we're watching another smaller skirmish on the other side of the map. Oh. We have this team building a over themselves. They're all they're all alive. They're all doing pretty good. We have lost uh twenty three players so far and four teams. Yep. Again. Oh you're saying. We lost twenty four, it just changed. Hey, okay. I think we've seen what happened last game, a lot of these solo players are trying to run away from these fights, get additional points, especially in this last round, where this is the last place you're going to be able to get points. I mean, a lot of teams, I assume, would go survivability over uh, elim points. Yes, we have 30 now taken out. We definitely, I feel like the very beginning has been going faster than like a long pause in the middle and everyone dies at the end. <laughs> Wow, great shot from across. It looks like we have a team member stuck behind in the storm with the enemies. Going to need... Don't need to get out of the storm there. In a lot of danger. But the storm is ticking slowly, though. It looks like they're moving slowly. And the storm is as well. Uh, it looks like a couple teams here are scrimmi or skirmishing. Sorry. Ooh, one shot almost wiped out that player. Yeah, what a fight to tune into. Another massive structure appearing right here. I believe this was the fight we uh, left earlier, and it seems to have continued. Sounds like, uh, sounds like a train in the distance. I always see uh, train tracks nearby. Yeah, I believe the train's uh, running by right now. But this fight is really interesting. As you can see, it looks like the high ground has been taken by one of the teams. And it looks like the other team is, I believe, trying to run away right now. I do not know exactly. Some people going back into the storm, some of the team trying to get high ground, others trying to run, it looks like. It's a whole That's big a mess. Point. It looks like, are those five teams? Maybe four? Oh. I think one, two, three, four different colors. Yeah. So that's four different teams fighting out right now, which is, explains why this is so huge. Wow, that is one massive fort. Mm hmm Hey, it's a fort. I guess it's not at night. It's a fort day here. Uh, Ooh, the night trying to take advantage of the high ground. Fort. You can hear a lot of the comments in the background. So these teams are stressed out. I think a player on both teams are stuck in the storm. One at least was probably going to be eliminated pretty soon. I wouldn't be surprised if both, but at the same time, that storm damage is probably fairly minimal, so I wouldn't be surprised if they... Oh, wow, look at that Elim right Ooh. there. Oh, Metro, do need help on this team? Pretty hard. Oh, it's taken out. Looks like the fight is getting stressful. It is moving with the storm right now. One team will come out on top, but what will that team be? like a lot of waiting right now. Oh, it looks from my angle. It looks like the team on top right now with the high ground just... Oh, okay, they do know where they are. And they are lasering into them. You can see some reaction building right there. Looks like the team's trying to get some high ground onto them, but it looks like they're not going to let it go. We've been following this fight for a while. A lot of these fights have been really extended. Mm-hmm. At the edge of the storm. Going in, two players got wiped. Yeah, it looks like we lost a full team right there. Do you think it was a team on the t top or the bottom? I believe it was the team up top, because we were spectating the team below. Um, which, of course, is sad, but again, the high ground is very key in these types of fights, especially with the ability to build. 
I mean, you could have ran away from that, but if you don't run, you've got to fight it. And if you don't have the high ground, I mean, that's already a lack of advantage. Looks like we are going around right now, trying to find some new teams. Oh, we're back to Invincible. Back to uh, Invincible here. Uh, I think Mark. Does Mark sound oh, right? Oh, it just hit him. I just remember. I remember now. Yeah, because I, I keep thinking of the literally, think, Mark, think. Yes, Omni Man was like, think. <laughs> I don't know if he's thinking here, though. We will find out. Looks like he's going for his team right now, who's running away. He'll be able to revive. That's a smart play right there. I think we'll be able to see. I'm interested if we get a ping. Yeah, so when you revive, you get a little like, yeah. health symbol. Yeah. Lower Croft on the motorcycle. Motorcycle. No. I still think it's Ellie. It could be. I think both skins are to remember. in existence, right? I want to say. Mm -hmm. Is that Princess Leia? I would say Padme? Or Padme? I don't know. It's it's really hard to tell with some of these skins. Like, you know in general what it probably is? Well, we know what skin this one is. Oh, uh, Peter Griffin. Now, this There's is another what I want to see. Griffin down there. I want to see Peter Griffin build a massive structure. Wow, look at that team going right there. Great angle from the camera right here. You can see the teams move together. One on high ground, two on the low. All of them using different rifles to get rid of the wood. And then the, this team, of course, trying to run away as fast as they can. Looks like one member, actually. I really like watching like the building, specifically. Mm -hmm. The building is just so ingenious right here. I mean, you can see the different structures they build. They all have a purpose. And they build them so quickly and so well. Such twist thinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's instinct for some of these people. If you think about it, I mean, with some of the shots we've seen where someone just immediately pops up like a uh, whole apartment building right there. I mean, it's crazy to see. We're watching some people heal up. Hopefully, we'll be able to see our uh, old winning team from uh, last round. Hopefully, they're still in it. I think they're still alive. Okay, well, hopefully we'll find like them. the player who we were watching on Peter Griffin, if you saw on the top left, just got eliminated. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So rest in peace, Peter Griffin. We've got a little blur with the wood there. Looks like you're watching another fight. Hopefully. I don't know. Who are we rooting for here? I don't know. I don't remember the stins. I don't either. This might have been a new team for us. I, I, I kind of want to root for Happy Kitten. I mean, like, I'm just imagining, like, a little cat right there. It's that. Can kittens uh, be happy? They should. They should Happy be, yeah. Kitten is the only one alive on their team. I think we just uh, jumped into a concert right there. Mystic, who we've been following, I think he was the invincible player to start taking out. Mm-hmm. Looks like we're down to about 43 players, 16 teams. Fourth Storm. I think it's a little earlier than last match, but it's fine. It looks like we're moving about the same way. Same pace. This stage, the storm is like you can see the full thing on the mini map. Yeah, I don't know if the moon or sorry, the storm is moving slower. I think just uh, eliminations are happening faster. That's fair. A lot of teams are fighting. I mean, almost every team we've been spectating has been either in a fight or they have been running away from one. There's like an Elim down there. A teammate of theirs was uh, eliminated right below while the rest of his squad's at top. I don't know what they're looking at right now. Looks like we're seeing some flying right here. Oh, again! People do not like those who fly. It might be missing, but I mean, from all of those shots we've been seeing, a lot of teams have been shooting those who fly. I mean, those who take the wings, people who've been seen jumping. Hey, it's an easy target, yeah. Taking advantage of the, I mean, the ease of shot. We've got a team just hanging around right now. Moving from there. Some movement. Some car racing. We have about five of the remaining 15 we can see on the mini-map there. Mm -hmm. That team's gonna have to move because of the storm. 
Looks like a lot of teams are starting to move in. I would not be surprised if these fights start to become a little more frequent. Uh, mine also take longer. I'm interested, simply because the storm has not moved in as quickly as it used to, it might very well be that it, these fights take a lot longer, and these teams are going to last a lot longer, too. See the train running on the mini-map. See, we are currently spectating who won the round before. Mm hmm It's definitely interesting. Gonna have to move, though, as well as the other team in the area. They might be aware that they're there. They might be, but I, well, I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like they're just trying to move fast. Gonna miss the shots, though. Not able to take them out. This team might be in a little danger. Just a bit. Kind of watching around, spectating some different teams right now. Looks like they're just gathering materials. Which is okay, fair. Really good fight. Mm -hmm. Don't see anything big happening. Now that the storm match had reached some fights soon, this is a very slow section. No team engaging. Probably going to be another shrink or two before a lot of these teams start to get eliminated. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing anything too soon. I mean, it's what fire. Do you think this hmm? What do you think this gen is? I, I have no idea, honestly. Okay, we're seeing another team looking down. I really yeah, like just not a lot though. of big fights. A team has been eliminated in the last two minutes. Down to 14, with just under half the players alive. Which probably means a bunch of full teams. Yeah. Because we're watching it's it right to now. to see the circle. Mm -hmm. The full thing, so there's going to be some fighting. It just does not look like it's that active of a game. Indeed. It seems like yellow and blue are fighting on the bottom right of the mini-map. Mm -hmm. Seems like a team got taken out. Here we go. There might be some movement. I think they know where they are. Or perhaps not. Unless they're right underneath them, which would be hilarious. <laughs> seems like a pet. the team that won the first game was in a fight. I recognized all three of their usernames. They seem to all be alive. Yeah, it looks like we see have a consistency here. Uh, a lot of the teams from last game and the game before, the ones who got to the final 10, final 12, uh, those teams are also trying to make it to this, and they are making it here. Indeed, I think we're following a team that hasn't been to this stage of the game yet, or they have and I just haven't. We haven't seen them. I do not believe so. I think this is the first time being this far, which is great for them. I mean, let's root for them. <laughs> yeah, look at the store. I'm just definitely going to be... 35 players have to live in there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is where our fights are... Or I think this is where the fights will start to get a little bit more um, hectic is a good way to put it. Yeah. This team definitely trying to hold out as long as possible. Down a player so they will be threatened. More than the others. Looks like a couple teams are starting to go down. Well, players just been wiped out on the roster. We're spectating. We're down to 13 teams, 33 players. Yep. A third of teams and players. About. Looks like they're all starting to rotate to that smallest circle now. Fight. Pretty big build. You see some brick, wood, metal, all sorts of things being used. Yeah, different items here. I would not be surprised if this will really get drawn out. I mean, all these builds that are still here. I mean, the materials have barely been used. And a lot of these fights really haven't been hectic at all. I mean, you can see the trading of materials. People have a lot to build with. We 
You're down to 30. The storm is... Looks like it is shrinking. Currently. Storm did take out someone. Mm hmm. Down to the final 12 teams. Hey, this player has been. will probably also be eliminated by the storm. Yeah, sad down right there. She's shrinking yet again in 30 seconds to an even smaller area. Like a player was eliminated by themselves. Yeah, it and looks like 11 it. 11 teams. A lot see. of this might be the storm. Yeah, the storm forcing the teams that were playing Super C to fight. I feel like other teams have been keeping teams outside the storm out from being safe. Mm hmm. Here we go, an even smaller storm. Or a circle. We can have another round of eliminations here. At this stage. Mm -hmm. Hard to see what teams are left alive. See if you recognize anyone. The player was taken out. The player we were spectating was able to shoot down that player. Eliminated two players. Which would be really good towards their point totals. Down to eight teams left. Fifteen players. Fourteen players. This team has their full roster that we're spectating. Mm -hmm. Looks like a lot of close cut fights now. This team... The one that we were talking about earlier being here for probably the first time is still alive. Top seven, two players left. Yeah, it's definitely good for them. Really interesting right now. I don't know if the team we were watching originally, uh, the winners of last game, I don't know if they're still here. Me neither. I suppose we'll find out. See if I recognize any of their usernames. Oh, if it's I no skill. Still. I remember talking about them in the first game. I don't know if they made it that far. But hey, to see them in the final match this far is really good. Always end on a high note. I remember they were like top five teams the first time and we were like, his name's Lion, like he has still. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's made it this far and that's really good, especially for the statewide. Really small storm, 10 players within it. It looks like they're keeping the high ground as long as they can. Gonna move out of that. And the players on the low ground are really suffering for it. I think like the team that won the first round, even watching them the whole time, seemed like two of their members were just eliminated. Mm -hmm. Some interesting shotgunning right there. I have no skill and... Your teammate, I want uh, four teams left. Yeah. Ooh, three. Nice elimination. Sadly, that is the team we're rooting for. Two Looks teams like a lot of people getting down. Seems like... Survivability is key. Three people See, left. I have no skills teammate. Is going to pull the victory, or will it be other one remaining? Oh yeah, they went down. We've had well done. A new team won every time. Yeah, a new team. It's really good to see. Really well, definitely an interesting finish. Come on top today in Fortnite. Yeah, we will see that come out later. I don't know how they were been tracking. I don't know how they've been tracking points, but hopefully that will come out in the next couple of uh, minutes. We'll see. Any uh, final takeaways about today's Fortnite match? Well, for a first uh, big stream of Fortnite, I think it was a good one to watch. Definitely a good one to have. I'm really interested in all the building that was going on, the strategy. I don't know if there was any grand strategy that was going on, but if there was, it's definitely interesting to see how the teams got there.
I think, a, again, a big thing of luck. Uh, a lot of different point values, eliminations, uh, a lot of strategy overall, trying to make sure you get the most points is really key here. And uh, it's interesting to see. There are some incredible forts. Mm -hmm. Never been more. Oh, but uh, we will see from there. Any other closing remarks on your part? Not really. Okay, well, one quick thing before we're out. Again, on behalf of ESO, thank you to National Guard for their sponsorship. And then on behalf of Ohio University, thank you to PNC and Lenovo for making esports possible here. And then we'll see with Overwatch. All right. Do you remember when it's well, it's supposed to start? I believe it is supposed to start at 11.30. I do not know if that is confirmed. Let me check really quickly. 10.30. So, uh... 10.30, plus or minus any extra time it takes to set it up. Yep. Sounds good, but we will see you then.
college experience shouldn't be one size fits all. That's why at Ohio University, our students step onto campus together as one class, then branch off to explore their unique interests and ambitions. At Ohio, finding your way is about far more than choosing a few electives. It's about connecting with experiences that empower you to follow your curiosity and prepare you for whatever comes next. And since Bobcats help Bobcats, you'll be supported every step of the way by faculty and alumni here and around the world. No two Bobcats follow identical paths, but by their last day as students, each one has discovered the people, places, and opportunities that will prepare them for the next chapter. At Ohio University, we go beyond the college experience to deliver your college experience, filled with connections and moments that will move you forward forever.
Welcome back, Ohio. I'm Addison. I'm Logan. It's good to see you back. We are now on to Overwatch now. We have skipped over Fortnite. Well, finished Fortnite. And it is good. time to start the next round. What do you think? How was Fortnite, by the way? It's I wasn't here. It's great to watch those games. Uh, it did get a little confusing. I don't understand Fortnite competitive very much. But uh, it was fun to see a lot of the different strategies that went on there. A lot of gathering of heals, outlasting opponents. Really, really fun to see. Better uh, you than me. Yeah. <laughs> so... We are going to be watching Groveport Madison versus Worthington Kilborn today. Yeah. Uh, well, just the first match. We're actually going to be watching all of the matches. Yeah, um, we'll be moving to a different... Uh, we'll be moving to the groups, and we'll be going all the way to the... I assume the final for this region, yeah. right? Yep. Yep. But it is going to be awesome. So first point, I believe, is going to be control on Ilias. So, so interesting to see. We're going to see Doomfist. Well, enough. Oh, and oh, we see a positive. pause. <laughs> Well, we got pretty far. Um, one big thing, though, with Ilios, assuming that is the map we'll be starting with, is it's going to be a lot of focus around the well. I mean, we've seen a lot with the Overwatch patch and items like that. You want to talk about that, Logan? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, oh, really? Because I don't have it pulled up. But, okay. But, wow, well, you can continue talking and I'll pull it up. I, we can I talk will about continue to talk about some of the, the different things going on in the patch. So, what we saw first is we're going to be seeing... A lot of different stuff with Reaper, uh, a lot of different stuff with Sim. Uh, a lot of this is basically making DPS relevant again. What we saw with the last, I would say, season change is a good way to call it. Uh, DPS was kind of sidelined. A lot of this was now in favor of tank survivability, support being done really, really well now. And it basically became a game of, can your tank basically beat the other tank or outcounter them and play into their team better to then proceed to win the point? Yep. What happened from there is DPS have now resurged into a stronger forefront on the meta, I would say. And now you were going to see Especially place. Uh, characters like Symmetra, where you see the primary fire maximum damage is now 195 yeah. per second. Which means you hold it on, you know, Tracer for a second and she dies. Yeah. With max charge, um, we see, you know, increase in Sentry. Um, a lot of, we see a lot of support, especially with like Alari and um, Life Weaver. Um, which, you know, a lot of small changes create changes the meta in a big way. And it is, it's kind of crazy how you look at it and the game four years ago, we were just talking about it, uh, yeah. coincidentally, is different in, than, like, now, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I mean, I was terrible four years ago at Overwatch, that's for sure. <laughs> still terrible. I was, I was rock, <laughs> well, okay, okay. I'm saying, sorry, myself, I'm still terrible. I don't know. I was I was a hard stuck silver on console Overwatch on Xbox. It was bad on Overwatch One. I will say though the loot boxes were my personal favorite. From there, moving into Overwatch Two now, I have now taken the comfortable seat of Plat Diamond, and I will take it. Uh, but it has been nice to see with this patch, the resurgency of DPS. I think is going to see a lot of changes, uh, especially with Sim. You were pointing that out correctly. One second to kill a tracer. Now I think it's good to point out that Sim Beam is progressive damage. It's not just you hold it for a second and she just insta dies. Yeah. It is progressive, so you it's causing do focus. A, a, a continued amount of damage to get the beam to be stronger and stronger. Exactly, exactly. Um, uh, but against a tank player, uh, let's say D.Va, Orisa, I would say Reinhardt. Especially players that have blocks but don't work against beams, like D.Va, yeah. Orisa. Um, I'd argue Rhine in this scenario simply because she charges shots off of his shield. But that's true. give and take. Shield tanks. Yeah. Si uh, Sig. Sig. Sig's a good one. Sig's a good one. Sig um, block doesn't block it. Yeah. Uh, it basically allows Sim to take a forefront on what it used to be, which Sim... <sighs> I don't want to hate on the character too much, but Sim's beam is useful, but she w was basically a baby Zarya for a lot of the time. She can make- With a teleport. With a teleport, but you don't see the teleport used as much as it used to be. I think the only maps I s consistently see teleport will be getting on, I think Hanamura has a map where you need to go through a couple different windows with a teleport you could. Ilias has one where you can skip the stairs a little bit with teleport. Back when Dive was meta, we used to see Sim would always TP out of spawn, yeah. and then you would switch to Tracer. Yeah. And and then your team would be already, you know, further ahead. Well, your team would be faster than their team unless they were doing the same thing. And then you would go to dive. But now she's more, her damage is so much greater that I'm going to guess we'll start to see Sim a lot more um, in this. Exactly. I would love to see Sim take a forefront again. I mean, especially on the team that uh, I help coach up as part of the club. It's good to see Sim take a forefront again and start to see that with DPS. My own DPS gameplay, of course, has been affected by the use of Sim. Uh, hit scan. Uh, we take those characters like Ash, um, Widow, I, uh, characters like that. Those who have the ability to go into those longer range battles and come out with success are now starting to become a little less of the front 
uh, the, the constant usage that they've been getting. And at least that's the hope that I'm going to see keep pushing that way, mainly because I don't play Hitscan myself. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but when we start to see those start to... Well, when they took such a forefront view where they were constantly... You'd always see, like, an Ash, a Widow, a Cassidy constantly playing those characters, constantly getting them up there. It very much became just who could aim better would win. Now we're starting to see a little pushback. We're going back into what I like, which is where you can finally play Junkrat again. And then we're going to see that go from yeah. there. Yeah, love Junkrat. My personal favorite. Uh, but, of course, while Junkrat is coming back, he is not as good as he could have been and should be. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to be getting back into the game. Yeah, I believe we might be switching up the map. We did switch up the map. Yes. I do believe um, this is... Is this Elios? No. This is not Elios. I'm 95% um, sure names? not are not my strong suit, I will be honest. Uh, it could be Ilios, and we could be very wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's there's Well, there's uh, the the one with the wind. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I know the name of it, it is University. I oh, oh, shoot, it's... Um, it might be Nepal. It, no, it's I Busan. Think it's Busan, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, we, we've got uh, this down. We're professionals. <laughs> I wish I could press tab, is what I'm saying. Um, so right off the bat, we're actually going to see some Junkrat. I'm I'm really excited. Oh, um, I love this. This is this is what I want to see in Overwatch: the bring back of Junkrat meta. Junkrat <laughs> at competitive, and he belongs there. Uh, unfortunately, we were talking about Sim, and we don't see a Sim. Mm -hmm. um, but this will be an interesting meta, and we will uh, see. Well, Sim's a good counter character. We will probably see her come out if uh, Red Worthington Kilborn is going to have troubles with their Orisa. I doubt that we're going to see it come out in any other circumstance, simply because Sim herself isn't something you usually aggro with. Uh, but you put this great usage of Cassidy and Mercy right here. Uh, Mercy taken out right in the beginning of that fight. Very, very well done. And we had a trade with Moira on their team. Looks like we have a little bit of a split up. Blue team's losing itself right here with down to Cassidy, although Doomfist is taking some hits himself. Goes back for healing and back into it. The enemy advances on our we see Tracer go down and we're just gonna see this uh, Reaper stay in the the front line, try and get a try and get a nice pick, and we see the pick on the Moira. Mm -hmm. And Mercy is low and we will see them try to dive this Mercy. And Mercy goes down. That is so, the second time. The goal here is just to get out and um, regroup. Yeah, I mean with Doomfist really starting to dominate their back line, and we see the mobility. Worthington Killboard is able to put in a lot more damage than Groveport can take. Orisa is good and good into Doomfist, but she is not that good without the support from her team, which she is not getting right now. Uh, so the hope is that she'll be able to get some more there. Doomfist back into the back line, going for kills. Cassidy falls down, and there goes the rest of the team. Yep. Wow, that is something crazy. What do you think uh, Groveport's going to have to pull out, Logan? I think, honestly, they are playing the amount of Doomfist counters that you would think. They're playing Orisa, they're playing Cassidy, and, you know, all you all you basically have to do here is just wait for the Doom to dive in. Yeah. Have, have you know, your Orisa just pull him into a corner and everyone needs to shoot him, especially with, you know, these high damage characters from close range like Tracer and Reaper. I completely agree with you there. My interest is why of interesting Orisa ult coming out right there. Uh, looks like it pushed them back a lip, which is what they were trying for. Cassidy ult coming back in reverse. Or actually, sorry, from Groveport. Uh, looks like we had Tracer Bomb as well. A lot of ults coming out here. Cassidy takes down their Tracer. Will they be able to get any more? And that will be a no. Looks like they're getting pushed back yet again. I don't know about this May choice right here. What do you think, Logan? Thank you kindly. Say that one more time. Please. I don't know about the May choice. I mean, we're seeing May being used. That's true. But I just... Her wall is useful. Sure, it has some utility there. But they're not able to get close enough for wall to be effective. Because this whole team is getting dived as a group by Worthy. So, I don't know if Grove Lord can do that. Back to what I was saying with the Orisa. And, um, you know, trying to wait for the Doom to dive in. And then just put him in a corner. With the May, you can even wall him off. And we actually see the May all get used to kill at least the Lucio. And we're going to see um, with overtime if... We see the Orisa go down. That's really tough. I think the May and the Mercy got to go. I don't know how that's going to work without them. Um, but they got to trade them out for something. They don't have the mobility to stop Doomfist, I don't think. So we see with the meta, um, not not only the meta, just the characters they are playing. Um, we see them, you know, they're playing characters that will originally counter um, the other team. But 
it's not working. At this point, you got to change it up, figure something else out. Exactly. Um, even if it's not full countering, you know, their their team, mm. it's you got to do something, right? Well, I think the big difference here is we've got to see some counter come out for Doomfist. They got to play something that Doomfist is just not going to go well into. And well, I really think that might be like pull out like a Roadhog, pull out something that's going to stop Doomfist from being in your back line. He's just able to go back there and do whatever he wants and nobody can stop him. The problem with Roadhog is we see the Reaper. So if you, that's true, yeah. you know, a uh, very high damage character um, that can just heal off of the um, Doom, or not Doomfist, forgive me, uh, the Roadhog. Yeah, beautiful think, rollout from Doomfist, I by the way. Zarya and Echo changes will be very good here. Mm -hmm. They did exactly what we said. They changed it up, and we're uh, we're going to see what happens. Definitely good to get rid of the Mercy, though. Her mobility is good. She can run away from certain things, but when your team's getting dove in the back line, she's just not useful anymore. And a good thing to take out of from Groveport Madison and trade of a BAP, uh, Baptiste. Worthington Kilborn seems to be skirmishing with them on the high ground, a little bit of low. It looks like Baptiste and the Moira are a little stuck in back line. They might have been dove earlier. Uh, Zarya is doing pretty well right now. Uh, able to control points. We see looks both like go down. Now it's yeah. just going to be a matter of time before they cap, which they already did. Good capture from Go Fort Madison. A great turnaround from last game. Good to see. I'm wondering if they'll be able to hold it, though. Uh, especially with Doomfist now having more open field over them and them needing to hold on to this point to get the win. Uh, I think we might see Doomfist come out, although they did get a full charge Zarya there. Well, it looks like Zarya is going to be aggroing onto the Doomfist now and going for the backline again. Is getting left alone, but not getting the healing she needs and will get punished for it and will die. Uh, looks like that will be the end of Groveport Madison's hold on point as Worthington Kilborn moves back on with their team to capture it and go back. Yeah, we see. They actually stalled the capture. They let him get another 5 to 10%, which yeah. in, in the long term is incredibly useful for Groveport Madison. Um, because that's an extra 10 or so seconds that you can use to um, cap it again. Yeah, it's definitely useful for Groveport, especially because it looks like their characters take, uh, with, with the Zara comp and items like that, they're going to be running a lot of characters that need more time to be able to truly combo off is a good way to put that. Although it looks like Reaper Alt again goes off without a hitch, and that will be a loss of that fight for them. We that's will a see bad the team loss. Hmm? We will see the team kill. Yeah, it is a good team kill. I mean, for the Reaper, I would be pat myself on the back right there. <laughs> I think every ult he's done so far has at least landed one to two elims, which is very, very consistent for a DPS and very good. Especially with our alt combination here. We're going to see Groveport going into about five, or they tend into about three. Good alt usage could mean a win of a point for Groveport. We're going to see four, five, all five alts for Groveport, and I'm going to guess we're going to see some here. Which, Yeah. One critical thing I'm starting to notice, they're really ignoring the Doomfist, which is causing a lot of fatality. Oof, Ooh. lost with Moira right there. That is a tough fall. And nobody's going to make it out of that for Groveport. What do you think's got to happen, Logan? We're down to just three ults to three, two now. At this point, you have enough ults, and you don't want to swap. You just want, uh, as we actually see the swap to Faro, but um, you want to just try and see if something works, you know? Yeah, I mean, something's got to click eventually. Yusufara, they don't have hit scan, excluding the Tracer, and I guess I could argue Moira, perhaps. Ah, but loss of Fara due to Tracer Bomb. Ugh, they're just not able to get anywhere. I would argue it might just be worth it to use Zar Alt and Junkrat as a combination to take care of Doomfist, but I don't think the Zar was able to do it that far. I don't think they'll get a touch here, unfortunately. No, not unless they went speed and they decided to swap Ana instead. That will be a lack of touch. And a loss of the first map, but and a win for Worthington. Oh. Worthington will win the first map. Very, now, very well done. It's in in a situation like that. We both played, you know, yeah. competitive Overwatch for a long enough time. It's it's easy to get down on your team yourself and think, oh, you know, we did everything wrong. But you know, it's still, as I like to say, it's still winnable for Groveport Madison. They can still come back. They still, you know, you just sit there, you talk to your coach, you figure out. You know, figure out what you did mm -hmm. and you uh, make some swaps and you just try and do it again, right?
Yeah, I mean, it's always good to run it back, but they've got to figure out how to counter that Doomfist. One thing I think we really noticed, especially in that play of the game, if you're going to look back at it, you see how the Bap didn't get any support the entire time. He wasn't even looking at Doomfist himself. He was simply walking away, trying to deal with everything else, and try to heal his team, which is a great thing for a support player to do, but the lack of his, his death in that fight could have cost them a lot. And the fact that the Doomfist then went on for the Moira, completely backlined the supports without a single DPS or tank turning around, is really critical right there. It can cost you a lot. With that, you would love to, you know, play characters with a lot of high, with high mobility like a Kiriko, a Lucio, you know, characters that when Doom pushes the back line, you could just go, all right, nope, I press a button and I don't see you anymore. Yeah, and, and Baps has three health bars, right? We have his normal health bar, he has an ability that boosts healing and brings healing back, and then he has ability, uh, his immortality field that can keep them alive permanently. Bap used all three in subsequent for that Doomfist, and every single time not a single person turned around to heal him. I mean, there's nothing you can do at that point. If your team's not going to turn around to help you, and you used everything you had to try and keep yourself up, it's just it, game over for him. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, going back to the supports, um, you really do need to, if you, you're not going to get that team to, you know, your tank and your DPS to turn around and try and target the Stoomfist, you you gotta pick a character that you can end up just running away yeah. or, you know, sustaining for so long that your team will eventually turn around. Yeah. Um, with that, though, you also realize that, you know, they, the Doomfist can swap. Right? Yeah. So, once that happens, if they do pick enough counter or get, get around that, that, that you know, you're you're going to counter swap and you're going to pick an entirely different character that yeah. could do an entirely different thing. Well, I think the core here is that they need Doomfist to swap. If they can't get him to move on to anything else, the same exact thing is going to keep happening and the same exact dive in the back line, loss of supports, then loss of the rest of the game. I mean, I just think the Zar needs to turn around. We need to have Arissa or we need to have something like Roadhog. I know that Reaper's tough, but if they're not handling the Reaper regardless, Roadhog might just be the play. Start punishing the Doomfist for getting into your back line. Then all of a sudden, no more Doomfist diving. That means it helps you out a little bit more. Your team can live a little bit longer, and then you can start getting into that fight. Yeah, I uh, I completely agree with that. Yeah, I mean, we'll just we'll see from there, right? I mean, we're moving on. It looks like King's Row is going to be our next map of choice, which is going to be a hybrid map. This could be really, really good for a team that wants to stick together. Uh, I mean, Kill Worthington Kilborn. They have a really mobile comp, but now let's see what happens when they're restricted to just a payload or just one point. Will that mobility still be able to go through for them? It really depends on if they're attacking or if they're defending first, because if they exactly. are attacking with that um, that very dive-heavy mobile comp, um, you know, that choke point on King's Row, the first choke point that we love to hate, yeah. <laughs> um, you, you just get around it, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... With King's Row, uh, one good thing to point out, yeah, for those who, of you who are new to King's Row map as a whole, you're going to enter into the map and there is a very crucial, crucial, critical choke point. There's only really two access points through. You either have to fly over or you have to go straight through it. To a team that can hold that choke point very strongly, you play characters that don't move. You play like a Sim, you play Torbjorn, you play Orisa, characters that don't move back. They stay where they are, they stay put. Very a high team, heavy damage. Yeah, high damage, high survivability. Lo low mobility. Low mobility, though. You sacrifice a lot of that. But if you go in and run that into hopefully a Doomfist comp, like more than Kilborn might run again, it's going to be a huge lopsided because now it's less of we need to move to survive this and more of they need to move to us to capture it, which means that they now have, they have more survivability. They can do better because of that. And then from there, we'll hopefully see possibly a tied fight, and then we'll start to see that Doomfist come out for other things. I'd love to see what else Czech can play. I think Doomfist is a really good one. I think we might see Wrecking Ball from him, or something else like Winston, which is very mobile. Agreed, yeah. Um, especially with, you know, Season 9 and all the new patches and all this stuff, Dive has become the big thing, especially with, um, like, Winston and stuff, where he can shoot through barriers yeah. um, with his left, left click. And, I believe so. You know, just that, that entire... I guess just change as we were talking about previously um it changes the game completely yeah that's it, it's one of the it's that's why i like esports a lot um compared to like um regular sports is they don't regular sports don't change as much as esports there's not that's true you, you know obviously you don't have patches and um character changes and the the entire game changes almost every season which is about two three months yeah um which it's it's always adapting it's always changing and it's super interesting f in that sense of like you know especially for a lot of the new people watching and uh, getting into the game 
the game, I've said it, I said it earlier, the game is entirely different than three years ago. Yeah. When there used to be six people on each side. Yeah. And, you know, just entirely different. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of fluidity that goes into that. And as you can see, we're moving into King's Row right now. We will see some teams starting to set up. It looks like they're getting to assemble their heroes right now. Might add some more time in there. I don't know for certain, but we will see them come out. It looks like we did have a quick substitution here um, for... Groveport Madison, we had their original tank subbed out for now. Banch, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I believe, or not perhaps it was a DPS that was subbed that out. That is I don't not know their for tank. Certain. That is not their tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mistake there, although it looks like there was a sub on their side. So, I'm just going to cut you off real quick and say, we will see a Widow duel. Oh, we will. That is very interesting right there. King's Row is one of the only Widow maps that... Um, I like playing Widow on, yeah. because there's a lot of peaks, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of places that you can sit, especially this top corner we see, um, where you just you just hide and you shoot, and yeah. you stand still and no one can shoot you. Now really, it's actually really fun. Yeah, my big thing here is going to see, we're either going to see one Widow immediately come out on top, or it's going to be a good duel. This Widow hasn't noticed the other one, which means if they come out and snipe them, that's game over. Oh, and a miss of the shot, that could have been critical right there. It looks like we will see a swap off, so it looks like it will be only one Widow. One Widow one widow dominates them all. So that is a problem with Widow, is with the Doomfist, you're just going to get pushed immediately. And unfortunately, he does get taken out. However, we're going to see... They're going to stall it. We're going to see you know a big team fight here with uh, Reaper getting taken out, unfortunately. And they're going to get pushed back. Hopefully get a regroup and maybe can retouch. Yeah, I'm a little interested in why Groveport Madison ran this comp. They knew they were going to come out with Doomfist or something very much of the like again. And we saw Rizza come out, which is very good. But then we saw a Widow and a uh, Reaper come out. Reaper's okay into Doomfist, but nothing crazy. And Widow especially is, I would argue, very much not the choice you want to go into a Doomfist with that much health and that much mobility. As you can see, uh, Groveport has fallen yet again to Worthington's strong push and dive comp. And that is a full team kill we've seen on top, and they will keep moving the payload from there. I mean, yep. Logan, what do you think? What's got to change? Um, a, a lot, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, they are putting up a good fight. I will not yeah. say it is it is just yeah, done yet, but um, with alts and swaps, I think I think they can get it. In reality, you got to keep the Doomfist, it, you know, funnily enough, in check. Yeah. Um, just you, the Doomfist. With the dive comp, the Doomfist is the, the, everyone goes with the Doomfist. If you don't have a Doomfist, you're, you know, already a step down. What, what you gotta do in this situation is group up just a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see the next team fight, we're gonna see two alts come out. Definitely interesting. We're seeing a couple come out. It's very tough. I just don't see Groveport Madison really grouping together that well. It seems they're all kind of playing their own little fights, and that's where they're really losing out against Worthington Kilborn. I I don't know. I just It's really tough to watch this. As you can see, Reaper was very much out of position there in a corner, getting ganged up on by two or three of Worthington Kilborn's team. And while that was going on, Groveport Madison is in the back line with an Orisa on the forefront, followed by no DPS. And a Hanzo, which is... A getting so ulted by Tracer. It's a difficult, difficult game to watch. So, we're not necessarily the best players, so we can't. I can't ex talk extremely about, like, exactly what needs to be changed. Yeah. But something needs to be changed. Something has to be done. Uh, I mean, oh, okay, good, Arissa, for yeah. the elimination on our... Yeah, they eliminated their uh, Moira, came back and respawned, and they lost their so own... One of the things I noticed, um, and I noticed early on, is they are charging the Doomfist. Yes. If you don't know, Doomfist has a block ability, and if you shoot the block ability, you do. He gets this. Uh, his punch is basically almost doubled yeah. in um, distance and power. And if you see that, you know you shouldn't shoot at it. That's his whole point. Yeah. Genji Blade did come out there. Looks like we're gonna have Reaper fall down. Come back out of the pit. Well done on the Reaper's part. Doomfist is back in the back line again. I see the Doomfist all play. I mean, it's very rare you see a Doomfist doing very like this well into a team that's trying to fully counter him. And he is constantly going. Check is on point, always going next step, always next person, next kill. He's moving really great. Yeah, charge punch is coming out. 
One thing I will note. That was a great tap. And Graveport both charged each other's. Uh, Worthington did that when Grovefort was playing Zarya. And then Grovefort has been doing this entirely while Killborn has been playing Doomfist. Not only is Overwatch a game of, you know, being like all, you know. Beautiful. It's, that was a great alt. Mm -hmm. I will um, cut off what I'm saying to yeah. say that. That was a beautiful alt. And we're going to see Doomfist just try and get out. Yep. Yeah, so what I was... I forget what I was saying. I was take it away. A little bit about utility there. But yeah, from there, I would argue that that Reaper all practically saved Grove Ford's game right there. I would not... I would. It would be safe to say that they would most likely have lost that if Reaper had not altered there and won that point for them. Um, I mean, that's incredible. Incredible gameplay right there. We're going to see the, the bomb go out and beat to counter the bomb. And at this point, they're just going to try and melt the bomb and they get it. Yeah. We see Kiri have a couple ults here. It's doable. They can win this. Um, it is. Just go down, but her ult utility is there. Can it is an even hold team on. fight. Perfectly even. Reaper is charging the Doomfist, but it's okay. Doomfist went for some more. Get out. Up. Fist and Moira got go down, but. Good job on the Wheelport's tank being able to push the Doomfist back. Agreed. And we see Reaper get out of the environmental kill. Only to die. Mm. Tough one right there. At this point, there's not a lot you can do. You can swap to dive. You can try, but I'm going to guess within the next 20 seconds, we will see Worthington Kilborn take this. Perhaps not. Oh, a wow. A good hold. Great play for that is, tank ult. I will eat my words there. <laughs> well, we'll see if we can hold on to it, though. Ah. 0.68. Sadly not. We'll get two minutes and 24 seconds left. Mm -hmm. And we are going to see round one is complete and we will swat, uh, switch. Oh. I, don't, I was going to say switch and swap at the same time. Switch sides. Uh, they will switch sides. Characters. So we will see um, Go Fort Madison um, start the attack. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, that was an incredible game to watch. I, I will say this. While Groveport Madison has been struggling to counter their Doomfist, we need to p take note that they have kept them and brought them down to 2 minutes 24 seconds. That's a good time. Uh, yeah. it's, it's really good to see this for them, especially because when they have to go against this, assuming they can get a couple minutes in there, 2.24 is a really good time to get a team down to. It's good. It's solid. From there, though, they need to figure out how to stop the Doomfist from doing what he does. They're never going to swap off of Doomfist, which means they now need to start playing it. They need to find something to counter it. Agreed. Yeah. No, um... We're going to see um, the same team comps actually come out um, in this next uh, point. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that we don't see Widow, Yes. Uh, sadly, uh, as a Widow main. But <laughs> it's it's important to realize what you do wrong. Yeah. And we in that first fight, we noticed um, they noticed, you know, Widow didn't work. We're going to swap. Um the only thing I noticed that I think will be um, a big issue is the Ana. Yeah. Because of the Ana's um, inability to um, move. She's yeah. very, she's a sniper, so she's very, you know, distant, heavy. Yeah. Without, it, your backline is very important. And without the, the ability to almost change your backline, um, I think it might be a big issue. I completely agree with you there. I, Ana's going to be a tough one to play into Doomfist, but her sleep does give her some ability there to counter his dive mechanics. From so, there, yes. so if, if you uh, see this this choke point, um, this is the big thing we were talking about at the beginning of the game. Um, this this hold right here is going to be... It's very hard to get through. And we see the sleep on the Doomfist yeah. to get back into spawn, and not Doomfist. Oh, no, uh, Tracer. Tracer. Okay. Uh. Um... And we're just going to see a bit of a regroup here. Hopefully, maybe some team swap changes. It looks like they're going to be keeping the Ana. The Ana was able to protect herself there, so I believe I could trust her from that fight to keep going. The, what's going to be really interesting is if this Orisa is going to keep playing into Doomfist. She's playing into him well, a lot better than we've been seeing earlier. The real question is whether or not they're going to be able to eliminate the Doomfist and be able to stop him from doing anything else, or take advantage on another player in that team who's going to get slept or purple. Oh, and we Doomfist use ult to get back pick the Mo or the Ana um, and maybe get this Moira but he is a little bit out of position we're gonna see the ult maybe to kill Doomfist it gets the Lucio yeah but they are down on Moira that is true 
I mean, they've lost their Lucio. Uh, Groveport's lost some too, but Groveport could win this out. It is doable if they can finish the Moira, maybe? Oh. Marissa is pushing in there to try and finish some kills. Getting onto the point, very well done, but not enough. Now, we've seen Junkrat come out. I feel like we were talking about Groveport a lot. Yes. Um, it, it is important to mention that Worthington Kilborn is playing in a fantastic game. They are, yes. They are playing really good. And we're actually going to see the Nano Reaper ult. Unfortunately, we'll not get any picks, but they did get the Tracer. And with the regroup, they might be able to get this. That's true. I would say this, though. Worthington Kilborn just has so much mobility. Uh, I mean, with the ability to run Tracer, Doomfist, Soldier, Moira, Lucio, all those characters have huge mobility, very much passive mobility as well to go places. And it's not something that Groveport's operating as much, which means that they can get back a lot faster and Groveport can move forwards. So we're going to see this. They're moving them off. Seeing something coming from now. Hopefully. We are going to see if Worthington Joburg can get this back. With the beat, they... That is they are be going it. to retake it. Yeah. That is... Devastating, but beautiful at the same time. It's beautiful to see a team work together so well as they operate around this Doomfist. Doomfist mobility pattern is very hard to follow, especially on a tank player. A lot of communication needs to be seen for this to work and for this to work well. We see Czech diving in there, doing incredibly well. And then from that, the entirety of his team is able to follow, operate around them, and do well individually. It works incredibly well, and it's incredibly useful into this. I see the Junkrat ult. And it's going to get destroyed. Mm -hmm. Sadly, that is the second time Tyre has gone down. That's a tough one to watch, especially as a Junkrat player myself. Now here, what you want to do is you just want to back out. You want to yeah. regroup and you want to see if you can just, you know, get something. 30 seconds left, you just want to hide and spawn, maybe get a pick with Junkrat and just see what happens. Yeah, I mean, they're running some heavy damage DPS right here. It is possible to see a pick come out and then for that pick to be played upon. We just really need to see them operate as a team. Uh, supports are running out while they can, but Riz is taking some hits. We're seeing Hanzo coming out too. Hanzo went down. Uh, looks like Nano. it's going all to all right here. Nano Orisa could be able to do it for them, but is now the only one left. That's a tough one to watch. Will be the end they won't for even Report Madison there. Unfortunate. Yes. But it is beautiful gameplay for Worthington. I mean, it's it's incredible to watch a team work as well as they do together. I mean, that is what you need to strive for as a team. That beautiful combination they have as a team. We both coach and captain. Oh, I, I don't really coach as much, but uh, our own little little teams. Yeah. And if I saw that from my, my team, I would be utterly impressed. I mean, there's loads of communication that goes into it. There's a lot of team gameplay as well. Communication is huge. And I mean, to see all of them operate so well together as a team is something that like, you really can't ask for. It's something really hard to coach. I mean, you, you got to give a lot of credit to their team for going as far as they have in these games. You can correct a lot of things. You can yes. Correct, you can correct, you know, usage on ults. You can correct that. But having that team, you know, like almost playing together and trying to figure that out, you can't you can't do anything about that. That's something that's learned and developed. It is. And I mean, you can tell that this team has practiced together and they put in a lot of time. It shows. It shows. Their effort is huge. Uh, yeah. One quick thing. I don't want to cut you off, but since we are on a little bit of a break in between maps, uh, on behalf of Esports Ohio, we would like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And then on behalf of Ohio University, we'd love to thank PNC and Lenovo for making Esports possible here. Okay. We'll get back into Thanks it. Thanks to them. I uh, know. It, uh, we appreciate, of course, all sponsors. Uh, it's, it's great to see uh, yes. so much active participation in the esports program. It's 100%, awesome. Yes. Uh, but yeah, let's go back into it. I mean, we saw a beautiful Doomfist gameplay yet again. That's the second time in a row now. And I mean, we're starting to see from Groveport Madison, we're starting to see some counters here. But I, what do you want to see? What do you want to see out of this? Now, to counter the Doomfist, yeah. I I don't, if, since Arissa did not work, yeah. it is really hard because. Basically, when you think of counters to Doomfist, you think Arissa. Yeah. Uh, if you think of counters to a lot of tanks, you think Arissa. That's but, fair. But Doomfist specifically, to where if Arissa is not working, you got to figure something out. I think Zarya, which they originally played, would be very good. Okay. It needs to be high damage. You could, in fact, play Doomfist to counter the Doomfist and try and just maybe just stay on the Doomfist. So yeah. when he pushes in, you just hit him out and get out of block yeah um that would be something probably i would play because i'm you know i have a big ego so 
I'm not getting countered on a character I can play. That's fine. <laughs> um, along with that, maybe, as you were saying, Roadhog. I think Roadhog would be um, interesting just so for the hook. Yeah. Um, and the self-healing um, would be very... It's a big necessity. Um, I think a lot of stuff could come out here. I mean, I would love, love to see something. I mean, we really need to see them come out with something that's going to work. And hopefully Grow for Madison can do that. And I mean, I'm rooting for them too. They just, I think it comes down to their DPS now. We've seen Orissa. She's been doing well into the Doomfist. She hasn't been doing that badly. The problem is we really need to see something that's going to that's gonna work. And we need something that's come from the DPS now. All we've really seen from their DPS is kind of a couple different hit skins that really didn't fit. Their Ash played really well, uh, but their Hanzo didn't really do that well. I think they ran Cassie for a bit there, which did something, but nothing crazy. They even pulled out Mei, which didn't work as well either. Their other DPS has been playing a lot of Junkrat. Reaper has been there. Those just those aren't counters you'd think to run into a Doomfist. What I would really well, like to see Cassidy. Is, uh, yes, I would, Cassidy. I would play Cassidy. Stick Cassidy and then pull out something else to start playing into their backline. I think you need to go a little bit of mobility into the mobility. Either pull out a hit scan that's going to really work, yeah. or you need to go some form of mobility to get to their backline to start punishing them, because their supports are never touched. One They're of the first free. things you learn as a tank playing in a competitive space is if somebody is diving your backline, the best thing to do is to just dive their backline. Yeah. You, you want to counter mobility with mobility. Yeah. And it's... We saw um, Gulfport Madison try to counter it by almost defending the backline as hard as they could. But if that doesn't work, just play dive. Yeah. Just see see if... But you almost want to take it from being a 5v5 into a 1v1, 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 and just see how many you can get. Yeah, I think the big thing is, yeah, you're right. We need to see... One potential counter could still be not even trying to counter the Doomfist anymore, but fully committing to diving them. Well, a great thing that you'll see in Overwatch is when tanks get nervous and they need healing, they will run back to their support line. What happens is a team that plays with this communication that Worthington Kilborn does, to be able to stop them, you need to use it against them. What does that mean? You need to play something that's going to put pressure on them to where that communication is going to be their downfall. What does that mean? If you dive their support line, that's their Moira, their Lucio that they were playing earlier, and you put pressure onto them, what's the tank going to do? He's going to hear that because they're communicating. He's going to want to go back and help them. And what does that mean? No pressure on our DPS anymore. No pressure on their supports. And then with hope, that's going to be coming right back down and it's going to hurt Worthington Kilborn more than it's going to help them with that communication. The key is all around the tank play here. If we can see that come out, where we're able to see a uh, great flyboy, who is Grove Fort Madison's tank, pull out with something dive, be able to get into Worthington Kilborn's backline, it's going to be incredible. Check will pull back. But if we can't see that happen, then it's just going to be whether or not they can stop Check from getting into the backline and bringing the rest of his team. And it looks like we're going to be seeing some Junker Town, which is in incredibly fun but incredibly frustrating yeah. it's almost as much as king's road i think I there is one thing that you might want to point out here junkertown has been updated do you want to talk about that that is, that is true there has been quite a few updates and as of right now none are coming to mind so i would like addison to talk about that the, okay the open field remember the widow sniper shot spots if you want to talk about those you can feel free um yeah so if you basically um in the in the past, there used to be a... Oh, it looks like we see a swap, so... We can maybe, go on about Junkertown. We'll, we'll switch later. <laughs> maybe we uh, maybe we talk about uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar. Or we just don't talk about the map and wait for something else to happen. That's true. They are switching the maps around on us, sadly. Although I really did like your Junkertown speech there. Uh, if you want to finish up, feel free. I think we're... I, I would rather not. Hey, okay, um, move out. That's okay. I don't <laughs> think I'm the most, uh, I guess qualified to talk about map yes. changes I because i don't pay attention to them I know. but i believe the teams are trying to figure out what the next map will be we have moved on to map three of course we have uh, seen more than one uh change to the yes. map um <laughs> which i guess we're we're as much you know in the loop as you are in yes. this uh regard because it's not a set map it's a set map um almost it's not a set map pool um to where you have you're playing the same maps every single time, um, but you do play the same game mode. Yeah. Um, and uh, I believe, as we saw in the first one, it was um, we saw control point, control point, hybrid. and then we see hybrid, and yep. now I believe we will see flashpoint. Flashpoint. And then 
it should be push as map four yes. if we make it to map four, and then map five should be escort. Yes. Which is like hybrid, but there is no control capture yeah. point. It's simply move it as far as you can. Yep. Which is going to be interesting. I don't know if we'll make it there. I mean, Grow Fort Mattis I has hope. every possibility to do that. They're I'm a big fan of underdogs. I know. I'm a big fan and, of underdogs, too. And I think if there's if there's a better time to come back, it's when you're down by two. Yeah. And uh, we're rooting for him. But, you know. Hey, everybody all, loves a good underdog story. I, I love would love to see Grow Fort Madison come right back out on top and then really start dominating because this is mobility. We can see that happen. Doomfist is going to play really, really well here with Flashpoint. He it's, has the it's ability. It's an easy change. But it's a good change. They, but, but it's something we have to see them make as, you know, they obviously cannot hear us and uh, should not be able to hear us. And uh, it's something they got to make by themselves. It's yeah. It's got to be, you know, it's one of those things where you just you you know something is wrong mm -hmm. but how do you fix it exactly uh, it's it's going to be interesting i mean like yeah like you were saying it's we, we can talk as much as we want right we can always say that this should be happening here it should be happening there but it really comes down to what are the teams themselves going to do actually as you're seeing pull up right now the cse regional tracker right now we are seeing a lot of different games coming through right now more than killborn of course with its two new albany with its one to chesapeake zero and reynoldsburg with its two to waverly's zero uh looks like we might be seeing some early leads right now what do you think is going to happen about these next few games we're watching right now logan yeah so it's hard it, like we were saying earlier it's hard to know who's gonna win mm -hmm. um you know comebacks always happen uh you know we'll we'll figure it out but i'm i'm excited i, yep. I think these are gonna be some really fun games especially once we get towards the finals mm -hmm. and um you know we'll be obviously watching some of them yep and uh i believe the next game we will be watching um Shh, I don't actually know. I will be honest. It, that I'm thinking about assuming it. all these games are going on at the same time, it will probably be Delaware versus uh, Warden Kilborn, most likely. However, that is not set in stone as these games could go either way. So it looks like we're going to be on New Junk City, which is a Flashpoint map. Uh, of course. If you're not familiar with the game, if you're very you know, limited in your knowledge, Flashpoint is like Control Point, except for there's five. Yep. And it's a very large map. And um, it moves a lot, I guess, the, you capture a lot faster. So with normal capture point, you're basically looking at 1% a second is around what you get. Um, with this, it's about 2 to 3 a second. Yep. Um, which is about 1 to 2 team fights. So if you lose early on, um, they could go all the way to 90 before you even get a regroup and back, and back to another team fight. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what can happen here. Flashpoint, it's very key to have an early victory. If you don't get that early victory in Flashpoint, if you can't keep these maps controlled, it's just not going to work out well for you because teams that have the ability to keep the point and to hold on to it are just going to dominate here. But we're going to see what happens. Groveport Madison and Worthington Kilborn already so into the fight. We will see Worthington uh, Kilborn and Groveport Madison are playing almost the same, you know, uh, comps as we've seen in the past, um, which... Maybe it'll work this time, hopefully. Hopefully, although it looks like it's a struggle off the bat for Grove Fort Madison. Uh, we're seeing where the Kilborn's check going right back into the back line, doing what he does best, and it is punishing them. That's down for everybody, and including the May too. That means they're going to go for the point. So, funnily enough, they did not have somebody backline to cap the nope. point. So, we're going to see it get capped here, and they're going to start the percentage and the clock. The key one here is we're going to be seeing... Grow for Madison getting a second chance. That's, I mean, we all love second chances, right? They are going to get a second chance at this point because more than the Killborn did not cap early on. A beautiful purple from the Ana right here. Not able to take advantage of it. Check is in the back line. Running away, possibly. Oh, but Reaper all again. And you're going to see incredible. the Reaper all already. In that is crazy. With 40% in the first capture point, you already see a Reaper all doom. Doomfist will have ult soon, and you'll see the Moira. Yeah, and one, Tracer has ult. One key thing to point out here with why we're so surprised by this Reaper ult, if you look into Grove Fort Madison's Reaper, he is at 51% right now, which means that Worthington Kilborn's Reaper was able to double that percentage of ult and then proceed to ult in that fight. That was, what, the second fight, right? Yeah. That's incredible. That is incredibly fast. That is, that shows that um, their Reaper is doing a lot of damage. It is... 
incredible. And we will see the Roadhog swap. I, I didn't see it uh, earlier, but that is what you've been saying for two games now. Yeah. And I think it might work. Roadhog is alive. I mean, he's moving and grabbing the Reaper is an interesting choice, but it's something. He has survivability now. At this now. point, uh, one of the big phrases we used to, we always say is die or get out. Yeah. Right. And at this point, you got to do that. You got to die or get out. Try and get a regroup and let them have the first point. Just, just try and if basically, if anything, let everyone else, you know, or let them regroup. They can have it, and we'll just try and retake it from them. Exactly. I mean, it's now we're starting to see something come out. This is really anti Doomfist here. The Reaper is going to take advantage of the Hog, or oh, Roadhog. But the good thing here is that Roadhog has survivability and he has some critical support that can keep him alive. We're seeing three alts to three alts here, too, possibly four with Reaper, maybe even five if Groveport's Roadhog can get the next 50%, which they were able to do pretty quickly. Groveport has an every opportunity to get this point. And we're just going to have to see if Worthington Kilborn can take it away from them. Yeah. So we're actually going to see. Um, three go down for Groveport Madison, and we're basically just gonna see the team kill. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's I'm very confused. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one to watch. I I'm we, almost speechless when I when I'm trying to think about it. Yeah, it's, we tuned into the May there, and the May didn't really. I think they were trying to. It's not. Fight. Um. As much uh, as people would like to say, like a skill difference, mm -hmm. it's I. It's a lot of. Um, I think Worthington Kilborn got. They did really well in the first game, mm -hmm. and you almost, you know, when you lose a lot, you start to play worse. Yeah, it's just it's a, almost a mental thing, um, and I think Groveport Madison has that. And as as a coach, you would be saying, guys, don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, just play. You're good. Don't, don't worry about it. You gotta get your head into the game here. Oh, so well done. A good that is elimination. But a pick on the Moira. Not enough, sadly. Um, so it's really what you're here. thinking here is... I don't think they're going to make it back to the point. Logger. They swapped Zarya. Mm -hmm. um, you probably would let him have two as well. Yeah. And you just got to regroup and see what happens. I just don't think it's going to happen. It looks like Worthington Kilborn is moving around. It doesn't look like they're going to let them through. Junkrat might make it, and that does not look like it's going to happen. Oof. It's a tough one to watch right there. Report Madison has the alts. They have the ability. But going into this DPS line and still not being able to stop Doomfist is just doing too much hurt for them, I think. Yeah. I, um... Maybe... We see a pick on this Lucio. That is a really, really nice pick right there. And we're going to see, hopefully, and we see both supports gone. At this point, You've they might advantage. win this point. I mean, At least get the early cap, which was we. That is a beautiful block. Beautiful block for the Zarya. And we Zarya see the Doomfist ult here. Yeah, got every opportunity. You gotta take the point. You're down two. If they get this one, it's game over. You gotta put everything. You gotta put your all into this. And if you're Worthington Kilborn here, you're gonna back out. You're gonna regroup. You're gonna know we have two. We're two up. They can, even if they win this point, we get it. You know? Yeah, we're we're still up. Now look at that. Worthington, uh, Broport Madison doing really well, working together. The Zarya is starting to work. They stopped the Reaper. This is something. They're, they can get something from this. If they keep this point, they can make a comeback. I mean, I, now, we like an underdog, right? <laughs> I love it. And now, now that we see, you know, the alts here, I think we're going to see, we're going to see Nano. I bet you we're going to see a Reaper ult. Um, almost every ult in the game. And I find it weird that they Nanoed the Moira. Um, but it might have been a misclick. Might have been, you know, trying to get an early was, strategy. Yeah, it has to have been a misclick. Uh, that or might have been desperation with the Moira ult coming out. Uh, Nano does do something, but I don't know if Grovefort Madison realized the Doomfist can hit Moira out of that ult. It's happened twice so far, so it interests me why they did that and why the Moira got so close. But maybe they thought he didn't have his punch. Nope. Well, we still have a chance here. Groveport uh, Madison does get probably one more chance to capture it, as is. Um, it's, uh, Riddington Kilborn is playing this extremely well. Yeah. And it's... Um, especially check the Doomfist. Um, he is... Um, they're very good about, you know... I guess 
just taking space, holding yeah. space, and um, knowing when to get out. And we're going to see the Reaper ult get three. That's a tough one to watch, but that's probably it. And that is team kill. Yeah. Um, a beautiful at this point, you want to switch to ball. You want to switch to a character that's fast, and you yeah. want to try and get it. We saw Kiriko to Moira. No ball swap, though, and I doubt the tank is going to be able to make it there in time. That's a tough one to watch, but a beautiful play for Worthington Kilborn and a well-deserved win. And Worthington Kilborn is going to win. Yeah, they will be moving on to the next round. Yeah. Uh, again, beautiful play on Czech's part. I mean, we got to give them credit for that. They have been playing incredibly well, and it shows. I mean, I believe they have won by all capture points, all marks, every single time. So, it's incredible. Oh, and to finish with a beautiful Reaper play is another incredible thing, too. Look at that. That's just so good. Beautiful triple kill right there is an incredible thing to watch at the end of that. What do you think, Logan? I don't know. I think we're going to go to the next game. Uh, well, yeah, we've got to. I do not know what we'll tune into next. Uh, I believe we'll be moving on to either any of the games in progress or we'll move on to one of the next finals. Games. I think if we ask very nicely, we will see the uh, schedule on the... Uh, that would be... Yes. On the stream. Oh, and it, it is shown up. So... Um, it is not updated, unfortunately, um, but we should be watching Worthington Kilborn play Delaware CC, Yes, if I am correct. Um, the reason, if you're wondering, uh, Delaware CC being already into the next section of the regionals is because Warren had a uh, forfeit. So they forfeited, or forfeited the game uh, that they had with them planned, so Worthington Kilborn will be moving on. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, we have yet to see Delaware play. They would have been our first game, but uh, it's is what it is. We'll be able to see them next. Yeah. So, do you just want to talk about that that game and uh, what you, what you saw a little bit in the overall? Yeah. Uh, there is a good chance we might move into Chesapeake and New Albany. That might happen. Uh, but yeah, for right now, let's let's go into the details. I I mean, first of all, Doomfist play incredible. I it was mean, beautiful. Check did just incredibly well. Always on top of it. Always moving well. Um, oh, looks like we had Reynoldsburg move up as well. Yeah, so, uh, thank you for pulling that back <laughs> up. So, we're going to see Reynoldsburg 3-0 uh, Waverly. Yep. Um, we didn't watch the game, so I can't really talk about anything about it, but um, unfortunate for Waverly. Yes. Um, and uh, looks like uh, Chesapeake versus New Albany is still 0-1. Um, that might be an updating issue, or we will figure that out later. Um, but soon we are, should be watching Delaware CC versus Royaling St. Yeah. Um, and, uh, if you look in the background, um, you're going to see a lot of people walking around. Yes. Um, today is insane for, uh, this arena and, uh, yes, the arena is rarely as, I, as it is right now. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, while we're just sitting here talking, uh, do you want to thank the sponsors again? Uh, yes, I think it's a good idea to flip over to that really quickly. Uh, of course, on behalf of Esports Ohio, we would like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And then on behalf of Ohio University, we would like to thank PNC and Lenovo for helping continue esports here and uh, keeping us going. Yeah, thank you to them, uh, all of them. Yeah. Um, it's really, it's really nice to see, um, esports is a growing program. It's yeah. growing everywhere. And it's nice to see, you know, um, people are, you know, helping out everywhere they can, you know, yeah. and it's a thank you to them. Um, and, uh, I don't quite know, uh, when the next game is going to start, uh, as we, uh, my, uh, headphones are very quiet and, uh, I can't hear what they're saying. So I've actually been signaled by the guys in the back that we will be going to intermission for a bit before we get into our next game. So it was awesome to be here to commentate that game for you. We will be here, of course, uh, back hopefully in 10 to 15 or so minutes, but we will see you then. Until then, it has been awesome. I'm Addison. I'm Logan. And we will see you then. Bye, guys.
college experience shouldn't be one size fits all. That's why at Ohio University, our students step onto campus together as one class, then branch off to explore their unique interests and ambitions. At Ohio, finding your way is about far more than choosing a few electives. It's about connecting with experiences that empower you to follow your curiosity and prepare you for whatever comes next. And since Bobcats help Bobcats, you'll be supported every step of the way by faculty and alumni here and around the world. No two Bobcats follow identical paths, but by their last day as students, each one has discovered the people, places, and opportunities that will prepare them for the next chapter. At Ohio University, we go beyond the college experience to deliver your college experience, filled with connections and moments that will move you forward forever.
And welcome back, Ohio! What's up, guys? Esports Ohio Regionals, we are back and getting ready to go into our next Overwatch game. But before that, we're going to talk a little bit about what maps we're going to, what teams we're going to be watching, and then a little bit about our last game. I'm Addison. I'm Logan. We're happy to be back with you. Yeah, so real quick, if we want to pull the bracket up, we can uh, take a look at that. Here we go. So, one quick thing, we watched the Groveport Madison and Worthington Killboard game, which was incredible, Logan. I mean, what are your thoughts on it? It was pretty, pretty cool. I know it was awesome. A great, uh, amazing Doomfist play by Czech, as well as an amazing team play as a whole. Uh, Groveport Madison, of course, did as well, too, but Worthington Killborn was the team that moved on. Uh, this round, though, we will not be watching Killborn, sadly. We will be watching New Albany versus Reynoldsburg. So, that will be the uh, two teams beneath Delaware, CC, and Killborn. Yeah, it's interesting because both of them went 3-0 and in their respective games. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know. That's, we are, it's going to be, it's going to be a good game. Yeah, we are going to be going into this blind, like the, you, the audience. Uh, we have not seen these games yet. We've not seen these players or what they can do. I'm really stoked about it. Two teams going 3-0 and means more likely than not, they're both going to be very, very good teams. What does that mean? That means we are going to see something awesome, and I'm excited for it. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Um... So while uh, we're just waiting, uh, I guess we can talk a little bit more about that last game while we're just sitting here. Yeah, I don't think we have any clips to pull up just yet, but uh, it's been amazing to see the Doomfist play and team coordination today. Uh, I know that these regionals bring in a load of different high schools, a lot of people who have had different levels of training and coaching, and it is great to see a team really communicate with each other and show the skills they've been developing all year. Yeah, no, um, if, we, if we, you know, I guess we can't take a look at it, but if we just, you know, talk about that, um, that the, they were running an amazing dive comp. We were talking to the uh, coach, actually, and he was telling us all about, you know, uh, especially just Chet, because uh, we had mentioned, you know, watching his gameplay, and we were, you know, just insane for, you know, these, these players just... I, I, I'm speechless, you know, talking yeah. about it. It's awesome to see a team work really well together, and it looks like we are actually going to be going into the next map now that we're talking about it. Uh, looks like it is going to be on... You got it. I got it. You oh, got the map. I know. I... It's not Busan. It's Nepal. It's Nepal. There we go. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. I keep thinking uh, we don't Shangri-La or something like that. We don't have a tab button, or I would totally press tab and look at it. But... Um, Looks like running off the bat, we're going to see a Mauga. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of quick things. It looks like we're going to be seeing that Doomfist play again on a different team this time with Topaz playing Doomfist. Yeah, so also another thing um, we were talking about in the first game, um, Sim. We're going to see a Sim. Sim is going to be a really interesting uh, yeah. game to watch. And oh, wait, they, maybe they just TP. Oh, they, what I said, they, they Sim TP into the Tracer. So... Um, Hey, it works really well. Both teams seem to be copying the same style, and we had a really good pull-up. We're, we're already going to see pick on this Lucio, um, and we're just kind of in a mid-fight right now. I'm interested in why they're running Mogwood, but uh, it really goes back and forth. Uh, it could work really well in the Doomfist. It could not. It's really going to see whether or not he can stop the mobility of the Doomfist. Looks like it's going really well for them, though. We're going to chasing down the Mogwood to finish the Elim. Take on the Mauga. Mauga, sorry. <laughs> Alga, Maga, not to say. <laughs> and they look like a terrible pronunciation right there. It's going to take the cap. Yep, looks like Albany does have the cap, 14%. They're doing really, really well. It looks like we're seeing a couple swaps from Reynoldsburg. We're going now for a... Uh, 
looks like Swap Sojourn, and then we're gonna be running Tracer still with Lucio, Moira, and instead of Mountain, San Ramatra. Yes, San Ramatra. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, but yeah, Ramatra for Maga. Do you? I'm wondering why they aren't trying to run some counter dive. We were talking about this last game too. Uh, a lot of the ability to run mobility and mobility. I'm not really seeing that here. Ooh. And it looks like Sojourn's gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Sojourn goes down. Uh, looks like we're gonna see Reynoldsburg going back off the map again, and it's gonna be another win for New Albany in the fight. New Albany is going to keep the capture point. Mm -hmm. I mean, I again, I'm gonna point it out like they did last time. I mean, we need to see something out of Reynoldsburg to stop Doomfist. We have to go mobility, or we need to go full Doomfist counters. What do you yeah. think, Logan? Uh, I think right now um, it's still the first point. They're only sixty percent in. There's not really enough time to figure out not uh, not as much time there's not as real you don't know the team you're playing enough to get a counter going to where you're gonna you're just kind of figuring it out still yeah i mean it is the first map but you got to give some credit there people are still getting used to things and we we're gonna see bob come out it's definitely interesting looks like we saw bob come out from dark shadow onto point to hold it and they're going to 90 percent at, at least 90% at least, but I believe that New Albany is and the whole. I do not know if they will get a touch here. I do not think Ronald Bird will touch in time. The only way they will be 5 B6. And it does not look like they're going to get a touch here. Sadly and not. New Albany is going to take the first round. Yeah. Now, when we were talking about it, um, we said Doom Counters, right? Mm -hmm. For um, the first match, do you think we're going to see some more Doom Counters, or do you think they're going to end up just sticking with it? Like we so got to see something. There's got to be a Doom Counter. I mean, we've talked about this before. When you run Doom Fist, you cannot let him have free reign in your backline. I mean, we see this. We saw this in the last game. Um, we're going to see this here. Killborn ran the exact same thing. Doom Fist, Doom Fist, Doom Fist, and you just go into that backline, and you start wrecking havoc. And when a team can't stop that, you just can't do anything. If we don't see any form of Doom Counter coming out here, New Albany is going to keep dominating. I just don't see any way to stop that. Yeah, so we're actually going to see a Bastion play um, for uh, Reynoldsburg. And I think Bastion is honestly a good counter if you can get the Doomfist pick. Yeah. If you can't get the Doomfist, there's no reason because you're just, you know, basically a rolling target. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised if Cripple, the Bastion player, is going to be purely trying to counter that Doomfist. Uh, but when he dives, I would not be surprised if Turkform came out, and they're going to probably be relying on Ace, their Tracer player, to be handling most of the kills. Looks like it's a fairly even fight right now. No characters have gone oh, Yep, Doomfist is going down. And they are just going to clean up without that Doomfist. Beautiful play. Nice. And we are going to see Reynoldsburg take the capture point. Yeah. Um, this is what we need to a see. Good, a good turnaround. Yeah, a good Doomfist counter right here. When you finally start playing to stop him and he can't move anymore, the Doomfist falls and the team goes too. This is what we've been needing to see. Yes, and now with this choke, it's going to be very hard for Doomfist to get through. Yeah, now New Albany has to find the counter. We're going to see the pick on the Ash. Good first pick right there. Doomfist running around trying and to we get see the behind, but Bastion's going to go down. Yeah. Now, I know that we've been talking about using Bastion's counter Doom Fist, and we saw that right then and there. The turret came out, he went right for the Doom Fist, and that was exactly what we wanted to see. And it looks like Maga was able to get a first pick. We've lost Kiri. Maga going for the Lucio. Lucio's going to get out. The Doom. And Doom will... Doom will get it. Interesting. Now, uh, we're going to see Doom land on a point. Instead of trying to get out, he's going to cap. Yeah, went for the cap. I mean, Tracer's going to stop. Dark Shadow, an amazing finish. And we are going to see the flip on point. Yeah. Which, uh, for Riddlesburg, 45% is going to be really nice to have that little that little backing. It's uh, critical. In yeah. case, you know, they, they lose a team fight or something. Um, uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Good finish from Dark Shadow. A very excellent Ash play right there. Good hit scan capabilities. This is what we need to see in counters to these characters. It is a completely even fight right now, and we're going to actually see... I would not say that, Logan. Sam Reynoldsburg like is going to... I would argue Reynoldsburg would probably lose this. They don't have the supports here. Unless their Maga can get a really good play. He's probably going to get staggered. Maga's going to go down. Mm -hmm. And I expect to see Lucio coming out. Yep. But, you know, they still have 45%, so it's not completely dead lost yet. Yeah, but I think the big swap here was New Albany started running hit scam. They're able to start picking characters like the Bastion, who has such a large hitbox now. 
It definitely makes it a lot simpler for them, which now forces Renelberg to try and respond to that. I don't know if they will. They seem to keep running Bastion, I'm assuming for alt's sake, but um, they need to figure out something now. If we can't swap to stop that, it's going to be tough to fight the hit scan. Uh, alt coming out from Maga, Tracer as well. Tracer Bomb does not finish anything, although we will see the Lucio going down. Doof is trying to block out of it. He goes down too. I assume they're going to start moving for point. Renelberg, Bastion alt comes out, down to Ash, and then Renelberg will take the point. But they can stop the Moira. If you're Moira here, you're trying to stall as long as exactly. possible. Exactly. And, and that will happen. Right Between two fights. Right point. And look, we see Bastion right out for Genji. They're going to go straight to the counters. I think New Albany, uh, New Albany is going to have the ult um, priority here. They're going to have three ults uh, just compared to Beat. But Beat's going to take out at least two of their ults. Yeah. Um, so... You know, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't I can't predict it. Yeah, ult usage is gonna be critical here. If New Albany pulls out two oh, see, yeah. come out. see Lucio come out to stop the Boira, which is very good for Reynoldsburg. Reynoldsburg needs a pick to win this fight. Get something, and they will not. That's two down for Reynoldsburg. Yep, looks like Reynoldsburg is going to pay. And Reynold Reynoldsburg's gonna get the regroup. Yeah. The difference here though is Reynoldsburg's getting closer to some alts. Looks like New Albany's only gonna have Ash and Doom here. Doom's alt is mainly for getting out of fights or using it aggressively if we see them play okay. like how where they did Killborn did. That really depends. With, yeah, with 80, 83 to eighty one percent, you know, you're we're gonna see it, it's gonna go into OT. 100%. Yeah. I agree. It's got to go into overtime. I definitely think we're going to see that. The real dependent here is if we can actually see Reynolds get on the point. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. It's starting a pick. A very, very good pick on the DPS right there. Good. Kiriko comes out. Doomfist dives back in. Does not get a kill. Oh, finishes two. Wonderful play right there from, that, from their team. Is it, three 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 and it looks like New Albany will take it. Is going to take the game. Well done. That's first round. First first game over goes to New Albany. It's going to be one to three or one to zero. Forgive me. Yeah. Um, but I think Reynoldsburg is still got it. Oh, Reynolds they are in it. Uh, they are in it. Yeah. I would not be surprised. We saw those Doom counters come out. This is what we've been talking about for our last game. I mean, we didn't see those uh, counters come out, but now we're starting to see beautiful counters. Beautiful play for the Doomist, of course. Topaz has definitely mastered his character. But yeah, we see a lot of those counters starting to come out, and that's what's making these fights difficult. I mean, earlier on, didn't really see it as much. A lot of those teams just did not stop the Doomfist. Let them kind of dominate. We're getting into these games now where a team's going to look at your Doomfist, and they're not going to think, how can I just keep playing what I'm playing? They're going to say, how can I stop what they're playing? It's definitely going to be interesting. What you're seeing on the screen, um, I just want to take the time to say, this is insane with how many people we see today and yeah. how many people are here you know showing their support for you know their teams their families yeah um what they're watching right now would actually be i believe the smash semifinals super smash bros it is one of them yes one of them. <laughs> if you do want to tune in to watch those uh look up ohio esports on youtube uh, they are live right now i believe they're still streaming the game and commentating on that as well and along with that in the back on those computers that is reynoldsburg and new albany yep um and uh, while we're sitting here, I want to take the time to uh, thank the sponsors, if you want to go over that, Addison. Yeah, of course. On behalf of Esports Ohio, we'd like to thank the National Guard for their uh, sponsorship. And then on behalf of Ohio University, we'd like to thank PNC, as well as Lenovo, for keeping esports possible here. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I was saying it yesterday, or I don't know why I said yesterday. Uh, I was saying it uh, last uh, game, you know. It's esports is growing, and it's, it's awesome to see sponsors that, you know, support us and... Uh, really you know try their best to keep this program and you know these games going so yeah, thank it's you good to those. see a lot of effort coming um, from our sponsors uh, it's good to see the support we always appreciate that yeah and very course, much so i mean we're, we're showing it here esports is an active thing it's growing schools love to come here this is just a regional by the way this is not the finals this, this is going on huge. <laughs> everywhere yes uh very happy earlier on we had of course the fortnite uh, statewide, I believe that was the finals for Fortnite. I do not know for certain. I am not sure, I will be honest. Uh, but that was a massive event. We saw people from all over the state, schools from all over the state participating. I believe there was 32 teams, 90s, about 90, 91-ish players. Uh, arena was, of course, completely packed as always. Uh, it's amazing to see so many people coming out for esports. And Overwatch, of course, has kept that consistency. We've got, I believe, around 100 people watching, uh, both in the arena, online, and through our different platforms. So it's great to see. Uh, speaking of Overwatch, we are getting into the next map. Logan, you want to go over it? 
Yeah, um, so looks like uh, we are on Eichenwald? Yes. Eichenwald. Um, and we are going to see basically the same team comps, which I'm nervous about um, since New Albany. Um, if we, if you were watching the last game, um, the, the failure to swap kind of turned into a downfall, and I'm curious if that's going to happen again to Reynoldsburg. Yeah. I mean, New Albany, of course, running the same comp. I wouldn't be surprised. They did win with it last round. Reynoldsburg seems to be holding something that's going to be a little bit more solitary, I would say. Like, they're not going to move as much, especially with Ramatra as their tank. I mean, we're going to have to see what happens, though. Doomfist moving right out for that, not even slowing down. We see Ashblade come out, but they are holding them at the corner. Pressing Doomfist now. right up top. Ooh, and the Doomfist will He will go down. Play from Cripple. This is a beautiful May play. Is it Cripple? Trifle, maybe? Like, tri tri like Trifle? Maybe? Uh, I <laughs> I've stopped guessing names a long time ago. Yeah. We'll go for the high ground pushing Reynoldsburg behind the corner. Looks like they're going to fall back to point despite having handled the Doomfist originally. The, the problem with that is um, the attackers get the advantage. Um, and we're going to see Doom fall again. Um, the attackers will get the advantage for um, respawns because they're closer to the point. Beautiful hold by Reynoldsburg. A complete Reynolds change of mentality. Handling the Doomfist. Pushing them... Um, that is, this, these May walls have been on point. Yeah, I got to give credit to a May player. May walls are a tough one to get on a character as mobile. We're going to see Tracer go down. Yeah. Uh, unintentionally staggered. Yeah, uh, unintentionally, of course. But it, you got to give credit to May players. I mean, a wall on a character as mobile as Doofus is near impossible to do, especially with their abilities. To call it at the right moment to stop them, and then not only stop them, but finish the AUM is incredible. Now, now, one of the things I've been noticing in this game compared to the last game as well is charging the Doom. We, you know, with Doom Block, um, if you charge him, he is incredibly more powerful, yeah. incredibly powerful, um, and without that charge, he, he is a lot worse of a character. And we saw him in the last game where he gets charged a lot more. Uh, yeah, like we saw now. We see him get charged right there, but yeah, um, I haven't seen it as much. I believe Reynoldsburg is going for a full throttle right here. When they see Doomfist, they're trying to full counter him, and I believe Topaz has been having difficulty getting charged. Don't know for certain, though. Uh, we see Tracer ulti OGs, Dark Shadow takes care of Prey, and it looks like Ramatra is coming out to try and start a counter. We're going to see two, three alts coming out, I believe, from Reynoldsburg. But is it going to be enough to hold? I do not believe so. It's going to go down. Well done, being able to handle a couple of them, but it will not be enough. New Albany will get the point. New Albany, and we will continue. I, I, Reynoldsburg is holding well. We're seeing a lot coming from them. I think that they're going to be able to hold these points. We just got to start handling the Doomfist again, and he's going to keep getting mobile until second point, where they finally get back into close quarters. So it's going to be interesting to see. I believe the Genji is new, um, but I haven't seen any other swaps. Have you seen any, Logan? Not that I know of. Okay. Uh -huh. I haven't seen any either. I believe just the Genji. What do you think Genji's going to play into here? I don't exactly know. I am waiting to see. Um, okay. right. With the dive, you want to pick a player, you know, obviously target them as much as possible. But I will continue my I will continue my statement in a second. Yeah, exactly. I would like to watch this team fight. I, I'm I'm happy to watch this play out. Looks like Ramash will be dropping down on the point handling Dark Shadow. Ash go down. Uh, we're gonna see Moira. Tracer goes down and they're probably gonna get the Moira as well. Uh, uh, Lucio and um, Doomfist are gonna be back. Probably wait for the team. As I was saying, um, with dive you usually want to pick a character and target them. Yeah. Um but it's weird to have a, it's not weird, I probably would run this, but it, it's interesting to see the Gendry uh, with not a dive comp. I understand what you're saying. I feel like their Genji po choice might be more of a, that kind of 1v1 scenario where Genji goes off and tries to handle a kill. I would argue that Tracer might be better for that specifically, but of course it's not necessarily failing Reynoldsburg as they have handled the Doomfist Wow. And, oh. Perhaps not. Uh, Ace and Prey have gone down again first, like last time. We're seeing Moira ult come out on the Doomfist to heal him, and they are pushing Reynoldsburg hard. Uh, Dark Shadow has been handled, but I believe the rest of the team shall be killed. Ramacho trying to escape. Will he get out? The answer is yes. Ramacho yeah, will get out. That um, has to do with that. That, that immortality field just saved him. You can hear them behind uh, us. They're trying to handle the Doomfist. Thankfully, Topaz did go down for Reynoldsburg. 
one of the things I want to say is communication is such a big thing in this game mm -hmm. to where you, we they are sitting next to each other and you can hear them screaming, giving comms, trying to talk to each other, um, calling out opponents, targets, and um, that's one of the big things you want to see in this game is yep. you know calling players out. Yeah. One key thing you can tell by a team's coordination is how loud they are on comms. I've seen that in every time. <laughs> when our, we watch our varsity players play, as well as when you watch these teams, it's not to say the louder the team, the more likely they're going to win. When you see we see B comms, you can tell they've been talking to each other a lot and they want to make sure that they're talking. Doomfist all comes out. It looks like we saw Lucio, Doom, Genji, a couple of coming out. Ramatra again. This is crazy. I'm wondering why is Sandra Alted there? Um, he might be swapping. He might be. Uh, it might have just been panic. Um, you never really. You uh, obviously we can't look into the minds of these people and figure out what they want. So looks like they beat into the fight. Reynoldsburg will be going right onto point and pushing to Albany. We're going to see two picks. That is going to be crucial to for sustainability and time. Yeah, um, a beautiful hole by Reynoldsburg. By the way. Is, with three meters, that is that was great. That was Razor, uh, Ace uh, is a good way to use the gamer tag here. But Ace with an amazing play, being able to stall the point just in time before they lost it. Um, Looks like we're running Symmetra now. Interesting against the Doom Fist. Does slow him down, and, and it will fade. pick him. Yeah. Now. Well, I was saying earlier, Sim. Sim is insane. Mm -hmm. Sim is going to be... I I reckon Sim will be meta, um, especially in like OWCS and um, the Tier 1 games um, because of her damage. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Looks like Sim is a powerful hold character. Ooh, but you can see Chicks will be able to scroll under his hold it. That will be a no. Looks like New Albany will be getting their point after all. Unless Tracer gets back up again. Ace trying to pull off what they did last time, but sadly it will prove ineffective as New Albany gets the next point. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, right now we're in the middle. They're probably just going to end up um, poking. Just trying to play as you know passively as possible. Um, waiting for the side chip. I completely agree with you there, Logan. It looks like Reynoldsburg is trying to stop this, but New Albany is keeping the pressure on. Ramatra going down, Moira all coming out, and it looks like Doomfist will handle the cleanup right there. And it's going to be a tough one for Reynoldsburg. they got to stop this, otherwise they're going to be having New Albany with time on their hands, and that is not something you want when you're defending this point, having to go on attack. Looks like Symmetra trying to get a point. Oh, Symmetra will get a touch, and we're going to see one, two, two kills for... Um, mm -hmm. and they're probably going to end up getting this Doomfist. Looks like Doomfist could not get up the bar. Uh, looks like he was struggling to jump up there. Uh, with Topaz down, it is going to be a last-minute push. Beautiful holds for him. Yes, again, Reynoldsburg. That's the second time we've seen an amazing hold by last-minute pressure. Uh, looks like we will see Symmetra coming out, probably Ramantra as well. New Albany will have maybe Lucio and Tracer. Lucky, it may be Ash as well. That's going to be a tough call. They've got a touch now. They've got 10 seconds left. Will it happen? The stress is on. Doofus is on the high ground. And alts are coming out. One down. For two all two down. Two. Three down. Can they get the last two? Can Reynoldsburg hold on to the point? The answer, maybe? Looks like Tracer is holding out. Oh, down to just Topaz. Can Topaz just hold on this? And that is going to be a no. Reynoldsburg stopping that before they could get three. Now, the... The, the best thing about this game is now New Albany will get their turn to defend and Reynoldsburg will um, be attacking. Yep. And um, it's it's winnable here. Yeah. It but really it's is. also it, both teams can win. Yeah. Right? Just because they didn't get the first, the, the, get it all the way on the first one, they still have the chance to defend. Exactly. I mean, it is incredible to see what Ronald Burke has been able to do. A complete 180 from what we saw earlier. I mean, earlier New Albany was really dominating with Doomfist, and it did not happen. They were running into roadblocks now. Ronald Burke is setting up a great defense. The problem here is now they have to attack. New Albany might not have those three points, which means Reynoldsburg can completely win here, but they've got to try something new. They've got to start countering this Doomfist and holding on to that point. Doomfist coming to them is good, 
but they first they got to go to him. So we'll see how it, we'll see what happens. Well, man, waking up at six in the morning was not good for my. Uh, I had a full mocha loco. Staying awake. <laughs> uh, while we are in the, the pregame, um, tell me what you saw in that last round. Doomfist always. I mean, it's same with Worthington Kilborn. We see Doomfist coming out strong, especially with New Albany, and we're not seeing any swaps. I think this is the exact same comp they ran on attack. Interesting to see how they're going to do it on defense. Most teams switch it up, like we're seeing Reynoldsburg do. But they know they got to aggro a Doomfist, so they know they got to. And we see the Rhine swap. Rhine is a very interesting character to play here, especially in this new patch. Yeah, he was buffed a little bit, but I think it was just a shield, so I don't know. Oh, 70, 70 point. Interesting. That's what right they're playing, Rhine. Ryan. The reason they played Rhine was for the Rhine shield for this MTP. They got the whole team. And we see the pick on Moon. One healer down is not going to be enough to Albany. Two. Oh my god, lose two. Rattlesburg pushing oh. hard. Ryan into Doofus. Let's see. Like if the last steps go down here, that is going to be a early cap for it. That is impressive. That's just mind blown. And right into spawn to switch off. So if you're New Albany here, you are upset. You are... This is a full, almost six minute hold. Yeah. I mean, that's just insane. And they will get time plus, the, the, the they'll get another 2 minutes and 30 seconds, I believe. Yeah, I mean, it is an unexpected play. Sim was done so well right there. I mean, Reynoldsburg, you've got to give great credit to that coordination. To not only get behind the team on a Doomfist, who has the mobility advantage, to then do that on Ryan to handle a Moira right off the bat, and then to go straight on the capture point is incredible. New Albany putting up a good defense now that they're under the push. Ash jumping down onto the Lucio, finishing the kill. I don't know if they'll be able to hold it though. Yep, Reynoldsburg wow. got back strong. Reynoldsburg may win this. Looks like Doomfist is pulling out as well as his team. They're losing. Is he Tracer go down? And Moira's gonna go down. It's just Doomfist. Oh, that is that's a some stressful stuff. Beautiful play from Reynoldsburg. I mean, if I was New Albany right now, I've got to start thinking about swapping. Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate the Doomfist play, but it can only get you so far. Reynoldsburg knows what they need to do to stop him. They know what they need to do to push this point. They are in complete control from what I'm saying. Oh. No, it's okay. I, I apologize for uh, being tired. I, have, I I drove three hours, or two and a half hours to get here. Hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. We're here for the commentating. <laughs> uh, we, we, we make our effort. <laughs> But it is incredible to see Reynoldsburg's complete 180. I mean, I I know that I was rooting for them. They were kind of the underdog first map. But to see this complete 180, I mean, we saw New Albany going over there with almost zero on the clock to this point. Reynoldsburg now has four minutes. We're going on five or six for that matter. Doomfist is dying right out the gate. Five? And they got the point two. They will have a five minute and 30 second hold. New Albany? If you're New Albany, yeah. That's, you, you, you're going to try and... Ball. You're gonna just try and uh, with the new patch, you will have you can either have 30 second you know fights or you can have five minute fights. Yeah. And if you're normal in here, you're hoping for a five minute fight. Doomfist players, beware! Reynoldsburg is coming for you. It is going to be stressful to watch this. We have four versus four alt usage right here. We are seeing Moira come out. We are seeing no other alts from Reynoldsburg. They are letting it happen, leaving the fight while they can. Diva is going to try to escape. Is punched back. And Diva will be demacked. Demacked? No, she, oh, she will not escape. And the New Albany falls back. This is a five-minute hold, Logan. As, What's your bet? As Reynoldsburg, I've had my fair share of five-minute holds. Yeah. And I've also had my fair share of getting immediately, uh, you know, destroyed in, in, uh, with five minutes left. Yeah. So it is very 50-50. I, I do not know. I mean, we've I been seeing yeah, Reynoldsburg is having some crazy skill right here to see this. We are seeing counter Doomfist. Interesting, beautiful rollout first step, going for the support line, pushing them down. Topaz takes out Ace, but their tank takes out Candace. No more Moira, no more Ash. Doomfist all pushing the Lucio, and he is gone. Reynoldsburg is pushing fast, and now it is a 1v3. Four yeah, three. They are okay. Just started pushing, and they are going now. to regroup. Looks like Reynolds is trying to hold the door, getting payload as fast as they can. Topaz onto the payload. Will it be enough? New Albany pulled out all of its alts, but Reynoldsburg still has some. Will we see D.Va? We will! D.Va alt coming out. Not remaked. Doomfist running away. Ooh, D.Va down. Looking for Doomfist kill, but will Reynoldsburg get it? I do not believe so. Oh, Doomfist. 
Oh, it looks like I'm... And now it looks like Lucio is about to go down, and then we're going to see... Incredible play. Dark Shadow trying to hold on while they can, taking down two, able to hold it. New Albany holds it. Yeah. That is beautiful hold by New Albany. I really thought the Reynolds Bird would have won that. I, I agree with you. I it thought is, Reynolds Bird was winning. This is extremely back and forth. Yeah. I mean, it is. it could be anyone's game. They have less than 10 meters to go to win this game, and they have three full minutes. They could very well save up five alts and dominate New Albany in two of them. I mean, it's been so back and forth. We're seeing Cassidy come out to counter Doomfist. Uh, looks like we're keeping it on most of our characters for Reynolds Bird, and New Albany has stayed the same. Interesting picks here. Lucio escapes. Candace alts. Doomfist does as well. We are not seeing any from, Ran from Reynolds Bird here. They are Doomfist hindered. Going in for the kill. She finishes two. Looks like Reynolds Bird might... Oh, pulls out Moira ult. Interesting pick right there. That's crazy. I'm, I'm starting to get the stretch. You can feel the heat of it, right, Logan? I am speechless. <laughs> I, am, I'm, I am just as excited as these players probably are right now. I mean, if this doesn't make you want to play Overwatch, I don't know what does. <laughs> I want to go play some competitive. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't play comp, sadly, but... What? I'm, <laughs> I'm in my quick play grinding era, sadly. Oh my gosh, we're seeing uh, Ramatrum aggroing in. Oh my gosh, three down. Reynoldsburg pushing the cart, going fast. Have them at in this their point. Spot. You would like three on. You're gonna switch to dive, and you are going to hope that something happens. Bob runs out. Doomfist on the point. Will Topaz go down? He will. That's a bad loss. Oh my gosh, Moira down, three meters away. Will Albany hold? One left. Tracer. It's all this left. And Reynoldsburg is going. going. He will not. Reynoldsburg is going to take it. Yeah. What a game. What a game. It's incredible. One to one, Reynoldsburg and New Albany. I mean, it's been so stressful, but that's the that worst Doomfist players. <laughs> and I am. I'm really excited to see how this next goes. Right, right, that means we will see a push map. We will. There we go. We have Let's only go. seen up to three games right now. We are going for four. Can we get to five? This game has I, been close. I'm going to guess we're going to get to we get to five. We're going to see an escort. We're so close. I mean, you you don't often see a very even competitive matchup like you do with Reynoldsburg and New Albany. Two very solid teams playing into each other. The stress is on. Reynoldsburg pulling out counters to Doomfist. New Albany running their consistent comp, but it plays well. It's going to be interesting to see if they budge or if they stick it out. Now, while we're sitting here, I'm curious to see how the other game is going yeah um if uh we could uh get that oh here we go okay so yeah worthington kilborn is um two and oh right now or uh, not they're they're winning by two yes um and it looks to me like they are in their last match so yeah that's interesting so, i mean uh, we saw Kilborn play earlier on their doom fist is very good with check However, if we see New Albany come out here, counter Doomfist will be rough. It's going to be hard to handle, but it looks like, not to say anything early on, Worthington Kilborn will most likely be moving on to the fi or semifinals. Or finals? For regional, at least. <laughs> uh, here, somewhere. Yeah. But they'll be I'm moving on. Just in the loop, uh, many people are. Fair uh, enough. I'm interested, though. I mean, with if we see Reynoldsburg move on, keeping this Doomfist play so competitive right now, you got to wonder what they're running back there. I mean, are I'm they going to keep Chase? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. If um, I would love to see um, a Doomfist versus Doomfist. Yeah, I would. I mean, it's really going to go down to the better Doomfist. At the same point, honestly, I would love to see counter Doomfist. We saw how... I hate to say more than Kilborn pretty much dominated that game. I'm really going out there. I would love to see how they play into a team like Reynoldsburg, which is going to play counters to Doomfist. I mean, will they swap? Will they stick it out? Who knows? Well, that is if Reynoldsburg. If Reynoldsburg wins it out, we that's will, true. We still have quite a few games left to see. That's true. And this tie is keeping it competitive. I mean, we could very well see either team come out. I mean, it's it's any man's game. There's there's no way. Anyone's game. Sorry. Uh, yeah. There's no way to see for sure. I mean, I would usually, you can kind of tell after that first or second game, like, oh, this team's probably going to nope. win. They're 2-0. Oh. Never. Not even here. <laughs> it is very back and forth. It really is. Do you know what our next uh, map is? Is it 
On to it's our third one. We should be on. Is it, is this the third map? Flashpoint, right? Yes, it will be Flashpoint. Um, and then we will play a push map after that. Yeah. Um, the map is decided by the team. Um, I believe. Loser decides. I believe New Albany will pick. Yes, that's uh, interesting. What do do you think? It is very interesting, and you can actually see uh, behind me is. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name. PNC logo. Is that what you're talking about? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, forgive me. Um, in other news. Oh, okay. In other news. <laughs> I believe I picked up on what uh, Logan was putting down. That, uh, that uh, sleep is uh, killing me. It's okay. It's okay. You should have had a full mocha like I did with caramel. I'm a sugar addict. But, uh, while we have the time, before we get into our next game, we will rehash a little bit of our thank yous. On behalf of Esports Ohio, we would like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And of course, on behalf of Ohio University, we would love to thank PNC. We have the little logo back there. I use oh, PNC. Right there. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and then we would also like to thank Lenovo uh, for your continued support of our eSports program. I mean, we, we can't do it without having sponsors. It's awesome, and we appreciate you so much for that. Of course, appreciation for the National Guard as well for sponsoring eSports Ohio. I mean, we cannot have these massive events without sponsors willing to help it happen. Man, we can't have these, these massive events without the people. It's, if, you, if you look, it looks like almost, I guess, it's massive. It looks like a war zone in here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's, I would argue... Maybe not war zone, but it's definitely bustling. There's a lot of people here. Yes, and, um, it's awesome to see all of these schools come out and you know take the time to play, mm -hmm. um, and you know the, all these people. It's it's insane. You know, people are talking to me. You know, in just random like situations, just about fun things. It's, yeah, it's I guess awesome. One other thing we should probably thank. Thank you to the parents for. You know, putting up with the esports. <laughs> uh, yes, that's true. I, I love video games. I know my parents probably don't love it as much as I do. But uh, no, I thank you to all the parents who have come out here. I, we, I know we have a lot of spectators watching uh, from both in the arena as well as outside of it. Uh, so it's awesome. Thank you for your appreciation. Looks like Worthington Kilborn has won its third game and will be moving on. Uh, so that means it's just down to New Albany and Rummelsburg. So we're watching the competitive match. Yeah, no, I. Uh back and forth that's that's like the way i would describe this game yeah it's 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 i'm like on the edge of my seat every yep. time i'm watching and thinking like, oh somebody's gonna win wait what mm -hmm. i mean it's incredible to watch and i i hate to say it but i'm kind of rooting for reynolds bird because i kind of want them to win so we can see the to killborn <laughs> but we are moving back on to the next point point. and it looks like we are going to see reynolds bird using Junker Queen. Now, if you look at the um, the top players, if you look at the leaderboards, the number one character played for every single one is Junker Queen. Yeah. So, if that doesn't tell you anything, it should. I mean, <laughs> I guess. she's the queen. She yeah. is the queen. She dominates, but we will see. Uh, looks like New Albany will be running the same comp as they have always been running. Reynoldsburg is switching it up. Like to see it. Love to see it. Will it stop Doomfist, though? That's what we want to see. Ash takes the high ground. Very well done for New Albany. Now, but Tracer falls. Tracer was going to fall. And we're going to see Moira probably go down. Beautiful focusing. Ash is going to go to work. And Lucio. Wow. Well, early capture for Reynoldsburg. Yeah. And now this is what we need to see. We've seen the Doomfist countered. Now it goes down to New Albany. Can they swap to stop Reynoldsburg? If they can't. This Doomfist is just not going to work anymore. Uh, it's, I mean, we saw it right off the bat. Junker Queen's a good counter. I wouldn't say necessarily direct counter to Doomfist, but the ability to play... Oh, here we go. We're already switching it up. Now, so this is what we, we see. see. Mauga. Well, yeah. yeah. That, um... Is, is that a Jade Wings? It's a very different playstyle. <laughs> yeah. For playing, you know, Doomfist with two games, you're going to see, you know... You're going to see Sombra already go down. And it is very back and forth. Both Lucios go down. McCree Cassidy is going to go down. New Albany is losing players. It looks like Reynoldsburg will hold on. And it looks like it's just Malga. And Malga Able takes down JQ. But he has run off a of point. An interesting play. Sombra. It's going to come down to can the support keep up the DPS. And Malga is going to go down. Echo will also go down. And That's, the yes, point might go to New Albany. Yeah, Reynoldsburg with 95. It will be a tough hold for New Albany, especially playing into this Junker Queen. Will we see Reynoldsburg counter the Maga? I do not know. What do you think? I 
think that right now New Albany, um, not New Albany, forgive me, uh, Rhythm Pro is playing just the right time. Yeah. I don't think they need any swaps. I think they're doing just as well um, as they should be. And uh, we'll see how the rest of the game goes. Beautiful pick from Ace right there, getting the, uh, the Reaper. Mortimer all taking down more of New Albany, falling down. And now as long as the only just one left, can he hold on for the point? Heck, could be anyone's game. He's sprinting back on, hoping to hold for the last possible second. He will go down, and Reynoldsburg has the point again. And it looks like Reynoldsburg is going to take this first point. That's a rough one for New Albany. Uh, we've seen Doomfist go away, and that seems to not get the punch. Somber oh, nope, she didn't. No, ran away. Reaper did, though. That is something you don't want to happen. I think the big difference here is we're seeing New Albany with four alts. We gotta know they're gonna want to use it for the next point, right? Reynoldsburg is gonna have one. The difference here is if Reynoldsburg can stop New Albany from using those alts that they want. If they can, great. If they can't, they're gonna lose the second point, but it's a willing to throw away for them losing all of their alts. We see Reynoldsburg come out on top, one down. Two down. Reaper goes on to point, does nothing. Booped away. Wonderful play from Delucio. I'm, I'm bears. Bears. I'm gonna call. And bears. we're gonna see if Mo Moira can will run away. Wow. That. Wonderful. That's a knife you don't want to miss right there. Yeah. I mean, but the great thing, Reynoldsburg held against not only Maga ult but Reaper too. They tried to combine. We saw New Albany play Maga down. He got two or three. And Reaper came in there. It was critical. Lucio decided to almost sacrifice himself to boop the Reaper away and save his team. An amazing play on their aspect there. I mean, I'm worried about New Albany now. That was their big combo right there. We'll see more with other seats. as well. Maybe I shouldn't have been as worried. Three go down for Reynoldsburg. Four. And it looks like Moira is just going to go down. Moira is trying to hold as long as possible. Moira, they're going to get 50%. Yeah. That is that is a great hold right there. And New Albany is going to take it. But we're going to we're going to see what happens cuz uh, Reynoldsburg's good. Uh, Reynoldsburg is going to regroup with alts. They have one more alt up, two, three alts here. Yeah. The big flip here is now we've seen a reverse. Reynoldsburg was able to hold off against New Albany's alt. Will New Albany hold off when they do not have alt advantage anymore? And I do not know if that will work. We see a swap to Reaper. Lucio alt come out. That is two down. A beautiful alt from the Cassidy. Three down. Four. Can they get five and finish the point? They will. And if you can hear in the background, you can hear screaming. Yeah. That is both Reynoldsburg and New Albany screaming at each other telling each other what to do yeah you know not not as much what to do who to shoot yeah you're seeing you're, you're hearing moira moira you know and you're it's just trying to get those picks that are critical especially on the sports that you need you know to kill yeah if i'm new albany in this scenario you got to figure out something different I, maga is not working for some i don't know how they're doing it the reynoldsburg is outputting so much damage that they're able to stop the manga, but not even stop them. They're pressuring others. A beautiful Reaper format. That's incredible. Uh, sorry, I know we've seen a lot of great Reaper alts out. That is awesome. That I think that four, takes the cake. A 4K is hard to get. Yeah, it and, definitely and is. A lot of people say you just press Q. Yeah. You know, you just ult as Reaper and you'll get kills. But 4Ks are incredibly positional. And yeah. it, is, it, is, it is a beautiful alt. Yeah. You love to see it. I mean, the same goes with Cassidy. They always say even landing one kill or one elim on Cassidy is incredibly difficult as is because you have so much movement for the other team. And we see the Malga ult to prevent them from getting the point, but they're still going to get it. Walk around. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Nicky was going to go down. Oh, it might be New Albany's point here. Rumbleberg is falling. I don't think they're going to see any alts come out as the rest of the Rumbleberg are both. And Lucio, and that is a team kill. Mm -hmm. We... Our 1-1, one, one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's incredible. I mean, which just like we were talking about, this is such an even team right here, an even game. Well, I mean, I thought Reynoldsburg was going to pull out on top. We had 99% to zero, and New Albany completely 180'd them. And look at that. They're already switching it up, keeping it going, keeping that momentum. This game is going to be... Close. Just close. I wouldn't be surprised if the last game was over. Yeah. I would not be surprised. I would be surprised if everything's over time on each of these points. Ooh, beautiful play right there from Reynoldsburg, taking out the 
Sombra next goes... Keeping the pressure on, Lucio goes down next. It's a 3v5. Mog is pulling out, and so is the Moira. Moira will not make it out, neither will Lucio. I think I called that already. So we will see Reynoldsburg take the point and start um, getting percentage. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. It's not even... I don't need to think on the tanks anymore to see if one wins the other. It's not even... The tanks are so even. The DPS are so even. And the support gameplay, too. It's really anyone's game. I at, think it's alt usage here. At this level of play, it, it the players individually are all really good. Yeah. The players are fantastic. It takes team to win. Exactly. There's no I in team. Uh, it, the, the players individually are all so good that you cannot just put it on one person. Exactly. Right? You need need everyone to play at their their height. Yeah, it looks like Reynoldsburg is trying to hold on to the point and will not be able to. Albany has taken them all out. Seven spray there. Yeah, it's good. I mean, we saw this last time. Reynoldsburg gets to 99, but can they take it back from New Albany? Uh, we see that they have their Sojourn alt. New Albany will have Reaper, Maga, and Moira. We saw the Maga Reaper alt combination. I would not be surprised if we see it again. Reynoldsburg has pulled out Ramatra, an interesting choice right here. Is this the first time they've played Ramatra? I do not believe so. I believe they played Ramatra in the first capture point and the second. Okay. So we'll point them out again. Oh, can hear the boots here. In the background. Nice Elim right there. Looks, looks like you oh, yeah, died. Yep. As I was saying, die or get out is a call out that we tend to use a lot. And that's exactly what they did. They yep. realized that they needed to regroup. It's easier to, to die, regroup, and spawn than get staggered and have the um you know the eight second cooldown before you respawn yeah if i am their tank right now i think sun tzu perhaps uh, art of war reference right there but if i am in their tank yeah i mean you, you, gotta, you gotta figure out something soldier coming out will she be able soldier to gonna get one that was amazing right there three from the sojourn ace done it's going for an ace <laughs> we're gonna see Riddlesburg take the point back but i bet you new albany is going to get a touch i don't know i mean the respawn time and manga's movement will be rough at best it looks like moira is going to try to go for the touch but that might be a loss of a life right there i don't know if it's worth it will she go for it she will not Malga will get oh, a touch so it is going to be an overtime and you're going to see beat 99 v 99 you got to get some hacks in here you got to see something and we'll see the lucio go down and loot reynoldsburg is going to use wow ace is doing beautifully right now great play off of sojourn the maga stays in it will he stay in it for long going for the Romantra. and they're going to reynoldsburg is going to oh take my the gosh they i don't even know what happened i think topaz went off because he was trying to finish the kill on the ramatra but it was a bait from reynoldsburg and they lost the point because of that wonderful gameplay right there that is Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if New Albany gets this point because of just how close it has been back and forth. Yeah. I mean, they, we go back now to who has alt advantage. I would argue Reynoldsburg does. They've been using the spell. Has been using very sparingly. Yeah. And Sojourn will get ult. They will have four ults before this. Yeah. Looks like they are running in there. Lots of low. Marwick will go down. Will Lucio be able to protect his team? Ramatra is going for it. Seek to see Gage fight. It's just two for New Albany, but will they be able to hold? The answer is... And they do yes. not. Oh, wait. Wrong one. <laughs> it's okay. New Albany holds the point. That is an incredible use of alt right there. I believe we only saw MAGA come out, though. And from Reynoldsburg, we saw two with Ramatra and Moira. Yes, agreed. Um, I think that with the regroup, Reynoldsburg is could take it, and we're going to see the Sojourn ult, and the Sojourn, and we're going to see Lucio go down, and Moira, that's no support, so then Reaper, and that will be, that will be all five, yep. as we see Malga jump off the map to avoid um, being staggered, well, and avoid staggering. Reynoldsburg is going to take it back. Wow, that's a crazy. I mean, I have to give Ace a lot of credit on the Sojourn play. Sojourn as a character has been debuffed and is not as strong as she used to be. But the plays from Ace, I mean, the alt usage, the ability to hit that beam is incredible. I'd be incredibly proud of that gameplay. And I mean, it's incredible to watch. We see one Elim go down in Reynoldsburg's favor. 
Uh, new Albany playing out with Moira Alt to keep Maga up. Ace goes down. We see Coffee go down. Can they keep Ramatra up? The answer is no. But will we be able to fight the rest of the point? The answer is yes. Down to Maga and Moira. Moira goes down. Can Reynoldsburg hold? Looks like we have Somber coming onto point. Both are incredibly low. Coffee goes down to save his dying Maga. And he will live. Uh, it's a tough one. Reynoldsburg now has to fight a almost full health tank. Unless that tank is stuck booped off the mound by Ace running all the way back to finally get the Elam. And Normandy is going to be down two for this last fight, which is incredibly devastating. And they might not even Oh my gosh, you get the resist is the last one. Reynolds is going to win the game. That is well a done. beautiful game for them. Yeah. And now it's going to be 2-1, Reynoldsburg to New Albany. Mm -hmm. um, and we are going to see a new uh, a new game mode, I guess. We're going to see push. Yeah. I mean, what a reverse right here. Topaz gameplay. I mean, the MAGA is good, but he's taking too much damage. As you can see here, I mean, that was a beautiful play as it is. Get his team in there. Get three. All the well, squishies. Uh, the ones with under tank health. Finishing four. Going for Tracer 2. Well done. Well done. Beautiful game for both teams. Yeah. I mean, competitive. You... Back and forth, it is extremely back and forth. Yeah. I mean, there is there is no guaranteed win. I mean, even on Flashpoint, which was rough for New Albany, I'll give them that. Reynoldsburg pulled through, and I mean, even then, it was only a 3-1. to one. New Albany had every chance to get it. They just couldn't keep it. Uh, it sucks, uh, but we'll see them come back. I mean, I would yeah. not be surprised if we see the Doomfist rolling out again. Especially on... Is it push? Push, push. I believe it's next. Especially on push. I think we will see a lot. Yeah. Uh, pulling up our little chart again. Uh, as, of course, as you've watched, New Albany is uh, one, two, Reynoldsburg's two. More than Kilborn has three and has moved on. Right now, we are figuring out who is going to challenge them for the title. Uh, for the regional, I believe, regional champion? Regional victor? I don't know how to call that exactly. Regional winner. <laughs> I would not speak to that. Eh, fair enough. But uh, we are going to see who challenges Worthington Kilborn. Uh, this next game could decide it. Reynoldsburg could go through and come out on top, or we could see New Albany yeah. come back. No. I'm uh, I'm curious on what we're going to see. Yeah. What were you thinking of uh, seeing? What, what do you want to see come out? I would love to see Doomfist again. Yeah. Um, I think Doomfist is incredibly powerful if you play him right, but I also think he is incredibly weak if you don't play him right. He yeah. has a very, um, as they like to say, he has a very high skill floor. Yeah. Um, but his his ceiling, the highest level you can play him at, is in, like very large. Mm -hmm. So, Doomfist would be really interesting to see. Um, I like the Mauga. I like playing Mauga. Mauga's yeah. one of my favorite characters. Um, but it's, it really depends on you know what your team wants to play, what you know your coach wants you to play, and just everything like that. I completely understand. I mean, I would love to see New Albany pull out the Doomfist again. Maybe give him a second shot. It worked the first time. They're the first map. Reynoldsburg, however, is pulling out the counters. I mean, that's what we wanted to see. And when finally a team is doing that, stopping the Doomfist from pushing and forcing into that counter swap game, which is where Reynoldsburg starts to win. Uh, New Albany, I feel like it's just going to have to figure out some counters. Reynoldsburg's versatile. Their tank, we've seen it. We've seen Junker Queen. We've seen, I think, Reinhardt. We've seen, I think they might have doing for this? Probably not. Oh, Orissa. We did not see Orissa. We did not see Orissa? I'm confusing it then. That's on me. But uh, it's, we've seen a lot coming out. Uh, New Albany needs to now do the same thing. We've only seen Doomfist and Malga, right? We've seen Doomfist and Malga. Yeah. I mean, um, that's two tanks for New Albany. And uh, yeah. for Reynoldsburg, we have seen Junker Queen. We have seen Ramatra. We've seen Malga. I believe. Yeah. And Ryan. And Ryan. And Reinhardt. Well, that was on that rush point. I mean, yeah, that's just difference. Point. Yeah. Difference here is we are seeing Reynoldsburg with a lot more. I mean, they have versatility. They're playing these tanks well. New Albany has less tanks. Now, they might be able to play more. Maybe they're just not pulling them out right now. But we're going to have to see some type of versatility. You got to stop the Junker Queen. You got to stop the Reinhardt. You got to stop uh, the Ramatra. We're not seeing that really happen. They're kind of just sticking with one tank and not swapping off. Now, it's worked. We've seen New Albany get some good alts off. But getting play of the game is not the same as winning the game. Uh, and we definitely need to see something else happen here in order for New Albany to come back out on top. Yeah, 100%. Um, while we are waiting for this uh, next game to start, mm -hmm. can I thank the sponsors again? I think we should. 
So it's only right. It's only right. Um, of course, on behalf of Esports Ohio, we would like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And then on behalf of Ohio University, we would like to thank PNC. As you can see, we got their logo back there. Uh, the C is covered, but it is there. <laughs> um, I point to it. And we also, you know what I'm talking uh, about. We also like to thank Lenovo. Uh, thank you both because you keep esports possible here. So, I I would love to go through and talk about that. Um, you know, esports alive, but I'm sure you've heard enough of it. But mm -hmm. thank you to the spot. I think we're just waiting for. Uh, they're doing some subs, talking to their coaches guess, right now. Uh, coaches talking subs, um, and, and, and oh, Esperanza, we forgot about what I guess that we Esperanza. forgot about for fun. <laughs> um, and uh, looks like we're going to be getting a match real quick. Yep. It most likely will be Esperanza. Oh, and here we are, loaded in. Uh, we have not seen the characters come out yet. Uh, my prediction, we're going to see Doomfist. I mean, the yep. mobility is good here, and I think that will... We'll probably, see, we'll probably end up seeing Tracer. We might see a Winston, I think. Can we see we Ash again? Ash is really good on this map. Mm -hmm. um, her her high ground potential Angel, is very good for this map, um, especially with all the peaks and the, the pokes and high ground spots. Yep, we are taking you on a quick tour of the map right now. A nice little road to the spawn of Reynoldsburg. We see Winston and as I see Winston. predicted. And oh look, New Albany with Doomfist. I don't want to take credit, but I think I called that. <laughs> it's definitely interesting to see New Albany is falling back on what worked the first time. Will it work again, though? Reynoldsburg has countered it once. They've played into it once. They've forced them off. If they do it again, Reynoldsburg wins it all. If they can't, New Albany ties it up and we go into map five. Everything is reliant on this game and what they play. Yeah. No, it's uh, incredibly scary for New Albany. Yeah. No, if they lose, they lose. Yeah. They, you don't have that buffer as Reynolds, uh, Reynoldsburg does. Yeah. I mean, the stress is on for New Albany. We are looking at some early pings right back and forth. Tracer drops down. Unlucky for New Albany. They are going to have to pull out as Doomfist pushes in. New Albany is falling. They are going down fast. That is three. Will they go for four? The answer is no. Reynoldsburg falls back to get the robot moving. Big difference here. The robot has 9 minutes 20 seconds, and at the end of that, it's going to take whatever got the farthest, or if you captured all points. This gives New Albany a lot of time and a lot of movement to be able to get back onto point. I'm interested in what's going to happen there specifically, but we aren't seeing any counter swaps. Why do you think they're running Symmetra? What do you think, Logan? Um, say that one more time. Uh, they're running Symmetra, New Albany. What do you think about that? Wait, Sombra. I am. There you go. Oh my god. Uh, uh, that speaks to my time. I was confused uh, if uh, any of you were confused. You met Sombra. I think it's going to be incredibly interesting. They were running it last match, so um, we've already seen a little bit of it. But it's hard to play Sombra against um, a lot of characters that can, you know, um, take her out of invisibility. Three of their, four of their characters can, like, just sit there and spy check is what we call it. Yeah. Um, Winston does not, I do not believe, with his right click, but his left click does. Flip it. His left click, but his right click does. Brought um, for New Albany. Reynoldsburg has gotten the forward spawn, and the robot is still moving. This looks like a struggle right here. Reynoldsburg is starting to fall. We've seen three go down. Looks like New Albany is now going for the Winston. Will they be able to shut him down? The answer is yes. And the robot is they got back. forward spawn, so they will spawn closer to the points. Yes, advantage for Reynoldsburg, but New Albany does have the robot, and that's critical here. They've got to get it moving. If they can't get up to where Reynoldsburg is, it's going to be a one difficult push to try and get that back towards the end of the game. And we are going to maybe see Echo go down, but no, she lives, and we actually see the Lucio go down. I'm wondering why this is happening. New Albany had such great movement in the beginning, and Reynoldsburg is just playing into that taking away all of these players who are playing out of position and punishing them for doing it. It's tough. I mean, we talked about this in our game with uh, when Kilborn. I mean, when you play the anti-Doomfist, when you play into the mobility and punish them for it, the Doomfist goes down. He doesn't have his team anymore, and we're seeing that here. It's 11 meters to 60. Six times, and they're still moving. Looks like the robot is still going. Reynoldsburg and New Albany in the fight. Dark Shadow goes down again. I don't know if the Sombra's working for them. I don't know who they're trying to really get with the Sombra. At this point, I think Sombra should hold and swap to me. Yeah. That is what I would do. That is what I would want my team to do. But it really, I am not a coach. 
I am not their coach, but I would have to agree with you. We need something to stop the Winston. He's gonna keep moving on your team, and we're seeing Ronald Burke got plenty of alts. There's still Stamba go down, but Lucio goes down as well. Yeah. And Echo and Tracer. It'll go back to New Albany. Yeah. Now we see Sombra stick around. I'm wondering why they're keeping her. I mean, we if they shut down the Winston, then with Winston out of the picture, it allows Doomfist to do what he wants to do. The DPS aren't playing into him, but the Winston is making him punish for it. Oh my gosh, and Winston goes down. Perhaps I have been wrong, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Winston is out of the picture, and New Albany will keep on grooving and moving. Down to 20 meters now. It's something. Starting to get that back and starting to hopefully get forward spawn if we end with it. Looks like we see four alts into three for Reynoldsburg in New Albany's favor. Uh, I would like to see them out. I definitely think Sombra should come out in this next fight because she recharges so quickly. But I assume she'll try to do it to counter maybe Lucio or uh, Kiriko. What do you think? I zoned out. I forgot what you said. But anyway, um, we see the Moira go down. So um, I think this will go back to Reynoldsburg. Yep. That's four down. Uh, yeah, you see Tracer pushing, and just that extra few meters is incredibly important. It's something, I mean, they got it about halfway to Reynoldsburg 75. It's good, it's useful, I mean, even though she got staggered a little bit, those couple meters can mean a lot. We see four ults for New Albany, which is going to be... Four unused ults, I might add. They went that whole fight without ulting and let Reynoldsburg basically throw Lucio. We see okay. MP come out, we might see another ult. We saw EMP and we saw Tracer both use ult they, and no supports and Reynoldsburg, Reynoldsburg still takes the game. will win that fight. I would if I was New Albany, you gotta think of counters. They're not running them. They're just letting them go. I mean that's the critical in Overwatch is still the need to counter the tank. We're not playing into that. New Albany is kinda letting Winston do what he wants and it's fighting him for it. Moira going for the Lucio. Will Lucio go down? The answer is no. He gets out of there. Lucio. Interesting alt for New Albany. Looks like Sombra's down, but they are moving the robot. I think Reynolds work is going to use some alts here, Lord. Oh my line. goodness. Wow. That is a beautiful punch. I mean, you got to give Topaz some credit. The Doom display is incredible. But it's a lot to play into. And Reynolds work isn't necessarily letting him get away with a lot. You can hear them in the background, they are excited. The Albany has gotten the robot to the back. There is no forward spawn for Reynoldsburg anymore, but the Doomfist is getting punished. He will is make it only out. to go down. Reynoldsburg is going to take the point. Mm. Now we're seeing 86 to 43. All Reynoldsburg really has to do is get it to the forward spawn for themselves, fight it out a bit, get a meter or two, let him die, let New Albany use alts, and then repeat the process. As long as they have that forward spawn, alts are close, and fights are going to be closer. Because of that, they don't have to worry as much. It's going to be tough for New Albany to really beat this advantage they have on them. We're going to see... We're going to see... Echo. A lot of alts come out. I think we saw Echo, Lucio, and both Tracer Bombs, or just the one of them. Very back and forth fight, and we are going to see... Topaz I has gone down. We're going to see, we see Doomfist go down. And Reynoldsburg is going to take it. Interesting play right here. I did not see that one coming. I really, I really thought, yeah. thought that New Albany would have won that. It looks like Reynoldsburg does not have healing support right now. Falling back to try and get some healing. Oh, and the tank has rejoined the fight. Reynoldsburg is 4v2 without their main support. Losing Sombra on the Albany's aspect, they will push forwards. Getting the robot back in a time like this is bad for New Albany. Two minutes left is barely enough to get it back to where it needs to be for them to tie it up. I don't know, what do you think is going to happen, Logan? What are your thoughts? Well, you have beat... Uh, Reynoldsburg has beat four, um, you know, alts. So it is a little bit of protection against, you know, that ult. However, I I think New Albany might take this. I'm yeah, I'm definitely seeing it. I, just, I would love to see this compet oh, this competition keep going for both teams. But it is worrying. New Albany is barely keeping them out. Finally starting to get these points back, but Tracer is holding on. Ace has yet to go Lucio down. Lucio goes down. Lucio, Tracer. Oh my Echo gosh, will that's go down. And I, that looks like it will be a new Albany point. 
Yeah, a new Albany win, but at what cost? They used all their ults to get that far, and they're staying on the Sombra. Which is going to be incredibly difficult for New Albany to come back. <laughs> but I think they can do it. It's a tough play, tough to watch, and I am very interested in what's going to be happening. Uh, new Albany has Sombra ult, but they're going into Winston and Echo's ult. It's a difficult one to watch. Reynoldsburg moving up. Echo copies the Doom Fist, gets hacked out of it. Nobody's gone down yet. New Albany losing. Lost both supports. DPS. Will they lose the rest? Doom Fist is trying to get out. Goes down. And. Oh, sorry. I'm mistaken. Now he goes down. There's somebody screaming in the background. I'm not going to guess it was Topaz. Most likely, yeah. If I was Topaz, I would be frustrated. There we go. Sombra's off. That's what we needed. I hate to say it, but I feel like the Sombra playing play has really hurt New Albany up until now. minute left in. Uh, Reynoldsburg having ults in uh, New Orleans. Wow. This, like I said, this is going to be incredibly difficult for New Orleans. Yeah, and incredibly close, too. I mean, New Albany has the robot. They're pushing it back. They're getting it out of there. The goal here, get it back, keep pushing. If you get 36 seconds of movement right here, you can get it into the 70 meter range, get yourself forward spawn, and take it from there. But they need to keep the robot. If they lose it now, it's probably going to be game over, because they got to use all their ults to get it back. Doomfist moving in, followed by Sojourn. Sojourn trying to get in the Elim here. Winston about to go down. Dark Shadows out. Fight still going. It is completely even now. It's a 3v4, 3v3. Alts are coming out. Looks like we've got a close one here. Three seconds left, and New Albany has the robot. Will they stay on it? And they do. The answer is yes. And so. <laughs> The problem for New Albany is they are only down to the Doomfist, and Doomfist needs to stay on, but Doomfist will die. That's a tough one. Tough loss for New Albany right there. And New Albany is going to lose. Run over. Reynoldsburg will win. Yeah. Congratulations to both teams mm -hmm. making it this far. They are both really fierce, really strong teams. Yeah. And um, it's a shame that it didn't go longer. I mean, Ace's play has been incredible for Reynoldsburg up until this point. I knew Albany took on that early lead. Reynoldsburg kept it close and then followed up with three consecutive wins, one after the next. Uh, it's a tough one to watch right there, but now I'd have to say, watch out, Kilborn. I mean, the anti Doomfist play or counter Doomfist play is strong with Reynoldsburg, and they're going to run into a Doomfist team right there. We've only seen Worthington Kilborn play Doomfist up until po this point. And I bet they're going to keep running it. Yeah. It is going to be a really good match yeah if we would love to pull up the uh the schedule or the schedule i guess the, the match results is the yes list. thank you I, I don't know why i can't speak if we, we can get that pulled up it would be incredible if we could that would here be we go thank you we're gonna see worthington kilborn versus reynoldsburg reynoldsburg in the finals mm -hmm. the, uh regional. yeah in the finals of the regional and it's going to be interesting who comes out on top. I mean, we have seen, like we said, we watched Worthington Kilborn's amazing Doomfist play. We've watched New Albany's Doomfist play. They were about the same. I would say Worthington Kilborn probably a little bit better here. But we are now going to see them try to run into Reynoldsburg, a hard Doomfist countering team. They have ran every Doomfist counter in the book, I'd say, outside of Cassidy. And it has done well for them. I mean, 3-1 to one is still 3. It's going to be a really good match. Yeah, I think both of these teams are good in their own regard. Yeah. They have great players. Um, we've seen both of them play and win. And um, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. What about you? I mean, I am pumped. The big thing here is we got to see what team comes out on top. I would argue Reynoldsburg probably takes the advantage here. They've already played anti-Doomfist 1 and they've seen the results of their work. What's going to happen? I bet we're going to see Worthington Kilborn roll out the Doomfist play. Reynoldsburg comes back, counters it, and it is going to be any team's game right there. Both see, teams are incredibly good. We see both teams talking in the background, figure yeah. out what they did right, what they did wrong, and, you know, um, just, it's it's heartbreaking Yeah, for New Albany. Our heartbreaking for New Albany, but I think it's something to learn from. Doomfist is good, but Doomfist is not a sole win. You gotta learn how to play some more tanks. It's not necessarily one person's fault or anything like that, but if you run a comp around dive and you get ran back, you gotta be able to be flexible. As I was saying um, earlier, it's never somebody's fault. It, 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 or very rarely, it is a single person's fault. Yeah. It is a combination of faults on a lot of people that cause... You know, I believe we are seeing the Super Smash Bros. Yep, Super yes. Smash Brothers. 
Um, this is the regional final for them. Uh, if you tune into Ohio Esports on YouTube, you'll be able to see these games. I believe they will have the last one streamed. Uh, but yeah, looks like, I don't know for certain, but it looks like Chillicothe and Highland are playing a match right now to determine the winner. And Dublin Kaufman against its row Fort Madison is 1-0. I am not familiar with how Super Smash Bros. work. I assume that it is a bunch of, like, 1v1s, and then the winners take the cake? Yes, it's 1v1s, like, 4 or 5 1v1s uh, okay. between teams, and you it figure like, out who wins. Yeah, uh, uh, that is uh, by moving on to the over on the other one, if you would like to figure out how it works. I don't think we, it would be worth figuring out how Smash works right now. I I don't play very well. I play Mario or Doctor Mario, and I, I fire Mario. I fire pills. I like shoot. Uh, he has like the little yellow and red pill thing. He's like a fireball. He has that and he jumps. I don't know that's what. That's interesting. But yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, that's. I believe, and this is assuming everything on the schedule works out according to plans. Our semifinals or our finals will be starting, I believe five or five thirty. It. Yeah, I believe that is it. Oh, we'll be rolling into the next game, it looks like. We will have we a will bit have, of an intermission, though. We will have an intermission. Yeah, I believe we will cut to that now, then, and then we will rejoin you for our finals for Overwatch. Sounds good. Yep, I've been Addison. I'm Logan. It was awesome being your commentators. We will see you then. Now join Chillicothe and Highlands Regional Semifinal in Smash Brothers. Good morning, but I can't beat bathtub. I really can't. Bathtub is crazy. Can you guys beat bathtub at all? No, it's a weird we're, at, we're asking. We're asking Jackson and this is this is the, right now. This is the like the Billy on the street. Yeah, I know. This is this is our podcast, One guys. This isn't like weird, weird as a bathtub, but I, I like. <laughs> I slept in a hammock one time. Okay, like, like hammock overnight. Is like, overnight. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hammock is was like. It, was it outside? Yeah. Okay. I like that. It's kind of yeah. like a tent. True camping. Yeah. It's like a tent, but you're less scared of. You're really putting your life out on the line right there. 
Especially because yeah. you're in the open. It was it was yeah. especially scary because like nearby there was a big like wasp nest. Oh. And I had already gotten attached that day by them, so I was kind of hoping they might have forgot about. You're kind of really yeah, adding yeah. emphasis to your middle name being Danger. Yes, that's true. Yeah, Jackson Danger. That's yeah, exactly. it's not actually Danger, guys. It actually is. Is. Oh, my bad. My bad. On the certificate. Right. Yeah, Danny. Couch. Yeah, nobody can beat bathtub, Joey. I'm telling you, bathtub is. The what about place. what about gaming? Do you think bathtub is weirder than gaming chair? I like had it leaned all the way back. I, I like, think bathtub's weirder. I had all the like, and I think the part was like headset. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like Young Link would take the bathtub too. <laughs> I feel like. Okay, guys, which Smash character would sleep in a bathtub? He just cut out. He said, Overwatch is watching us and and then cut out. Overwatch is watching us? Oh, like on Twitch? Okay. 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 So we have, um, so he said, Overwatch is now watching us on Twitch and on YouTube. So, oh, fun. Uh, for those who are just joining us, um, my name is Joey. I'm here with Trinity. Trinity, and we are uh, commentating the uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate Regional Semifinals. Yes. Uh, we got Highland and Chilla Coffee. Both of them are at one game apiece, so we're going to be seeing a game three. Winner of this is going to play the finals against Dublin Kaufman. And um, yeah, they're going to be seen right there. Chilla Coffee got that upset against that first seed, London. Both games against Chilla Coffee and Highland have been very close, trading back and forth. Um, Honestly, I'm yeah. very impressed with the players and their ability to sort of counterattack yeah. all, any of the characters, really. Yeah. So, I'm excited to see game three and their strategy going in. Yeah, they're, they're um, spending a lot of time um, thinking, just communicating, just yeah. talking about... Oh, we got the Young Link sitting down first. Young Link is Young going Link first. Young Link first. Okay. Um, this was the last matchup of the first, first game. Game. Yes. And this was the last one we saw, and Chillicothe won that. So... Um, yeah, um, and so for those who um, who don't know how uh, the format works out, uh, we explained this at the beginning. I'll do a quick thirty-second rundown. Um, Give it to five, us. five players on each team. Each person has three stocks or lives, as uh, people think uh, say. Stocks are like the official term. Uh, so fifteen stocks total. Um, Everybody shares the same pool of stocks. So, Chillicothe has 15, Highland has 15. Let's say Chillicothe wins the first game of this, but loses two of their stocks. Um, the next guy will come in with three stocks, and the Chillicothe guy will stay with one. And so, it's kind of like sharing all your lives until everyone runs out. And so, I can explain a little more after this game's over, but we do have the dark skin. Young man coming out. He was playing the. He looks like a vampire. He was playing like the Barbie. With the red first. eyes and yeah. white hair. And yeah. And most, a lot of the time, I think it's funny. Um, a lot of Smash players um, have this weird thought process that when they play the character that has the black skin, they like turn evil. Like they're like, evil? They're, like they're like in the zone, you know. I feel like that's what it's giving. And yeah, it's like, just like the vibe, the aura yeah, like, of like it. He, you like know? he lost, he lost that second game, and he's like, I want to go in and I want to destroy every single person on that team so bad. And it's revenge art, and I respect Literally. it. Yes. I respect it. Yes, and I think I think that's what's coming out because I we were both talking about how we were expecting him to be the anchor. Right. But they actually put him in first, which is. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen in either of the past two games. Yeah, um, and that's interesting because especially how how easily he beat the Kirby in the first one. I think he three stocked. Yeah. So, well, it'll be interesting to see if uh, the Kirby, because uh, what I'm thinking is that the Kirby was just way too nervous the first game. Right. He was shaking. He was like really scared. And as soon as the ga second game starts, he's like, I'm in my zone. And he just needed that little warm up period. Yeah, honestly. and he got and he got the three stock immediately right. after against the um the. Game and watch, and was it? It was the game and watch. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. And um, yeah, right now, starting off, this is a really slow-paced game. Um, we've had about 40 seconds in, and a collective 100% done. Which I haven't really seen that much in the other past rounds or the past yeah. games. Um, I guess they're both kind of taking their time. Yeah. Um, the yeah, the young link is like really gotten into the zone of just projectile spamming 
which spamming has like a negative connotation to it, but like it's not really a bad thing. Like Kirby literally can't do anything to deal with it. He has no he has no, no projectile of his own. He's kind of stubby, so he can't really get in, and his jumps are really slow, so it's hard for him to get in um, fast enough to punish. Yeah. So why not just stay on the other side, throw out the boomerang, throw out the arrow, force an approach. Young Link has kind of been on what happened in the first game at the end, and kind of going based off of that. And yeah, and that dash Kirby's back off stage, Rock! Of yes! I love Rock. And Kirby taking that first stock, seeing both players have no reaction to that. And, um, I saw a little, I saw a little fist. For, from Kirby? Yeah. A little pop off. I think he felt a little good stock. about that. Yeah, feeling good. Taking, um, taking another good stock. And it doesn't look like uh, the young Link is going to falter from his gameplay. I think the stakes are too high, so they're all yeah. just kind of on edge a little. Yeah. Because um, the, the thing about uh, Smash is that a lot of the time if you're losing, you're the one that has to approach. Mm -hmm. Because if the game goes to time, Whoever has the stock lead wins. And if you have the same stock, it's whoever has the lower percent. So if it were to go to time right now, Kirby wins. And so normally, like in 1v1s, this would be the point where, all right, Young Link has to go in because if he doesn't, he's going to lose. Yeah. But, you know. A lot of boomerangs. Yeah. A lot of boomerangs, a lot of arrows. Like great dash attack to get trying to get any damage that he can. Getting a lot of dash attacks here. That tilt. Oh, wait. okay. Yep. Down tilt's gonna. Tr down tilt's gonna hold in another rock. Not gonna kill. But yeah, but at ledge, this is dangerous. That jump saved his life. And oh, he missed and the he edge. He missed that. He missed the edge guard. Both grabbing. Young gonna grab again. Fourth throw gonna kill. Both players in the zone here. He's le kind of left to wonder if that missing that kick is kind of the reason why. Stop. Yeah, maybe. Rock here? No, it's good for down air. <gasps> Any wrong way! Up the wrong way! No. Uh, you normally can up the... Uh, if you up the wrong way, you normally can grab the ledge, but Kirby's is one of the few that can't. And then no jump from Young Link. We're gonna go to last stop. Well, now they're kind of even. They're s starting off at ground zero again. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, man. That is that, that's devastating. If I'm, if I'm the Kirby and I lose this, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna right. be thinking about that stock. For so like the rest of the day, like for the rest of my life. I yeah, mean. especially if I if we lose like the entire thing. So oh, and I frame the uh, a lands that, which is interesting. And yep, Kirby seventy six percent thrown out. Could be sending back to neutral. Lots of boomerangs, like you said, into the fair. Going to be evening up these percents as much as he possibly can. This game could honestly go either way. Yeah. At this point. I don't I don't believe it's going to go to time. I actually think that it's supposed to be a 99 uh, um, minute timer because they don't want timeouts in crews. Yeah. So it is interesting if it actually does go to time, what would happen? I doubt that it will, but that's just something to, to keep in mind. All right, throwing out these back airs. I really like that They're from all Kirby. Just kind of taking their time with this. Yeah. Probably but, the slowest fight we've seen all day. Yeah. And it's just so much chip damage. Like, these boomerangs and these arrows are doing so much damage for Young Link that, like, it doesn't matter that the Kirby is getting 30-40% per interaction. If he can't get in and he keeps getting taking 30-40% to 40 just trying to get in, it doesn't matter. It just evens everything up. Yeah, and they're both really nervous. That Kirby holding shield there is not what it yeah. should be. <gasps> oh wow, that down air traded with the first hit? I've never seen that before. We got two minutes left on the clock. Okay, arrow. That arrow could have been really something. And then the up air is going to get the weak hit. It's going to grab shield. Okay. It's going to land. Uh, this is so nerve-wracking. Is that going to kill? That is. And that's going to go pop off. Too young, Lake. Yeah. If, I, if I'm the Kirby, I'm... Yeah, I'm frustrated, man. Uh, you might find me in the corner. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so devastating. Yeah. But well played yep. by him. Though. I was gonna say, Chillicothe. Yep, the young Link. Really, really good job. Not following from that gate plan, even when he did lose that first stock. Yeah. And that Kirby really, really putting the the owie in owie. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Can we rip that off? It's that piece of paper. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Really, I would say really, really good job for that Kirby. Um. Definitely, like, 
Oh, he changed back to pink. <laughs> He, he, he was just evil against the Kirby and no one else. But yeah, um, really good job from that Kirby. Uh, really good job from uh, Highland making these adjustments that they need. And now we got the Zero Suit Samus back out. Team Jesus. Team Jesus against one stock of um, this uh, young one. Let's see. I wonder if Team Jesus does forehead signings after this. Maybe. There's only one way to find out. Alright, yeah, and he's going right back that they don't want, he doesn't want to, to change the game plan. The game plan worked so well, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess the young Link just wanted to take that first fight really slow. Yeah. They both uh, did, I was saying, even ZSS has a couple of good projectiles, just, they're just not very fast. They're not fast like uh, some of the young Links. And once he gets once CSS gets in, that's some damage right there. Keep there, kick flip is gonna miss the kick flip. Okay. He's gonna grab ledge there. Yeah, 77 now though. Gonna go for Oh, tried to get something cheeky there. Yeah, 94 to 87 or 89, rather. Um yeah, both players playing patient. ZSS is really good because a lot of her moves, like that, that uh, Zare, it's called Zare. It's her little, like, tether thing that she tosses out yeah. when she's landing. Um, that move, as well as her back air, which he just tried to do right there, and uh, even stuff like forward air are really big, really long. And so characters that are smaller, like Young Link, or even like Kirby and stuff like that, it's really hard for them to punish them. Very similar to how like Young Link's throwing out all those moves, except uh, ZSS has to be a little bit more committed to it because she has to go in and get it. But Young Link gonna take in a, another stock that's four for him. Is it very looking very good for Young Link right now though? Oh, yep. One stock <gasps> and 131. He had the read, but he didn't run in and do the boost, uh, the the up I don't forget what it's called. But um. Yeah, that definitely would have killed, but it's such a small hitbox that he didn't get it, and he needs to take the stock, or else I would be in my head. Like I said, like, I would be in my own head. Yeah. I mean, it's game three. It's... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, am, I don't blame these players. I am, I am, I am nervous. I am so nervous. And he goes for up smash there, and that's going to do it. No, Only no. one stock down now for, uh, for Highland. So definitely not out of it, especially with the Young Link out of the way. Young Link was like the guy for game one. Specifically game one, he was the guy. And with game two, I mean, he didn't do as much. I don't, I, not off the top of my head, I can't remember who took the most socks. Probably the Ridley. Ridley yeah. took like five or six. Might have been the Ridley, yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't want to, I think Ridley might have to be the anchor now. Or the Palu. Palu's been playing really solid too. That's also true. He did get three stock by the Kirby, but I still agree that. He's playing probably one the most solid out of the remaining four. We thought they would put the Palu first. Yeah, because they did that Again, the first two they did games. That the first two yeah. games, yeah. But, so. yeah, I think maybe that might be the anchor just because they're trying to switch it up a little for game three. Yeah. Uh, and the other problem is that, you know, I was saying Palu has kind of bad matchups against um, smaller characters. No other small characters on the team. Uh, Bowser, Ensign, Game & Watch, K. Rool. Yeah. There aren't a lot of um, small characters, and Pal Palud is really good against the best of those remaining characters. So maybe as an anchor, that might not be a bad choice to have. That's true. All right, again, looking at the... Um
and welcome back, Ohio, to the Esports Ohio Regional Finals. This is awesome. What do you What do you think of Logan? I'm excited. I'm ready. I uh, I may or may not have gotten a tip that they're gonna play Doomfist. They're, we're gonna see Doomfist again. I we believe, from, I believe so. We seen it from Worthington Kilborn. Worthington Kilborn. Okay. To play Doomfist. This is gonna be the game of the century right here. I have been told that this is the second year in a row that Worthington Kilborn has gone against Reynoldsburg in the finals. I have been told that Reynoldsburg pulled out last year. But we're seeing an amazing Doomfist play from Worthington Kilborn so far. We have watched each of these teams so far play a game and dominate. Now, what we're really going to have to see now is whether or not Reynoldsburg is able to counter Worthington Kilborn's really solid Doomfist right now. My guess is it's either going to be game five or it's going to be 3 0. Yeah. We, it's going to be very close or very far away. We're exactly. not going to see a 1 3 or 2 2 3. Or yeah. These teams are very two, close in skill. You know uh, we saw last game, uh, Reynoldsburg played an excellent Doomfist counter strategy, counter dive, they ran anti-Doomfist, they were really going strong against that. What we really need to see from either team is either Reynoldsburg to have a solid defense, or we're going to need to see Worthington Kilborn have a solid attack. Either way, whichever one of those teams can pull out ahead is going to see the win from that. Yeah, no, it's going to be, it's going to be very, very, very awesome. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm really excited. Yeah. If you can't tell by my voice, uh, I'm tired. But, I'm sorry. Sleepy but excited. Uh, looks like the first map, which will be our control point, is looking to be Li Zhang Tower. So, what do you think about that? I'm. I think Li Zhang is uh, one of my favorite maps. It's um, definitely hard to uh, determine who is going to win, just based off the map. But I think with the environmentals, uh, Doom will succeed. Okay. I agree on, on certain points. I think Doomfist will have the advantage. You can push people in, or you can push people off of the map, which is going to prove fatal uh, to a lot of Reynoldsburg strategies for anti Doom. Uh, you have the mobility here. You can get in and out of the map quickly. The problem here is while Li Jing does provide support to Doomfist, it also provides the reverse. Close cornered spaces. If you don't play Doomfist well, you cannot escape. You're forced to fight the team, and because of that, you can go down. It is going to be tough. I'm going to assume right off the bat we're going to see Worthington Kilborn rolling out the Doomfist, seeing how it's going to play, and then going from there, we'll see Reynoldsburg most likely come out with the reverse. I mean, I believe both teams have watched each other play to this point. I assume they're going to Very true. play I each 100 other. I 100% think that. Yeah. Um, especially since uh, Worthington Kilborn beat their team way before uh, Reynoldsburg. Yeah. Theirs. Uh, Worthington Kilborn had a game and a half to just sit there and watch. And as you said, they have previous history. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a good game. Yeah, I mean, I would say we could call it rivalry level. Rivalry? I can't speak to that. I'm not, I'm not, I don't live in the area. That's fair. But rivalry would be I mean, people are excited. This is a good game. I would definitely like to see one team coming out on top solidly. That's gonna how they're going to go into the state's finals. At the same point, a competitive map going on to that fifth. Or I think it's best of seven right now, or best of five. Best of best of five. Okay. Um, for first to three, uh, it'll okay. be. Um, I think it's control. Yes. Hybrid, flashpoint, push, escort. Yeah, it looks like what we just saw come out right now with a little bit of the Super Smash Bros. We've cut to their stream for a little bit. You might have been watching it earlier. Uh, looks like we are seeing Chili Coffee versus Highland. Highland? I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. I was going to say Highland. Um, both schools seem to be going back and forth right now. It looks like they are still going. I do not know for certain just yet. We will be bouncing you back into Overwatch once these teams get into it. They are getting ready to up right now. So, what do you think about Doomfist, Anti-Doomfist? Any thoughts there, Logan? We've seen Chek play Doomfist. We actually spoke to his dad, mm -hmm. um, uh, funnily enough. And uh, he said he was around GM2, GM3. GM3, yeah. Um, which is very, which, very good. Which is very good, especially um, now with the rank resets and all that stuff. Because you have to grind to get back up there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, and... I'm just excited uh, to watch Czech play again. Yeah. He seems very good. Um, I believe the Reynoldsburg tank is the Sun Tzu. 
I yes, yes they are. Uh, Sun Tzu one four two. Um, they are the Rumble I so. tank. And um, I think that will be very interesting. Yeah, it looks like Super Smash Bros. is oh cutting out. I think we might be going back to Overwatch. We are kind of going back and forth. Um, I believe they are waiting for Super Smash Bros. to finish before they start our Overwatch game to make sure that there is enough space. Um, it, and just, I've gotten a quick update. This match will actually be best of seven. So what that means is we are going to be seeing the teams going back and forth up until, I believe it is the first winner to uh, four games. First to four. Yep. Which is strange math. I don't understand it very well, but uh, I can't judge it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't know. Um, yeah. I'm about to look up and see um, what we are playing yeah uh the map order will most likely be somewhat similar adding some more maps uh, of course in this best of seven this is going to be more times for the teams to go back okay. and forth it uh, will be control hybrid flashpoint push escort same as last okay with map six being control but it not map a map we have not played yet okay and map seven being escort okay um and, but the first map of course the legion. first map will be legion okay that's, I mean, that's solid. I definitely think that we will see a lot of back and forth here. I really want to see it. You get best of seven. This means we can see a lot of games going out right now. And between these two teams, it gives them a lot of chances to go back and forth. Guaranteed. I would say we should be looking for the anti-Doomfist comp. Doomfist to swap off or then to stick it. I hope that it is a very competitive game. Both teams are very competitive. What we, what we need to see is Worthington Kilborn to be able to respond to that and then react well. Uh, I have not seen Jack play anything else besides Doomfist. Doomfist has worked for their, of course, win to forfeiture. Or, well, not win to forfeiture, sorry. Uh, win against Grove Fort Madison. It's worked against Delaware. Uh, and hopefully it'll work against Reynoldsburg. But at the same point, Reynoldsburg has gone 3-0 and to Waverly. They went 3-1 and to Albany, which ran Doomfist. And they are back again to see if they can beat them and move on to the state's we are excited. I know. I'm excited. Hey, you know, it's not often you see such competitive uh, natures in Overwatch and, to be able to stick and to it. keep in mind, these these players are in high school. Yeah. These are young, young players. Yeah. That, I mean, if you, if you relate it to sports and other athletics, these are high schoolers that are playing it, that or playing at the skill level of professional players. Exactly. I mean, they're playing at the level some of our players at OU play at as well, on our varsity. Yeah, 100%. It's definitely strong. It's definitely good. And I am excited to see it. However, we are going to stall you guys out a little bit longer as the Smash starts to finish up. It looks like we are getting close to a wrap up here. I don't know if we can flash back to that to see it really quickly. Oh, here it comes. I anyway, do not know uh, Bowser. What's uh, OK? OK, it's it's um, the robot, dude. Don't know his name. Okay, well, I, I assumed Robot, dude. Rob. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. And versus <laughs> Bowser. Yeah. Um, you guys picked the wrong casters for Smash, but... <laughs> well, look... <laughs> no, 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 no. We got this. We got this. We can do this. We are... We'll be... We'll be... We play Super Smash Bros. regularly, of course. Right, Logan? Uh, I played it when the game came out. I played it four years ago. <laughs> with some friends on their new switch uh okay looks like rob is using his laser vision yeah look at that okay i know that's a down beat i remember that yeah, that's a down beat that's walking oh that's a side beat <laughs> okay, is okay. a beat no no because there's 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 uh yeah i don't know he's spinning oh he's hitting <laughs> they're spinning how do you spin oh, in he's Super Smash? laser okay yeah because he's gonna charge right doesn't he like charge his laser yeah 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 uh, he threw the, the dreidel. I thought it was a drone. <laughs> I don't, I don't we are doing good here, Logan. Stick with it. We are winning. Oh, there we go. The, the robot man went down. Okay. <laughs> Can he beat Bowser with his robot spinny thing? <laughs> is it a drone? Is it a dreidel? I don't know, but it's a it's a it's it's a Beyblade. He's shooting all Beyblade. The competitive games I have played. This is not one of them. Of all the competitive games that I have commentated for, this is a first. <laughs> Okay, okay so I'm just going hard at Bowser, okay, so Bowser's taking both, the hits. Wait, I thought they both all had, they had three stocks last time I looked at the screen. Oh, uh, yeah, that's because Rob beat Bowser and Bowser beat Rob. Okay, so they're both one stock. Yeah. Bowser is 57%. It which could be anyone's is, game. Which is very, uh, is that I guess, scary. Charge? I don't know. 62%? <laughs> 68%? I'm just going to say numbers now. Can we talk about the map, uh, though. Look how beautiful space is. Is this space? It's probably space, right? Maybe I they're in, like, maybe they're in, like, 
Rob's robot dimension. Is is the percent to alt charge? <laughs> and it is not an alt charge. It's not an alt. And Bowser okay. is at one hundred and five percent, which is yeah, one hundred and twenty-two. Rob's using his laser. From what I remember, I think that is very high. I, I think it's very bad. The red number, red is a bad color. I think that's not good for Bowser. Uh oh, oh Bowser, Bowser jumped on him. Oh, oh, Bowser's got the high ground. He's a little bit taller. And Bowser, Bowser dodges, but one hundred fifty-one. This is dodges. Bowser's gonna get hit again. Oh my gosh! Bowser shields, but doesn't. And Bowser is going to survive. One hundred and seventy-one. He's still here. He's he's one hundred and seventy-one. Can he beat Rob? Rob going for him. Bowser's and been Bowser around. gets it. Oh, he's still in it. He's still going. Oh, he's going to He's going to survive. He's survived. Come, 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 come on, Bowser. You can make 200, it. Two hundred percent. No, no Bowser. Bowser. Oh. That was a tough one to watch. That was good though. That was very close. I think it keeps going. I don't know if they've officially finished yet, so I think we got to keep going here. All right, well, good. I mean, I don't know half the things that are going on, and we could cut to the people who know, but if you need anybody in a tough situation... They might have already cut to the people, people that They probably know. have. Uh, <laughs> but I think that Overwatch 2 casters are the best for any game, because clearly Overwatch is a very I versatile think, game. Uh, I think you and I are the best casters uh, for any game. Bowser's we like Roadhog. Except he doesn't have a hook or a trap or healing, and he just is. He has spikes and doesn't look like Roadhog at all. <laughs> I think we, that you're on point, though. I would argue. Oh, Rob is like Bastion. That we are the best casters Clearly. for every game. Yeah. Let me cast League of Legends, a game I have never played before. <laughs> And I will cast the next Smash Bros. game. I, I mean, I think we should. Uh, clearly, they've kept we're, us off. We're still, we're still watching. Yeah, we're still here. They could have cut us off a long time ago. And we are going yeah, we we to go back to Smash Bros. No, 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 no. no. We'll never leave. Leave. I'm waiting. I'm ready. Okay, so from what I recall, Rob is going to have to SD twice. Oh, yeah. Because of the stocks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so taking some hits is he going to get a hit in so so the goal for rob is going to be just get a stock yeah you just want to get a stock down you want to trade it make sure mr game and watch goes down one make it easier for yeah. your or, teammate or win i mean right. winning is the preferred right here but of course get them uh, as low as you can you want to make it easier for your teammates right i here. guess in this there's a lot of strategy but i think so um when your players play and when who you put in and what they play because you can counter yeah and i have been told that a lot of characters, of course, play into each other, but you want to put your best players kind of last. So we'll start to see as the game goes on further, the players get better. I mean, as you can see, which I don't even know how you fly on some of these characters. I would have been, um, I would have been out a long time in, ago. Uh, 25 seconds. And we see uh, Rob is going to get one stock. Um, that is incredibly beneficial. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't know exactly what Mr. Game and Watch is doing, but I think we he have lost found... thirty viewers in the past twenty minutes. <laughs> Not, I, I don't, I don't have the. No, we don't have the statistics. But um, <laughs> looks like Mr. Game and Watch is doing something. Uh, he's parachuting and he's throwing. He threw a bomb. I think he threw a bomb. Uh, Rob has not used the laser vision and is just spinning. Is that going to be Rob another is, kill? Rob is doing inc wow. incredibly well. Um, you've got to give him some credit there. He is sticking in it at ninety-seven percent. He, I think he'll go out. Here, oh, yeah, tough one for Rob uh, right tough there. Tough one, but you got the stock. That's uh that's really good. And now we're gonna see. I don't know that. I don't think it's the Rob end. I think you're going to keep going, and somebody else is gonna come and yeah. fight. And we will keep going. Oh, it looks like they have tabbed in the next Smash player. We will start to see what happens next. I'm interested whether or not they will play new characters, if they stick with the ones they have. It's very interesting. And we're going to see the um, team sitting on the ground just waiting, figuring out what happens. And uh, it looks like um, Addison is on his phone instead of watching the game. That is not true. I was checking to make sure Smash things worked. I don't know exactly how this works. I was looking up some of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and I was looking up Mr. Game and Watch abilities, which I was not able to find. We should bring in a special guest. Uh, we could, 
but I feel like nobody would want to help us right now because I think we're doing the best we can. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I don't think we need a special guest. I think no. you and I are uh, two peas in a pod. I yeah. think we you are. You don't need Smash commentators. You need yeah. somebody who's just as new as you. And we are going to help you figure it out. Looks like we are getting into and a Mr. Oh, Mr. Game Game Watch Watch versus Mr. Game Watch. Watch. This is incredible right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking I don't at know two clones. I, what? Who's this from? Uh, <laughs> what game is this from? This is Super Smash Bros. No, I meant, I meant, is this like, like, you know how Super Smash like Bros. has like Mario? Oh, like Mario was like a... Yeah, but is, is it... What does like, Mr. Game & Watch come from? Yeah, what what game? What, what oh, okay. does Mr. We, game & Watch come from? The original we, we're having an expert look up what game is uh, game and watch. And we comes have the, yeah, we will have expert testimony here in a second. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I have no. Oh, oh, he's juggling. This is he's cooking. Let him cook. Oh, 90 percent. Chillicothe um, is doing the great Wikipedia. Right now. Oh, here we go. Uh, Mr. Game and Watch is a gen- 2D generic stick figure. Uh, I think that's the amalgamation of the Game and Watch handheld consoles. But okay. So he is not from a game, but he is a. Is he's he? from a. He is an old handheld, um, like console that used to be created, I guess, by Nintendo. I don't know. Okay. Um, look it up if you're curious. That's. Uh, yes. Well. That's incredibly interesting. Any help we can get from our viewers right now would be useful for what Mr. Game you know, uh, is. We don't have access to the chat, chat. but uh, we will figure out. Somebody will tell, tell us. us if you tell us. Yes. Um, any help would be accepted and provided. Uh, it looks we like- have <laughs> we have been looked at as the director, and he has suggested that he has no clue to. <laughs> so we will keep going. Any Smash commentary in the chat will be appreciated, and we will not judge you, as we have no clue what's going on ourselves. But we are keeping on no, the train not. right now. Mr. Game oh, & Watch is cruising like through. Uh, let's see. I think we're live. We are still going. Two streams. Uh, right now, if you, you want to watch, watch, if you well, well, you know, if you want to watch the real Smash stream, um, that will be on YouTube. Yes, uh, under Bobcat Esports. Or sorry, uh, not Bobcat oh, Esports. Ohio, Ohio Esports. Esports. My mistake. Um, Oof, get tired. Uh, they are way better at doing this than we are. Uh, I. Pr- oh, the uh, word, word is um, there's a second stream on YouTube. Yes. Um. Our director has told us that, yes, there are two streams on YouTube, they, and then and, there is us. And yes. honestly, I'd stick here. I'd say we're better. I would be, uh, yeah. We don't um, know what's going on, but we are telling you what's going on. <laughs> you can watch. You can look. You can figure yeah. it out. You could watch professionals, I'm or sure you could watch you Overwatch players. You know more player. than we know. <laughs> and um, yeah, while we're sitting here, actually, you know what? Let's do something important. Oh, yes. While we're here, and being we have no idea what's going on, uh, thank you, of course, uh, on behalf of Esports Ohio to the National Guard for their sponsorship. Beyond that, uh, thank you on behalf of Ohio University to PNC and Lenovo for making esports possible here. And yeah, uh, looks like I have just been told that Mr. Game & Watch was a handheld screen console with Pong-style games. So is... we know what Mr. Game & Watch is, ladies and gentlemen, and right when the game was ended. And Mr. Game & Watch won. I don't know which one. Uh, but the, I know the one original of them did. did. They're both clones of each other, so the original clone won. What? Thank you to those in the Twitch chat who have clarified as clearly yes, they are you. professionals. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And if you would like to watch the actual professionals talk about this, please go to Ohio Esports on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, no, I don't. We think are we, going I, to I, keep I going. We, I think we should keep going. Yeah, we are. Uh, we were just offered right a break, but I don't need a break. I need. More Smash Bros. Yeah, we love Smash Bros. Here, we are not Overwatch commentators. We are Super Smash Bros. commentators, ladies and gentlemen. I am. Our faith excited for this next uh, matchup. If we, uh, um, we may yeah. never go back to Overwatch again. We will stick on Super nope. Smash Bros. for the rest of the night. I will. Uh, bu- I'm buying a Switch tonight. You're buying a Switch. Oh, I don't know about that one. All right. Can they run Overwatch on a Switch? Probably. Probably. Oh, let's ask oh, a professional. <laughs> can you run Overwatch on a Switch? Oh, yeah, uh, you can. It has been we confirmed. We're not Overwatch players anymore. We no, Smash we're Smash players. Players. That's true. Um, um, and it looks like the stress is high. I don't know how many players. I believe it's each team has five players, and we started fairly early on, which means this could very and well it, be the last Also, match. I would like to mention it is 1 1 between both. Um, I don't think that matters very much. I don't Yes, it does, because whoever wins this game wins. 
Oh, they played three different times with all five players? Yes. They, no, oh. they played two times with all... It's first of two. So okay. they play... Yeah, well, yeah, three times. But first of two. Ah, uh, yes. I've been told that they are tied, and this could be the game-deciding match right here. Snake. So we see Mr. Game of Watch versus Snake from... Now, what, what does Snake come from? What, what series is Not, that? I asked you first. No, I, I know what you say to it. Uh, Snake is from the Snake Show, obviously. It is from Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Snake Show. It's it's See, look at him in the box. It's the Snake Show. <laughs> Now, Snake is going for him. Um, he does not look very slithery, as a snake normally would. Um, you, you know more about Snake than I do, Logan. Uh, feel free to take over. Uh, I do believe he hides in a cardboard box. Uh, Why is he not hiding now? And he has a mortar, I guess. Oh, okay. So Snake can launch a mortar and grenades, apparently. I have not played anything in the Metal Gear franchise. Me uh, neither, to be honest. That's fair enough. But then we can spot the it's the people who know nothing who know everything, and that is us. Uh, I would love to see Snake launch a mortar. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he's, dead. he's crazy. Oh, and he gets. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know what happened there, but something. He gets did. eliminated. Yeah. Snake is going crazy right now, launching mortar strikes. Launching. Is that an art? Was that an RPG? That is an RPG. That's. Oh, can he steer it too? Oh my I, gosh. I do. I do believe. Well, and don't we see Snake. 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 Uh win the round <laughs> i think so um clearly snake has some skills uh, unbeknownst to i us. would like to uh, formally apologize if you came here for overwatch 2 and uh you are watching two idiots hey, uh, hey, commentate we are professionals just two not professional idiots, idiots. <laughs> uh commentating um what game is super smash bros yeah <laughs> ultimate or as it's better I, referred to as because we know proper slang smash yeah and i bros. used to play uh, <laughs> 64 yeah. On the Wait, Nintendo, Nintendo 64? 64? Yeah. Oh my god. Smash. I, I do not know what game that is. What was the fir Your first introduction was on the 64? Yes. Mine uh, was on the Wii. I yeah. do not know what the game that was on 64 is. It might have been called 64. I don't... A lot of games like to be like... I... On the Wii, it was called Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. But it might have been like Melee. Melee. Okay. Okay. Where, yeah, where does Incineroar come from? Pokemon? Yeah, there we go. You got it. It says it right here. Okay, come on, man. You gotta give me something here. I don't know where Snake comes from. <laughs> the... Clearly, okay. Incineroar is. Incineroar going crazy used right to be now. a very bad character, from what I remember. Um, clearly, and then he turned into a very good character. I I don't know that for sure. And Snake then... is using explosives. I don't think Incineroar's ever played with explosives before as a Pokemon. So this is, must be very difficult for Incineroar. Oh, clearly, no. never mind. I'm wrong. <laughs> Incineroar is going crazy right and now. His trainer like must the be very proud. Maps? Are they playing small standard maps? I don't know what this map is. It looks like they're in some kind of wormhole, and Snake and Incineroar are going at it. See, this is the one thing I'll give Super Smash Bros. credit for. There are very few games that have such a huge combination of characters. Like, how often do you think Snake is going to play against a Pokemon and use a Mortar Strike? I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> um, Incineroar is doing something. Uh... Running back and Doing forth, something. I don't know the terminology here. Snake hit a double jump, uh, which is illegal um, in Minecraft. <laughs> I have no idea what we're going from here. Uh, oh, Incineroar with a great hit on Snake. Moving from there, uh, okay. Incineroar is going crazy for 150 percent right there. What does the is the percent how likely you it, are to? It's, it's it's like a damage. It's a damage. The higher percent. Yeah. Okay. The more knockback. Yes. Okay. So that just increases your. Okay, so because Incineroar oh, is really yeah, a big Pokemon, yeah, right? Okay, he so can we'll see last with higher Incineroar percentage. Incineroar lose the first stock. Yes, Incineroar is down one stock, but Snake is down to the last. Can Incineroar finish Snake before it's too late? Uh, of course, Incineroar is not Ooh. used to grenades being or mortar strikes being. That was a nice combo, Pokemon. I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Snake's doing. I think he's throwing grenades still, uh, which is interesting. Does Snake throw <laughs> grenades in Metal Gear? Is that a big thing there? Oh yeah, but none of us play Metal Gear either. As a person who has used Incineroar in Pokemon, though, I don't know if Incineroar has ever used grenades. I don't think that's a thing in Pokemon. <laughs> oh well, something big happened. I think and, Snake went down, and somebody won. I, I maybe. Think. I looks like people are walking away. You, I, okay, how many? How many more? Uh, I think. I think that. 
ladies and gentlemen of the I stream. Think that was I have been told that was it for Super Smash Bros. You will no longer have to deal with us as your commentators for it. Deal, yeah, we deal will go is, back to where we want. the wrong term for it. You will no longer get to oh, have us. Get to have it. It's a lot of uh, commentators um, for um, you Super Smash Bros. All real time. Smash commentators, but instead you got us. And you know what? Because of that, we will we appreciate you. it. Yeah, we'll reward you with some Overwatch commentary. Are you excited, Logan? I am excited. Yeah. And it looks like nice change of nice change of pace. Uh, a needed change of pace. I we don't will know see how long Dublin Kaufman versus Highland. Highland? Highland? Highland and Dublin Kaufman. Uh and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, they are going to go on to, I believe, the finals. Unless the, I think that was the semifinals game we were watching. They're on to the finals game next. Yes. So they will be doing that. Please feel free to do well, we YouTube watch Live. The greatest game known to man. I promise you, I know you have been waiting. I know you've been wanting it. We will now probably do Overwatch. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. I am crossing my fingers right now. You can't see it on the camera, but it is happening. Uh, the goal <laughs> is Overwatch. Here we go. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, fingers because crossed. If we get any more Super Smash Bros, I feel like I'm going to have to retire. What do you think, Logan? I think we should do it again. I think we should get a raise. Uh, are you getting paid for this? What? Are you getting paid? Uh... Hopefully. Uh, I don't think I am. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. You're getting paid? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, we, we do this out of the love of Overwatch and now Smash Bros. Up from our hearts. And for me, Fortnite earlier on, if you woke up at the bright you've crack been on of 7.30 a.m. I guess. I you've streamed every game. I have. Now, not all of them were as successful as the Overwatch streams have been. Um, Fortnite was new to me. Super Smash Bros. was new to me. But we have carried through. And the caffeine has helped. So not I me. think I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was chugging a mocha while you had water, and I feel like the water's better for you, but the mocha helped me. I had a, I had a, uh, frappuccino this morning. You had a frapp? Okay. That's fair. Did you, you got, went to McDonald's or something, right? I went to McDonald's this morning. I can't believe you do McDonald's. I mean, that's, McDonald's breakfast hey, is well, good. we can't. Let's, 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 uh, change the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about McDonald's. Uh, um... I would argue then, if we just want to switch it back into Overwatch, that we Overwatch. are excited for Worthington, Kilborn, and Reynoldsburg. Are you excited? I am. A I I guess excited is like an understatement. Yeah. For, for like, I am enthralled. Enthralled. That's a big word. In right this, there, in this game, <laughs> and I uh, I'm excited to cast something that's not Smash Bros. Well, well uh, we love it. We love Smash Bros. That's no no hate there. No, uh, but I no think offense to Smash Bros. Overwatch. players. Yes. I'm just not familiar with the game. That's true. Uh, we will next time call in professionals to interview during that time so we can have actual people. Offered. Offered we did say. offer. You um, said no. That's right. I did say no. Yeah. I, I, well, I mean, I think we did it, we did it justice. Uh, it took a little bit of help from our audience, but um, we were able to carry through and we are now on to the finals yeah. it is going to be awesome the teams are ready the teams are there so if you weren't here when we said it earlier, yes it is a best of um that first of four best of seven yes um the maps are the same as the first uh the, you know the first part yep. so it's going to be control for map one hybrid for map two flashpoint for map three push for map four escort for map five and then we're going to go to map six is going to be control but it's going to be a map not played and map seven is going to be escort but it's yes. going to be a map not played yes uh it really depends on if these teams are going to go that far it, it all, all of this is dependent on how competitive this is going to be and that's what we're rooting for we are rooting for a good competition we don't want to see any domination here we want to see the teams really work hard and show their best for this as you can see on our camera they're showing it in the back we have our team setting up bank there yeah getting ready they are logged in ready to go oh we got both teams I'm back here take a second to talk about the uh the esports arena while we're sitting here oh yeah of course um so if you don't know the esports arena was built uh two years ago I yes believe, please. um and it opened last year yes um and it is awesome yeah we have a lot of computers we have a lot of um we have the esports like the back area as you can see on the screen um it is insane yeah, as you can see, that table is where we are right now. Uh, you can see throughout the entire arena, we have been able to house multiple PCs, an area for our varsity computers, where our high schoolers are playing right now. And from that, <clears throat> it is an incredible place. I love playing Overwatch here. Our club teams, of course, are situated around coming in here and playing together. It is an incredible place to have and a gift to be able to come here on the weeks and be able to play with my team. Uh, as you can see there, there's a couple different people playing. <clears throat> the computers are incredible. We run 3090s, not to, or sorry, 3080s, not to brag. <clears throat> But uh, 
it's it's incredible. It's a great experience, and of course, we all have good fun with it. It is also really helpful for our sponsors. Yeah, not not it. it has been um, our sponsors have been awesome. Yes, we, we love the sponsors. Um, if you want to go over that, of course, I would be happy to. Uh, a quick thing, we will start. Uh, on behalf of Esports Ohio, we'd like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And then, of course, on behalf of Ohio University, we would like to thank PNC and Lenovo. Uh, if you look back behind us, now that it's fully exposed, the PNC logo, uh, we've got that back PNC, there. And awesome. it's shining glory. Uh, it's, it's a little reflective. But uh, yeah, we'd like to thank both of them, as well as the National Guard for Esports Ohio, for keeping esports possible here. I mean, it's without without funding, it's hard to keep uh, a bunch of This would not going. be... As good it, as good yes. as it is, without Lenovo, PNC, yeah, um, and even the National Guard um, for um, this, yeah, um, tournament, tournament, regional, yeah. Um, I mean, it's because of them that these things are able to happen, and I am very happy that they are a part of this. Just as everyone else here is there to help Lenovo and PNC do their part, as well as the National Guard for Esports Ohio. Yes. So, thank you to our sponsors, and of course, thank you to all the family friends, those of who have been able to not only get the high schoolers to our regional here, but been able to help to be part of the daylight and current support them. and sit around. And um, I've seen hundreds of parents and. I'm sure it's not cheap to drive out here and, you know, you got to buy dinner and, and yeah. stuff. So shout out to them as well. Um, it's a big commitment to come out this far and to be a part of this. And we, of course, thank everyone. And shout out to the players. And, and shout out to the players. Of course, this without amazing players. players. Mm -hmm. And um, especially, we wouldn't have this much to talk about if uh, Worthington, Kilbourne, and Reynoldsburg as good as they are. I know it is awesome to highlight a couple of the things. If you have just been all the teams, of all course, the teams, all the teams were incredible. All the teams that we were able to see. Uh, to shout out and highlight a couple of things we've seen, which is going to make this final match competitive. We have seen Czech, our Doomfist, our GM Doomfist that we've heard, has been doing incredibly well in keeping more than Kilborn teams going. Uh, we have not seen a lot of counters to Doomfist yet for him. It's going to be really interesting to see him come out and pull out Doomfist yet again. And for Reynoldsburg, we have seen some great counter coordination. Reynoldsburg is the first team we've really seen pulling that out. So far, Worthington Kilborn has not faced the challenge of playing into counters, and because of that, playing into this, uh, the tank for Reynoldsburg, uh, Soon Su, is going to have to play some counters. We are going to see that happen. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the stream, we are now starting to move into the map, the moment you have all been waiting for. So, finally, you guys have been waiting 30 minutes for us to play Li Zhong Tower. Yes, and we are finally here. The map is loading in. Good luck to the teams. We are excited for what this is going to bring. Uh, looks like the maps are starting to load in. The teams are choosing their characters, and we are going to get in there pretty soon. Trust us, it is there. We are seeing the map. <laughs> And you will hopefully go in soon. And, and here we are. we are. A little tour of downtown. You are seeing, uh, looks like, I think, a sushi Ooh, They're bar. not, they're uh, pink and green now instead of being uh, red and blue. That's true, yeah. You've seen a lot of the different artistry, a lot of the beautiful sights as you as these teams will be traversing. Uh, looks like we are making our way toward the control point itself. These is where This is where the teams are going to be trying to capture. Uh, again, we've talked about some of the abilities here, and it looks like from what the tanks we're seeing, uh, Worthington Kilborn has again favored the Doomfist comp, not having run into counter Doomfist before, and Reynoldsburg has favored the lockdown comp, running a Rhine, Sim, and Bastion. Reinhardt. It's I'm interesting for Reinhardt. We Where's saw Reinhardt? it work so well. The start. <laughs> As we can hear the Rhine voice lines, and we're going to see a Sim TP. Right, and they are point. going to gain immediate access to the point. Looks like. Worthington Kilborn was a little taken off back there for the Ryan teleport. Sim is an interesting one. Check pulling out with his team. We have not seen anyone go down yet. Check gets some healing. It looks like uh, Reynoldsburg is pulling onto the point. We see Check go into the point. Worthington Kilborn trying really hard, pushing onto the point, and kills are going down. Ace in trade administration. Both supports go yep. down for Worthington Kilborn. Yep, and we and saw as well. And they are going to. And they're going to take it. Yes. Uh, looks like we had a little bit of issue possibly with signing for what team was which earlier on, but it has been fixed now. Uh, sorry about the inconvenience there. Uh, from that, though, the game is still on. We see Reynoldsburg, of course, with the point captured. 
from there, Worthen Kilborn is back on the offensive, trying to move in here. Reinhardt has been a very tough counter for them as they keep moving in. Reinhardt taking a couple hits, his shield's going down. Reaper walking through the shield, Reinhardt is down, and Worthington Kilborn has taken the point. I didn't see too much of that fight, Logan. What did you uh, catch? Any big points? Um, I did not see anything um, that big um, besides the, the misnaming. Um, but I think here we're going to see um, it's going to be a big ball. Yeah. I mean, that is the big core of Reinhardt, is if he can get in your face, he'll take advantage of it, and we are seeing that happen. Going into Worthington Kilborn's face right now, Reynoldsburg is on the offensive, but Kilborn is able to land one of the Elims, two down, the Ryan is down, check on the offensive, taking out the Moira, a critical kill right there, taking out the Symmetra as well, and onto the Lucio. Reynoldsburg is forced off, and Worthington Kilborn will have their point again. Nice. Well done. I don't know if uh, Reynoldsburg had gotten that point for long. I believe it is back capped while Worthington Kilborn was up in the front fight. However, it did get them some points, and hopefully, Kilborn, with some luck, will be able to hold on to it at, for a little while longer. Yeah, so right now, we're just they're basically just playing a big brawl point. They are yep. sitting there, they are trying to get picks, pokes, and then um, we're going to start seeing some ults here. Oh, that could be interesting. Check going for the Moira. Moira is going to escape. Yep, looks like she is gone. Back onto point. He is running around. Looks like Worthington Kilborn is contesting here, trading kills. Oh, and then Roundsburg has taken the point back. Falling behind just a little bit by about 12%. Worthington Kilborn is going to have to get the point back if they want to keep it. This is going to be an incredibly back and forth yes. um, game, as we've seen and thought before. Um, it's already tied in yeah. the first round, and you are, it's just, it's just very retake, take, yes. retake. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, to update, I do not know where Ace was to have gotten eliminated, but Ace was out of position, and Worthington Gilborn took advantage of it. Pushing point, now a 4v5. Reynoldsburg is down both of their DPS. Bastion ults from spawn, will he be able to get it, anything with it? He is ulting, firing. Did not finish any kills. Krillburn is stressed. They are losing players. It looks like Reynoldsburg will be keeping that point. Reynoldsburg is going to keep it. And we might see um, Worthington Kilborn get the touch, but we cannot. I definitely think they can get a touch. Yes. Lucio Lucio is on point. On. Oh, oh. Lucio is going to lose his um, ultimate. Uh, I believe that is called an Ajax. Yes, I believe so. A tough one for Worthington Kilborn as Check goes down. Uh, and that would be the next DPS and support coming in there. And if we're getting an Elim, they can hold get on to it. And get picked off, but Lucio gets back. Yeah. And Lucio is going to die, and it should be... That will be the game. one for point one, Reynolds. Yes. I'm... I'm just... It's it's been so back and forth that 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 means nothing. Yeah. It it great job to Reynoldsburg. Yeah. I'm I'm not trying to downplay their their achievement for winning the first point. Yeah. But it is not won yet. Yes. It was a struggle for them to keep that point. They did very well. They're, they were on point, but it was still difficult. The Doomfist play is hard to counter into Kilborn. The problem was Kilborn kept having to run into a point captured by a Rhine. It's difficult to do. But you have to play into a Reinhardt who gets the majority of his kills on close range. It's difficult. Now we're playing into something where Doomfist has the advantage. Right now, we see Check going right out the front, followed by his full team. Going right into Reynoldsburg, who has decided to take a different route. Lucio checking around, not able to see anybody, and now the team fight starts. Looks like uh, Worthington Kilborn has taken point. Reynoldsburg will have to push in. Let's see if they will. Followed by Ramantra, it looks like the whole team is still there. Uh, Echo trying to get some off angles. Kilborn has taken some hits. Lucio, Tracer, trading those kills. And it looks like they are falling. Will they be able to keep? Check is trying their best. It does not look like that will happen. Reynoldsburg takes, looks like, first point. Reynoldsburg will win this first point. That's a tough map right there. I mean, Doomfist will play well, but they might need to start figuring out some other options here. The Reaper is going to play well into Ramatra, but the support lineup that we have for Reynoldsburg is going to last a lot longer than the Moira, sadly, for Worthington Kilborn. 
Uh, Lucio will hopefully do some extra help here, but it's all going to be a determiner. Check pushing in on Doomfist, trying to get some separation in the team. Looks like Sunzu is taking some hits. Uh, Moira will go down for Kilborn's team. It's going to be a difficult one for Lucio to take care of. Check goes down as well, and it looks like Reynoldsburg will be holding on to the point a little while longer. What do you think needs to happen, Logan? Uh, team swaps, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, it's very difficult to... Um, one of the things that I, I do in you know my comp games is we'll, we'll play it out and then we'll sit there and I'll be thinking about the match and I'll say, oh, I should have swapped. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to... One of the things um, where Lincoln Kilborn needs to do is just get those swaps. Yeah. If you don't get those, you don't win. Yeah, I completely agree with you. We saw Kiriko go down here, but it was a trade for Reaper and Lucio. It's a tough one to win from Killborn. We could see something happen from it. That will not happen, sadly. Alt's coming out on either side. It does not look like any one team will take advantage. And I believe Reaper Alt was lost on the top side. So like, Check is going to get out, but the rest of his team is dead. Yeah, that that's means true. We have... 20% left Yes, for Reynoldsburg, and maybe a touch from more than Kingdom. Definitely a touch. The question is whether or not they're going to be able to take it and keep it. We see that we have Kiriko Alt and close to Tracer as well for Reynoldsburg. It's going to be difficult to take, but it is doable. Most likely, it's going to see a Lucio Alt come out soon. Oh, taken. And they are going for it. And they are going to cap it. Well done on Worthington Kilborn's side, being able to take advantage of the multiple range right there. They went all around. Ramantra falls, and Kilborn has the point. A close match right there. 99% to 10. Will they be able to hold on to it? I can find out. I, they have the ults. They have the... Um, they, they've done it once. They can do it again. Yeah. But it, Worthington has to hold it, or they lose one point. They, yeah. They lose the game. They cannot yeah. lose the point. It'll be critical to hold on to this, and right now, it is an even match. We have two ults to two ults. Of course, they are different ones, but Lucio will provide a good counter. Check right into the back line, taking out the other Lucio. Very good pick right there. Lucio beats comes Beak. out to protect Check. Looks like Check will be Let me die here. He gets Three. out. That's four, and we will see. we will see Echo go down. Yeah, That's we will see good. the regroup for Reynoldsburg and um. They are saving ults. My guess is they're going to do five ults. Yeah. Or they'll probably at least do three. Yeah. Um, and you get three three ults, three picks. That's game. Yeah. It is entirely possible to see Reynoldsburg saving up all five ults, which is not happening here. Uh, Kiriko ults right now, followed by Ramatra and Reaper taking out the Lucio. Good pick right there for Kilborn. Will they be able to hold on to the point, though? Going rough. Kilborn has the full team. Let's we'll see. He's falling apart. Two down, but it's going to be even. Yeah. Loss of DPS, but loss of supports. Reynoldsburg will not be able to get out. And, and we oh might God. see the swap off Ramatra to try and get a touch. Maybe a ball, maybe another Doomfist. It'll have to be. But the problem is, they're running into a Doomfist with alt and people who are close. It's going to be a tough one if Reynoldsburg is going to get back on the point. They aren't even playing anyone with speed. I wouldn't be surprised if their Lucio or Echo is going to try to charge on a point really quickly. Or their tracer for that matter. And we are gonna go into overtime and we're gonna see. This is the last match. It's gonna get two on both supports. That's gonna be That's a devastating. Tough one Good trade. It looks like Killborn is holding and on. And it is going to be. Two. Doomfist is gonna have no choice here. He has we're to gonna see here. and he's gonna have to get the more is back to save Doomfist. Getting him the healing he critically needs. Kilborn is in it. Ramatra is the last one left from Reynoldsburg, followed by Lucio. And he's going to not be able to and run. We're we Kilborn is going to win. Well done, the Kilborn. Point. That is awesome. Yeah. That is. <laughs> that <laughs> and, was. Uh, <laughs> that is a uh, sigh. I, I, I did not wow. see that one coming. The Ramatra playoff point got a great into the overtime. Great win. job for Worthington Kilborn. Yeah, I mean, I did not even see that coming. I don't. It's crazy to see Suzu fall off of point as Ramatra to checks punch off and then to not be able to get back on. 
they could have won that if Lucio had beat it any sooner. It did not happen, though. And now I, we go 1-1. One, one. I think I blacked out watching that. Like, I was just enthralled. I don't even think I talked, to be honest. No, it's okay. <laughs> We're moving on from there. Again, if this map could be anyone's point now. If that doesn't tell you how close that this game will be. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very tough Should. win for either team. Looks like we are seeing some interesting picks coming out for Reynoldsburg. A Junkrat and a McCree. McCree to counter Doomfist. Junkrat? I don't know. And the Reinhardt rolling on point. We see Ace go down immediately. Kilborn is holding on tough. We lose the Moira, lose the Lucio, and lose the Rhine. It is going to most likely be in Kilborn's favor if they can handle these supports. Oh, Lucio is down. Down to just the Moira, who will be... Right is check. There down, and it's going to be Worthington Kilborn's objective. Yes, now it's going to be critical that their supports get back to them in time. Reinhardt is on the move. Reynoldsburg is coming back for their point. They won it. And we are going to see Lucio getting his team onto point right now. I am excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm awake. I'm excited. I'm ready. And we are going to get into it. Yes. Now, with the Reinhardt, I'm, I'm scared. Because since Doomfist can go around Reinhardt really well, I think... I will hold my thought. Yeah, it's going back and forth. They are trading so evenly right now. It can very much be anyone's game. We're seeing Kilborn lose people right now, and followed by Reynoldsburg. The Rhine is almost out. Rhine is gone. But Kilborn is down their supports. Can they hold on to the point? Yes, they can. The support players are bad. We're gonna see oh, just the GPS. down. Hope is going to come out, and we're going to see Check holding on for dear Check life right now. Mike get out here. Very and he needs. Oh, Check God. is going to go down. We're going to see Reaper ult. Wow. Incredible Reaper ult, but sadly not enough. Reynoldsburg is going to take it. Now, Addison, yes. how did you feel about that that uh, Reaper ult? It was incredibly well done. Uh, incredibly bad timing, though. Uh, while the two elims are very good, sadly, he play into Lucio comes, which means those players are going to be back before it's too late. Ryan goes down, though. Kilborn is keeping the thunder on, keeping the heat moving. Check goes right into their spawn, right into their faces. Kilborn's gone, or sorry, Reynoldsburg's gone. Kilborn has the point. Wow. This is incredibly back and forth. I, I use the word incredibly a lot now that I'm thinking about it. Ah, this, is back, this is back and forth. I, I've i just been sitting here watching, thinking like something's going to happen, and like it doesn't. Yeah. And we see Chet go down, but that's two ults to get him out. Now we're going to see them push in. It's going to be a 5v4, but can yep. Chet get back quick enough to where it doesn't matter? Oh, he can, definitely. The uh, Doomfist mobility here is too fast right now. And we're going to Killborn is taking the kills. They are hungry for that win. Oof, that's a tough one. Moira's out. Oof, 90%. That's 90%. a stack. That's going to hurt him. As long as Killborn holds this choke point, nobody's going to touch, and it does not look like it is going to happen. Reynoldsburg point out what they can. And no touch. And that Worthington Killborn's Killborn game is going to win the first ra or first game. Yeah, it's incredibly well done, and the closest game I've seen in a while. Last point, not so much, but up until then, it was 99 to 99. I, am, I think both of us are stunned at yep. how well this game is being played. Yeah, it's at such a high level. If you look at it. Mm -hmm. We just like neither of us come close to this level. Of game. I think I could. <laughs> sure. Maybe, but maybe. I am I was tired, and now I'm awake. Yeah, this game will definitely keep you going. It's interesting. I had originally predicted Reynoldsburg would be playing counters to Killborn's tank, and we saw that come out with Doomfist. However, Reinhardt is, sadly, a big... Uh, he can get counter pretty easily. He's, he's, he's a back... It's back... And forth. Yes. It's a very... It's a very um, Easy to play, but easy to get beat. Yes. Um, and as we see, we're going to see Worthington Kilborn's team just sitting there, the coach talking. Mm -hmm. um, let them know what they did. Um, good jobs, good jobs. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, um, Reynoldsburg knows that they're not out of the game yet. Yeah. I'm definitely interested in how Reynoldsburg is going to play counters. We saw Junker Queen come out in the end. That was what they ran as Doomfist counter originally. Uh, I hope that it'll come out in this next game. Otherwise, they're going to be in a tough streak right here. Check, as well as, I believe it was the Reaper player. I'm Flair, perhaps. Uh, they were really comboing off right there. We saw a really great Reaper play. 
then of course, as Doomfist, Check has been finishing up a lot of the kills his team is getting. Uh, from Reynoldsburg's side, though, the Reinhardt was good, but not enough into Doomfist, so we're going to have to see something else. Reynoldsburg doesn't even look frustrated. No. They just look like they're ready for the next game. Yeah. I mean, I think Control Point was the first one Reynoldsburg lost. We will be playing a... Uh, hybrid. Hybrid, yes. Hybrid is our next game. Hybrid is the next game. Um, and... That will be interesting to watch. Well, like we know last time, Reynoldsburg lost the first control point, and then they came back to 3-0 on, the, or yeah, they lost control, and then won hybrid, flashpoint, and push, I believe, which got them to that 3-1 they needed to win. It's great to see Worthington Kilborn come out in the lead right now, but they have to maintain that lead, and that is really going to depend whether or not Reynoldsburg comes back strong. All this talking's got me tired. I can't wait for another game to, <laughs> to get back. It is going to be adrenaline good. pumping. Yeah. Uh, looks like Eichenwald, I believe Worthington Kilborn will be defending first, and Reynoldsburg will be attacking. We will see what happens. Um, I'm interested in how this is going to go. I, we saw, I believe it was Worthington Kilborn had the first push uh, on this map, or was it the, or did they attack second? Do you remember? I do not recall. Um, okay. As that was hours ago. That's fair. However, I do remember it being a very good game. To yes, watch. it's always close. Uh, picking defense is interesting, especially when you're running Doomfist. That's definitely a first attack. You know what we might see? What will we see? Reynoldsburg might do the, the same TP strat again. Ooh, that would be an interesting one. I do remember them pulling that out. Yeah, I think Worthington Kilborn will know that's going to be coming, though. If you think about it, they watched some of these games. Reynoldsburg watched they some of theirs. They didn't watch the Icon game. They didn't watch it? Ooh, that would be a tough one. Then. But if you're a coach here... You're, you know, you're, you're sitting there, you're saying they did this, they did that. You're watching these games. Yeah. You're not, you're not only watching, you know, you, you know, your teams that you might win. Yeah. You're sitting there, you're watching your own team and then you're, we have it open for everyone to watch. So you're sitting there and you're watching, you're like, oh, they just did this. Okay. We know what, we know what's going on. Exactly. I will definitely like to see this in play. I mean, it was an incredibly well done uh, maneuver last time. It's an interesting strategy. You don't expect it when you play dive to get dive dove by a Rhine. Um, the SimTP allows you to get right into the back line and handle the supports, which was incredibly well done by Reynoldsburg last time. Say incredibly too. I, I do say it all the time, yes. Worthington Kilborn, I believe, will be able to respond to it. Czech is a very very quick to respond, very immediate Doomfist player. I assume they'll be able to handle it. At the same point, though, Sim really caught off guard uh, a lot of teams. I believe it was Doomfist last game. Uh, it can caught, I recall? I, believe I do know that we are starting. Yes, we, we are, are getting, getting right into the, into the game. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the map, of course, will be Eichenwald. Uh, this is a hybrid point. It's not as much of a choke point as King's Row. However, it does have a good corner that can be held very well, and I would not be surprised if each team will hold this corner right here. We are going through it right now. As you can see, we are under the bridge. This corner right here is going to be critical. It's going to be what teams are going to try to hold, as they especially go for this hybrid. Now we are starting to see the teams themselves come out. Looks like we are seeing some very interesting choices from either team. Uh, we are seeing... Worthington Kilborn playing a slight mix-up of their original comp, centered around Doomfist, of course, with a Reaper and Tracer, which is new from what I have seen. From that, we are seeing Reynoldsburg pulling out a Pharmacy, which is brand new that we haven't seen before, and wow. no Symmetra. What do you think about that, Logan? I think you are... I don't even know. I will be completely honest. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um... They are playing in the air. They're playing D.Va, they're playing Echo, they're playing Farah, they have Mercy and Geary. I mean, that's just going to be in the air. The only problem will be if, you know, both DPS are in the air, if we're going to see um, Kiri early on, because she can't do anything. Oh my gosh, you're right. The one thing that we're getting killed on hasn't been running is hit scan, and I think Reynoldsburg is trying to take advantage of that. Push them onto hit scan is going to be a struggle right here, and Pharmacy is definitely a hard one to beat. Reynoldsburg has lost some. Mercy is getting away with her life right now. Worthington Kilborn is keeping the pressure applied. Check's mobility is critical here to get into the air, to punch people down. Looks like they have healed up, and Reynoldsburg is willing to give it another go. Uh, this high ground is going to be really tough for Worthington Kilborn to beat. Uh, without the ability to use a hit scan at this point, being Reaper doesn't really do a lot of damage. Nobody really does. It's going to be critical that somebody gets up there. We have seen Flare go down. We have seen... 
Moira, as well as Tracer go down. The check has gone down too, and that is the full team. Rumblesburg is going to move on to point. That was such a fast battle. That was a very fast battle, and we're going to see Reynoldsburg get the point. Mm -hmm. I am surprised. Mm -hmm. I think I think Reynoldsburg is playing well, but I think Worthington Kilburn is playing at the next level. Yeah. They are, if, we, if you remember watching the last game at 99, retake to win the game mm -hmm. is... That's amazing. It's insane. Uh, from that, though, it's... We're seeing they're coming out with Soldier. Hitscan is new to Killboard. We have not seen a lot of Hitscan played on their team before. The question here is going to be whether or not that Soldier's able to handle the pharmacy that has been hurting his team. This is what won Reynoldsburg the first point. Looks like Mercy is down. A wonderful pick on the side of Check. Moira will be handling Ace. Ace will handle the Soldier. But from there, it looks like Worthington Kilborn will be keeping the point locked down. I uh, see the Diva try and run out, but I don't think she'll make it. I think she's going to get... No, I will eat my own words there. She's going to get um, fully healed. They're going to have a regroup, and they're going to be able to just uh, immediately come back for it. They... I think uh, Reynoldsburg has five ults. Yes. That is going to be... Probably really useful um, if, say, um, that was an interesting soldier play to watch right there. <laughs> um, Check is moving around, trying to keep the mobility, but his team is all separated. Tough to fight right there. Moira Alt coming out to try and handle the Farah, which was done. Um, Mercy going in does not look like to res the Farah though. Uh, Echo Alt comes out into a Doom Fist. Echo is diving. Looks like nothing crazy right now. Point is being moved though. Check needs to handle this fast with his team. Team comes back, looks like it's going well. Uh, Ace low, and it looks like it's gone back to just about how it started. Full health and no big picks. Beat and Kitsune both come out. Good response, I'd argue, from Flair, who was able to keep that uh, Kiriko ult, or Kitsune rush, from doing much damage. Soldier trying to handle the Echo to no avail, sadly, as the entirety of Lord of the Killborn's team begins to fall apart. You can hear the background, if you, if you can hear the background. You'll hear them screaming names like we've seen both in all the other games. They are they are picking characters and they are just screaming it. They're they're saying uh, Lucio, Lucio, Lucio. Just trying to get those, you know, your entire team to focus one character. Yeah. We saw uh Worthington Kilborn trying to pull out what Front Oldsburg did with their tracer capturing point and holding it for a bit. Did not happen, sadly. I feel like the all flying comp is just a little much for Worthington Kilborn to handle. Check and get in the air, but he can't necessarily stop a diva. Punching her back is one thing, but she can fly right over his head. Same as Far and Echo. With a it's, keeper going mercy to his lot. For Doomfist as well, because how's he gonna hit you if you're in the air? Exactly. Now Check has been able to do that. It's just difficult to see that go any further. Um, looks like he's moving up. Pharmacy is putting sure on. Wow. That well, was a great pick. Check. You see that? You, you they're already, you know, they're already down and you're just getting picks. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. We saw where the King Killborn handled the Echo, but the Echo is back. Mercy, I did not see being as useful as she turned out to be. Soldier coming out from Worthington Killborn, able to start handling the Farah. Looks like he's moving in, and a stun will push Reynoldsburg off of the point. A good hold that was needed for Killborn right now. Down, and Reynoldsburg will have to reset here. Mm -hmm. um, what are you seeing that you think is a weakness or a strength from both of these teams that you would try if it was your team oh. to to fix or to, to exploit if it's a weakness oh, to get around it to get well, weakness clearly it's it's the doomfist i mean it's not that it's bad it's that you can fly over his head check's doomfist play is on another level but the problem is when you can't get you it's tough for him and being in the air helps a lot of course with the help of his team they've been able to stop that and it looks like killborn has retaken the point and is going to keep it for a little while longer it's good to get them down this time the more time that reynoldsburg has if they get to three points is going to be the more time they have to try and hold out from Reynoldsburg, of course, the easy one is that they aren't running Doomfist back. Uh, that means they're not going to be focusing as much on mobility and simply countering. And while counters are good, constantly swapping, or what we call mystery heroes for some plays, is going to cause a lot of problems for a team that needs to keep alts. 
Uh, yeah. The problem with constantly swapping yeah. as well is you don't get ults. Yes. If you were constantly playing a character, you you uh, the most important thing in the game is an ult, right? And if you're constantly swapping characters, you don't get that. And we're actually gonna see. Ooh, and they are gonna trade characters right there. An interesting trade too. Lucio is critical, but is he that critical to the team? We will see Worthington Killborn holding on to points still. Reynoldsburg is starting to get their team back, but they did not move very far. Payload is going though. This is critical right now. The more they move Payload, the better. And Ramatra is down. That is a tough one for Ren Reynoldsburg. Now, if you're Reynoldsburg here, you're gonna try and save bolts as long as possible. Exactly. Five bolts. I mean, you can hold out as much as you can, but not. sometimes all five alts are not what's critical here. And being there, getting pushed back so far, that is a tough one. Uh, if they keep letting Worthington Killborn go over them like this, it is going to be a tough point to fight back. Although we are looking right now, we see about four alts, I'd argue, for Reynoldsburg. Oh, wait, sorry, Worthington Killborn. And about two to three for Reynoldsburg. They've been using those a little bit more um, frequently. It's, it's interesting to see. Usually the team that attacks most usually doesn't use their alts as a last ditch effort to pull them all out in the end to put enough pressure we see where the killborn soldier alt come out again lucio goes down and he is going for more will not get them and now we are seeing more come out as well where the killborn is not afraid to use more alts and that is going to punish reynoldsburg barely able to keep it out and that is again another good of reynoldsburg go down i think you need to make some swaps or you need to uh, try and do something different. Yeah, originally I was talking that Worthington Killborn needed to swap off the Doomfist and to get off of that, but uh, then the reverse now. Doomfist holding on after they've given up their flying in the close quarters combat is costing Reynoldsburg a lot and giving Killborn a lot of advantage here. He's playing in his element. Check will be able to do a lot more here than you can with flying characters. It's showing and with 10 seconds left, Reynoldsburg has to either use their alts or submit to losing point. Which I doubt they're going to do. Well, they're going to get a touch as they use uh, Lucio beat to get it. But in reality, they need a pick here. They need to do something. They can't just sit around and, and we're going to see the pick. We're going to see two picks, but it's two. It's 3-3. Um, three, three. Good and trades on either side. And he's he missed punch. That's a weak one right there. And they're going to keep pushing. And it's just going to be a back and forth until somebody dies. Yep. Looks like it's going very well. It's gonna go down. It's gonna be. They're gonna keep pushing. They've got a touch. Three meters left, and Killborn is there. Are they going to be able to keep it? Left. And you can hear them screaming in the background, trying to figure something out. We're gonna see. It's just gonna be. Wow. And well we're gonna done. see. Killborn. Killborn. It's not over yet. But. It's, I guess, a game uh, around the way. Right? It's going to be a tough one. I mean, when Reynoldsburg you, had a good hold. When you're 0. 0.5 meters away, that is devastating. That yeah. It's so annoying. It's just, you're sitting there and you're like, what could have we done? Yeah. So, originally, they got around it for a while. Yeah. But how else do you think they could get past this Doomfist? It's a tough one. We've seen a lot but I don't think we've seen what Reynoldsburg really likes to do. They like to run dive into dive. It's what worked to win them the last game. I don't know why they haven't run it yet. It looks like we are not going to see it yet. They're probably going to go harder on check right now. Check is the real key right here. If check goes uncontested, check will dominate the back line, kill the supports, and then from there, the rest of the team will wrap up. If they can start stopping check, then they're going to be able to do a lot more. The problem here is now they're the ones on defense going into a Doomfist who likes to run around your back line, which means that it's going to be even harder because they don't know where he's coming from. They don't know how he's going to get over their team. There are many ways a Doomfist can do it. So if Check gets just a slight advantage there, the whole team has to pull back to heal with, or to deal with him. Yeah, no, I uh, I agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. I think um, they're they've Check has scared them into playing Arisa. Yeah, which is bad but good. And we're gonna see the early team fight. We're gonna see how well this Arisa works. Yeah, the real key here is if Reynoldsburg can push Check back, keep him out of the back line, get play it back. Don't let him get any advantage. Don't get out of positioning here. Don't let him take advantage of anything. He's moving back, going into the back line, and this is where the advantage is gonna come out. What team can hold and what team is gonna break? And that team that's breaking is currently Reynoldsburg. 
That's a tough one right there. Kilborn has completely moved on to them. And they are going to get point almost immediately. This is what Reynoldsburg did on their last Eichenwald map. Now, if you hear clapping at weird times, that is um, Smash. That is not uh, Overwatch. I just want to put that out there that you're not like... Like, if you just hear everyone start clapping, mm. um, it's not... I'd like to think it's for Overwatch. That was a good point. It could be Overwatch, yeah, but it was just at a weird time. Of course. We are not delayed. <laughs> One critical thing, though, Reynoldsburg, running the Arisa isn't bad. It's just, I don't know what they're really trying to do anymore. It, Czech is taking some damage. There's a lot more than he was. The problem here is whether or not Reynoldsburg can actually finish the kill. Czech is escaping the problem. Right. Yes. Oh, that's an out of play for Reynoldsburg right there. Orissa in front of the whole team just trying to stand in the doorway. Okay, Check's going to go down. down. It's going to be between the DPS and supports. You're going to see Kyria and Ace go down. Yeah. Uh, is it KR? Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> and it's just going to be 1v2. Yeah, it's very interesting right now. We're seeing Reynoldsburg coming right back out. Orissa is on the front line here, hopefully learning from last game. You can't run in front of Worthington Kilborn. They're going to take advantage of it. Their communication is key. They will catch you out of position. Look at Czech right now, trying to get anybody who's going to be running away from the team. And there's what he's doing right now. In front of their face, putting them out of position. Reynoldsburg has Kiri Alt come out. Doom is running away. Right back onto point again. Looks like... Reynoldsburg was able to hold that point, I believe. Check going down, yeah. Reynoldsburg will hold. That is good for Reynoldsburg. They, they needed that hold. They need they need something to tell them, we got this. Yeah. We're, we're good. We're still there. The difference here is we're seeing that Reynoldsburg here has to have a four-minute hold. That was not what they... They were originally the ones with a six minutes to push. But now they're going down to a four-minute hold here. It's tough for them. They've got to hold out the long haul right here. And against a team such as Worthington Kilborn, that's a difficult thing to do. They take advantage of out of place. You've got to work in perfect sync to keep them from taking advantage of that. We see Visor come out, which is going to be too much Reynoldsburg to handle, sadly, as they have lost three now. Kiriko goes down, as well as Arissa. And Reynoldsburg will get team killed. Mm -hmm. And look at those swaps starting to come maybe, out. Maybe maybe we see a regroup, maybe we see a touch. I I can't speak for certain. I would see Sombra touching. Beyond that, I doubt that they're going to do too much. It. Not Tracer. I don't know why I said Tracer. Sojourn. Sojourn could as well. Looks like... Oh, no. Oh, oh let me see that. That is difficult to watch. Both supports go down, and that is a brilliant play for us. Yeah, and a brilliant play for both Lucios. As we saw, Reynoldsburg Lucio got his ult off, and the boop took rid of or took out Kilborn's Lucio, who beat it off of the map. Uh, sadly, not able to keep his team up, they quickly fell apart. And that's only going to be... I think it leaves Reynoldsburg with ult advantage right now, as no team's really close to anything yet. It's worrying to watch. My sympathies go out to Kilborn because that was a close one right there. Looks like they are moving back onto point, though, trying to get the Cassidy down. Arissa Alt comes out. Cassidy is taken Cass care of, as well as Flare. Check forced to fall back. Ace taking damage, but able to handle it. And it looks like Worthington Kilborn has to fall back again. That is... <laughs> they are doing the same thing. Reynoldsburg is doing the same thing that Kilborn did to them. Yep. They are holding them. They are just not letting them get through. Yep. And they are saying, what's up? You know, we're here. We're good. We're ready. That's a big difference. Reynoldsburg attitude has really changed in this game. We saw them really take a lot of pressure from the Doomfist, and now they're not taking it anymore. And this means Czech either has to really work to get somebody out of position, or has to rely on his Tracer and his team, which has proven difficult, as especially with all of the chaos going on in this game. It's going to be a tough one. Tracer has gone down. Who's next? Looks like Reynoldsburg is losing players. Going down fast. Worthington Kilborn has kept it. Flair is staying in it. And the whole team goes down. That is going to be a capture of point for Worthington Kilborn. Well done. And they will get another minute and 30 seconds. So it'll be a three minute hold mm -hmm. for Reynoldsburg. Now, they've held for a little bit longer. They got them down low. Reynoldsburg simply has to hold for the 67.26 meters, uh, to be exact. Now, what does that mean? Well, they did not get the three on their push, which means if they cannot stop them from getting to the end, as close as it looks, um, if they can't stop them, we'll lose the, the match. We will lose. Now, I believe matches like this can be tied if it's a very close meter percentage, but I doubt that will happen. We see the Malga swap. That is... We saw them play that originally in the... Uh, Second game? Second game? Yes. Uh, 
but I think they swapped off immediately because it was not working. So it's interesting to see it. Yes. And it's interesting to see it work. Mm hmm As we just saw in that last fight. Well, one of the big critical things we saw why Maga was swapped off was because they simply, uh, the team they're playing against, I believe New Albany, just didn't fall into the traps that Maga is used to setting up. What do you want? Maga will run into your back line, he will trap them all there, and he'll deal with them. Running into that is pretty much death for a lot of teams. But if you avoid him and don't pay him attention, he can't do anything. Yes, but um, when you're on fire, it is really hard to um, think. I'm going to stop talking again. That's A-OK. -okay. I understand what you were trying to say here. Alter coming out on either side. Baptiste, Lucio, Tracer. And it looks like a lot of them have appeared. Uh, Willardington Kilborn is keeping the pressure on. People are going down. If they can handle the monitor, they can get the point through. Lake will come out, trying to kill Ace, taking damage. He is, he's going to go down. It is a perfect trade. In theory, Wednesday the Kilborn can take this. Check will need three kills, and Reynoldsburg is coming back faster than they are. I believe that will be the end of their push. Yep. And Czech is going to go down. Mm -hmm. That is going to be really bad for um, the regroup. He's going to have to wait. Uh, it's going to be another 20 seconds before you even get the fight again. Exactly. And the use of Blade is going to be critical against Kilborn right here. We are looking at a very high alt advantage for Reynoldsburg and not in the favor of Kilborn. So what does that mean? That means Lucio's good. But... Cage, as well as Tracer Bomb and Baptiste is just better. We will see what happens. The trap he can't get them out. Genji is stuck. Moira trying to deal damage through it. It's possible it's winnable, but people are falling. It looks like they are going to pull out again. Kill more out of there. Regroup. It's going to be the third regroup. Now, with Cage out of the way, there is no more mobility stoppers, which gives Check and his team a very good chance where Killborn has a good option here. However, with Reynoldsburg having still the alt advantage, it will be a tough one. Okay, moving back in here. Oh, this is a tough one to watch. <laughs> the stress is on. All they have to do is see one fight. Genji goes down early on in the fight, which that is crucial. That is a needed pick. Ah, oh, and the Lucio stopping that would have been a critical tracer pulse right there. Our Lu the Lucio for... Killborn could alt here to keep them alive. Not going to do it yet. Oh my gosh. Wow. Good. Hold on. That is, that is, I told you it was going to be back and forth. Mm -hmm. I said it, I said it early on. I, I knew that you're, you're going to see it. You're going to, you're going to be like, either it's going to be 4-0 or it's going to be 4-3. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I said that. I think I said. Um, I thought it was originally uh, five. Games, but anyway, uh, it is. That was a great game for both teams. It yeah. Was, it's just. It's gonna be super back and forth. Yeah. That's, that's all I can say. That's all I think. Um, I still need some coffee, but. It's always back and forth with these teams. I mean, they were less than five meters away from being able to win that round. It's a tough loss for Worthington Kilborn, but it's something they're going to have to learn from. Reynoldsburg is not afraid to counter swap the Doomfist, and we're seeing that now. Now, Czech is getting away with a lot, but going into those close corners where he no longer has map advantage, he cannot take advantage of it like he used to. Against other teams, he's been able to really dominate there, and it's just not happening anymore. Well, one of the things you got to think for these um, players, along with, like, I'm, I'm going to say us, because funny but mental endurance yeah it's you they're playing these games all day right um they've been playing since eight o'clock or ten o'clock yeah um it's it's hard to do that it you're gonna start seeing worse gameplay you're gonna start it's they're they're gonna be i guess worse because they're not fresh they're not new they're, yeah they're just they're tired mm -hmm. they're, they're they're done I mean, I'm sure they're not done, but I, they're mentally just so drained. This game takes so much. You got to think about what you're doing at all times. What your exactly. teammates are doing, what you're doing, uh, alts, um, percentages. Um, you know, where where are we? Where where is our group? Where's our team? You know, it's just so mentally draining that you, you they're gonna play worse, mm -hmm. which is frustrating for a lot of teams, a lot of players. Yeah.
A lot of coaches. I mean, it is tough to watch. I mean, we were really rooting for Czech's Doomfist play to get through there, but we were also rooting for Reynoldsburg's counters, and we are seeing that come out. When Reynoldsburg has pressure applied, they are not afraid to swap off to start working against other teams. And it's coming out. Now, what, what do we need to see? We'll need to see Worthington Kilborn finally start to come out to stop Reynoldsburg. If it doesn't happen, it's doable, but the problem is you're kind of running into a wall at this point. If you're giving Reynoldsburg the ability to keep counter-picking, counter-swapping your team, and you're not doing anything and you keep running the same strategy, it'll work in some cases, and it's just really not going to work in other. Mm -hmm. And the more that Reynoldsburg is able to take advantage of those counter-swap scenarios, the worse it's going to get mentally-wise on Kilborn. When their strategy doesn't work and they keep running it all the time, it's going to get bad. Now, I think it would be a good idea to see a tank swap from Czech. I don't know what Czech plays, but I think it would be a good idea at this point to pull out a Zarya, to pull out a Junker Queen. Get... Reynoldsburg to swap to something else that doesn't counter Doomfist. Once that happens, what do you do? You go back to Doomfist. You play into that a little bit better. It's not great. Tank counter swapping is one of the worst things, and people always hate doing it. It's some of the times you will play, um, and when you're playing competitive games, you'll be sitting in spawn counter swapping. You won't even leave spawn. You'll just be like, oh, I'm going to play this character, and then they, they immediately swap, and then yep. you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to swap to this character, and then you both pick Arissa because she is albeit one of the best tanks in the game right now. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing. Reynoldsburg is not afraid to sit in the spawn and to try and swap and beat those uh, different comps that Worthington Kilborn is running. The problem here is if Worthington Kilborn is finally going to rise to that challenge and counter swap back. If we see it, it's going to work because Czech can finally tip the scale just enough to get Reynoldsburg to finally start playing into something he wants. If that doesn't happen, what we're going to see is a lot of these different teams, or specifically Reynoldsburg, is going to take advantage of that and just keep running counters. So hopefully we'll see something. Right now what we have pulled up is I believe the uh, Super Smash Bros. Regional Final. Um, and if you look in the bottom right, that is our roommate. Oh yes, I see Joey's head right there. He's looking over now. He is looking at the camera. Finding the camera. He's covered by Dublin Kaufman. Yeah. Anyway, um, in other news, um, big thank you to the sponsors. Oh, of course. I suppose it's a good time to go over that now. Uh, on behalf of Esports Ohio, we'd like to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And on behalf of Ohio University, we would like to do a quick shout out to PNC. Oh, I... There you go, I got it. PNC, which has their logo back there, as well as Lenovo, uh, for making esports possible and continuing that for here. Yeah. Uh, I know it's it's critical to always have esports, and we've talked about this before, but we always appreciate the donation and sponsorship. So yeah, we would not be here without yeah. without all three of them. PCs are expensive. It's frustrating. Oh, <laughs> Tell me about it. I've been I've been trying to buy one for two years. Yeah, um, tech should just be cheaper. I don't know why it's so expensive. You know, it's, it doesn't uh, sound it, like it's it, complicated. It's, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. D um, definitely not. <laughs> I, uh, it looks like we're just waiting, um, for, uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know who we're waiting for. coaches are talking to their teams, uh, the players are taking some breaks. I believe Reynoldsburg is, uh, talking as we see in the chat. They yeah. just need a couple minutes to just talk. Um, I believe we're watching them right now. Um, well, not anymore, but I, uh, yeah, after, after a win like that, after a loss like that, you want to sit down with your team, you want to say, guys, we did this super well, mm -hmm. but this is what we need to fix. Yeah. I, I, we, you know, these coaches, the, the co uh, we were talking to one of the coaches and he was saying um, his rank is not that good. He's not that, I mean, I don't want to say not that good. He's, his rank is lower than his players, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't, you don't need to be higher than your players. You need to communicate what they did wrong. Yeah. How... If you were the coach for um, Worthington Kilburn, how would you tell your team? What would you What would you say to them? Uh, they've got to. I don't know. It's interesting, and I feel like we're just rehashing the same thing. But you got to start. I think we talk about it a lot. We're but... talking about it. Well, I guess it's worth bringing up again. You got to get Reynoldsburg off their feet. They're used to this now. I mean, they ran it to New Albany. They probably ran it to Waverly. Doomfist counters is just going to play a counter here. Got to get them off their feet. Try something new. It's not going to, maybe not just going to work 100%, but the point is you get them to swap to something else. You get them to play something outside of their comfort zone, and then you can go right back onto what you like most. Uh, the big thing about tanks, which is something you really get into when you play comp, especially, and like you were talking about, and your DPS as well need to play into this, play into the enemy tank. What we're not seeing, we're, we're, of course, Worthington Kilborn is pouring a lot into their dive comp, which is very useful, of course. 
but if we're thinking Kilborn Polar uh, Symmetra, uh, Reaper, something to counter the Orisa on Reynoldsburg's side, that would put Reynoldsburg off a little bit. They now need to play a tank that won't let Sim play into them well. Then we get them off their feet a little bit, Doomfist gets some more free space, that's something you can work with. But if we don't put them off their feet and we keep running it into that wall right there, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. And the not going to work is going to happen more the more they keep running into these Doomfist counters and the anti-dive. Reynoldsburg is just too versatile to simply let Doomfist walk over their back line. And it looks like we're about to get into the game. Yeah. Uh, this is Suravasa. Mm -hmm. um, Flashpoint, two maps. Uh, we are going to take a tour Overwatch downtown. Overwatch 2. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite maps. I really like this map, especially as a Tracer player. Yeah. Um, and it looks like we're going to see Reynoldsburg pull out JQ. This and was something they did last time. They they did that awesome. Last time um, against... Um, please forgive me. I believe it was... Um, Might be wrong there. Uh, oh, either way, though, they, they did they pull JQ it out. Before. And, okay, it was against the Doomfist, I believe. And it and worked, it well. worked well. But so, look at this. Uh, we're in the cover. Point out the Reaper. Reaper's new. Reaper's good. It counters bigger tanks. We saw them have a lot of good Reaper plays. Both teams have that. Uh, Ace is really good on hit scan. Reaper plays well into JQ. This gives check the space. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Worthington Kilborn come out with the first point. They already have the land. They got there first. We see Reaper moving into the back line. Check holding the front. Check not playing as aggressive this time. That's good. Keep them back. It's flashpoint. The goal isn't to just take out the team. The goal is to make sure the team doesn't take your point. JQ goes down, followed by Flare and Eight. A good couple of picks right there. Good pick on Check's call. It is so back and forth. It is yes. not even funny. Check finishing up the and Moira. It looks it should like point. Worthington is going to get the point here. Mm -hmm. And this is what are we talking about? You need to put Reynoldsburg off their feet. They're not used to Reaper. They're not used to their tank getting countered. Now that they're getting their tank played into, they have to swap to stop it or they have to play into it. This gives Check his space and he's using it to his advantage. He's now in the front line, not in the back line. And it's doing so much better for their team. They're able to handle it and split him up. Look at that, JQ's playing it back. Can't even run into Check right now because they don't have a single pick and Check is in the front line. And this, like we just saw, the second you push forward, you're gonna get pushed back. Yeah, and Ace is already, that's why Ace gets picked off. Yep. Yeah. And trades back and forth, but it's in Worthington Kilborn's favor. Hopefully it will stick that way. And yep, looks like it will. And we see them all go down. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're Reynoldsburg here, Swap. Yep, uh, you there we swap. go. swap. Exactly. Now, this it's not going to work. You want to get a character yeah. that can do high amount of damage in a short amount of time. And Echo is one of the best. If, with Echo's beam, if you shoot when they're half health, it does it does a lot of damage. Yes. And that is what you need for this um, Doomfist. Well, and Echo has something that Worthington Kilborn does not have, and that is the ability to get to that high ground. Worthington Kilborn does not play hit scan. That's not their forte. Being able to play into that is good. However, Worthington Kilborn has already got one pick. That will be two. They are not going to be losing this point without a solid fight, and that is going to be theirs. Lucio will be finished up, I bet. Well done on Kilborn's side. Good first capture for Flashpoint. Definite need. Now, Flashpoint was really Reynoldsburg's favorite last time with the ability to play Junker Queen. And it looks like we're seeing Ramatra come out. They are now trying to switch it up. This is what Kilborn needs. They need the tank to get his kind of off balance there, no longer knowing how to counter the Doomfist comp. And his DPS need to swap. But if the DPS don't swap to counter, then eh, it's going to be tough. And it's going to give check the space he needs. Ramatra is not as mobile. Yeah, so we're going to actually see Ramatra push in, but he might get picked off here. We're going to see the Reaper all get two. Well that is done. Needed. Yeah, that was... That was awesome. That was really good for Worthington Kill. Well done. I do not know how to pronounce the Reaper's username. Sadly, I'm going to go Sal. I think that's a good way to do that. Um, Sal. However, Sal has Maybe. done incredibly well. Uh, the Reaper play, again, any DPS play that gets more than one Elam is incredible. Uh, definitely useful, and there was a lot of versatility out of that. Got the point lower. Was able to capture it. Checks back in, trying to back him off. Looks like we see Worthington or Reynoldsburg all the Feeds are going to come out, and we're going to see a lot of alts and a lot of alts. And from back and forth. Nobody's dead yet. Nope. We are. We're going to see the Reaper go down. Looks like the fight is sticking strong. And Check wow, hit. Check is going to go down. Yeah. We're going to maybe see Reynoldsburg cap point. 
yes. I would not be surprised if Rumblesburg does check his off of it. However, the problem here, they are going to have at least one fight on their hands to keep this point. And if Worthington Kilborn gets it, they keep it. They get the next point there. So they cannot lose this. And they only have Tracer, Ramantra, and Echo, which is actually a lot more than Worthington Kilborn. So assuming they use these alts to keep, they will most likely be able to hold on. We will see. Good shield from Ramantra up front. Noticing the Reaper is trying to flank, stopping that from happening. Check moves into the back line. Ramatra moves forward. Interesting counterplay. Trying to handle the Lucio. Check going for the Moira. Will he finish her? Yes, he will. That's good trades on active force. Both, both supports. Not yeah, both supports go down for Reynoldsburg. Probably going to see Check, check down. go down. Tough one. Reynoldsburg is good here. Now we need to see something else come out. We need to see maybe. Will. Probably take this point unless Tracer goes on to touch, which I doubt she will. Actually, Likely I not. might be wrong. Um, we might get a Doomfist to touch. It could happen. I would not be surprised. Doomfist oh, will yeah. touch here. Oh. Yes, he will. And we are going to get into a team fight. And oh, we're going to yeah. see Tracer get Tracer oh, yeah. comes out as well. We're going to see Ramon go down hills. Wow. Check is and not Reynolds happy. His point is was going lost to take that lose back. here, but they will get a regroup and probably a touch. I don't think they're going to be able to. Kilborn has 79, 80% now. It is a tough one. Tracer's going to have to die for it. If she's cut out of position, then that's going to be the end of Reynoldsburg's cap right there. She Moving will, back. Oh, yeah. she will oh, yeah. not get the touch. Uh, we saw that. I mean, not to say I called it, but when you're running in you there as Tracer, it's a tough one. You did call it. Um, um, another point for Kilborn. Uh, yeah. Uh, still very back and forth. I know um, Kilborn is up by two, but it's it's back and forth. Yeah, Reynoldsburg is having a struggle bus with uh, struggle bus. Sorry, poor use of term. Reynoldsburg is struggling to keep these points. They're getting them second, and then after that, they now need to hold onto it as loss of alts. This is great for Kilborn because keeping the point first means you can fall back, you can save your alts, you don't have to worry about it. And as long as they do that, they're fine. Reynoldsburg gets point first. It's going to be a tough one. Reaper goes down. A good trade. We're seeing Moira come out as well. Not able to get anything. Team yeah, kind of here. The coalescence, but... Um, Great coalescence. Yeah. Moira's going down. Um, we're going to see Lucio get, go down here, and we're going to maybe see... We see both supports down for Reynoldsburg. Yes. Can they get anything? Nope. And we see Ramacha go down. It's going to go to Worthington. Yeah, looks like Kilborn has the point again. If last point is anything for this, they'll hold on to it to about 70%. Maybe lose it. Reynoldsburg's going to have to really fight for this one. It is going to be tough. Reynoldsburg's in a bad spot. This is the final point for them. If they lose this, that's game. If they win it, it's good, but they still got to keep going and playing like it's final. Alts are going to come out. It's going to be difficult, but if they can win it, they can stay in it. We're just going to see a little bit of a brawl team fight here. See if we can get a pick. See if anything happens. We see Tracer out come out. But it's not going to kill anything. We're going to see Reaper go down and Lucio go down for... Uh, and Reynoldsburg looks like they will win this point. Yes. All by check. And yep, right around 70%. This happened last time. Kilborn has all... Oh, no, not even alt advantage. I, this might be Reynoldsburg point right now. It's a four to probably two. And it's going to be interesting. Reynoldsburg definitely has the ability to hold on to this point and to keep it. It's going to be big dependent on whether or not they can get some early picks on the people who have alts here. Being their whole team's probably going to have it from Reynoldsburg part. Beat comes out from Reynoldsburg, keeping them going. Oh, it looks like they're trying to finish off the Echo. Echo will go down. Ramatra alt comes out as well, finishing two, three, two left on Kilborn's side. Will they be able to stop it? Moira goes down, and it's it's all up to Doom. Mm -hmm. And Doom will go down, and I'm going to guess they get another touch as they did last time. Yes. Um, very mobile characters. Check is a very mobile tank. Yeah. Um, they might get a touch. They might honestly leave it. We will see. I would like to see Worthington Kilborn push this. It's tough. I mean, we have now seen Reynoldsburg use every alt they had to keep this point. Check has alt. A couple others are going to get it soon. Oh, here we go. Echo pulling out Doomfist. Let's see what happens here. Able to handle the first. Uh, it's two to one right now. Can they keep it? That's the real question right here. Check will be alting to keep point. Moira almost goes down. Does not, though. 
That's a tough one. Rebelsburg still has the team player advantage right now. If they can just get a couple, they'll be able to hold on. Check has handled one and two. Ooh, moving down. on. Ramatra's left. Kilborn has the advantage here. Just Ramatra. She goes he goes down. Just Lucio now. Can Lucio hold on? And the answer is no. And Worthington Kilborn is gonna retake. However, they still have another fight. They Reynolds Reynoldsburg has another fight. I, I feel like it might be a very similar to second point. Tracer's going to run on, maybe get caught out of position, and then Kilborn will keep it. I don't know for sure, but Tracer has to touch it, otherwise she will lose it. They have noticed her. She will probably get caught in time. Runs on. She does take the keep touch, it. so it will go into overtime. Goes into overtime, and it is a complete team fight. And both supports go down for Worthington Kilborn. That's a tough one right there. And we see oh, Reaper's Reaper down, Reaper down. That is... That uh, that ult would have saved them the game, and it's just check, and he is going to go down, and it is going to. I think maybe Lucio or Tr no nope. Moira. Oh no, my mistake. And yeah, Reynoldsburg got their point. <laughs> Reynoldsburg is going to take the round. Yeah, not rounds. Now Forgive to remind me. what's going to happen. Reynoldsburg starts to play it like it's the last point because it is for them. Kilborn has one more point they can fall back on, but it's not a good idea to just keep saving alts. They've got to get a point and they got to hold on to it. Reynoldsburg is really pushing. They're playing aggressive and they're catching them off guard. These fights are brawly. It's tough to beat that. Check needs to get some type of positioning and cancel that so that way his team can take advantage of it. We'll see if he can get around. Moira comes out for Kilborn's side. Check goes down. Marwa goes down two. Kilborn is out of this fight for now. Looks like Reynoldsburg will get the point first. Now again, it was a great play. Great play. Reynoldsburg has alt advantage again, which was what we saw last point. If it comes out like this again, it's going to be really tough for Kilborn to get this. If, I, if it was me, I don't want to say throw it away, but try to bait out as many of Reynoldsburg's alt as you possibly can, and then use your alt advantage next point to try and keep it. It's a tough one, but this fight is definitely going to be a loss if Reynoldsburg decides to fully commit to it. We will see what happens. I think... Oh, Lucio, see, down. Lucio goes down... And is committee it's five, and now both support. Uh, ugh. Oh, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. No, we have, we have supports both down. Yeah. And, um, it looks like it's gonna go to Worthington Kilborn. Now well done for Kilborn. That's definitely interesting. Reynolds now, overly committed. We are going to see the Malga switch mm -hmm. from Reynoldsburg. They played it earlier. They did it well. Yeah. And we'll uh, we're gonna have to see what happens. I could definitely see it working. It ran into Doomfist. Well, the problem here is, again, Reynoldsburg has to play it like it's the last point. Kilburn does not, which means they have the ability to fall back and not overcommit, while Reynoldsburg has to commit to every fight like it is the last. Now, if they win this, they'll, of course, get a second point, and then it's very stressful for them to Kilburn. They, I bet they do not want. Maga playing well. The full team for Kilburn will go down, and that's going to be Reynoldsburg's point again. Now, one of the things I have was thinking about is every time Echo copies Doom, yeah. they win. Yeah. I would not say it's because Ace plays Doom better. I would say because it's basically a sixth character. Uh, by getting alt fast, Echo's Doom copy alt is fairly good. It's tough to do. They're full charging check, but they're not afraid to anymore. Magus does a lot of to initiate the fight, and we are going to have an overtime fight. Looks like a lot is going out. Reaper comes out again. Able to finish the kill. Well done, Reaper. Looks like Kilborn is going to have an easy... Uh, not easy, but a simpler fight for them. Tra it's a tracer. Point. Oh. Oh. That's tough. Reynoldsburg is going to get their second. Now it is going to be the last point. Winner takes all. Well, not of the game, but of the... Eh. This is a critical map you want to win. With Reynoldsburg's ability to play solidly on these point carry, Kilborn needs to take advantage of the maps that have more mobility. This is what's going to favor Doomfist. They're on there first. They have some alts. The other team does not. They need to keep this point, make sure they have it, and then not give it away. This is the last point. Kilborn's been able to play it safe. They were able to lose some points up until now. They cannot. If you lose this, game over. Well, not really, but match over at least. It's over. Yeah. Well, time to game. Um, and we're going to see Moira and Reaper both go down. Yeah. Looks like, well, Moira's going to be more critical to Reynoldsburg. Reynoldsburg taking some damage. 
trying to finish check, not happening, taking damage, and MAGA is out of there. Kilborn has lost the point at... Oh, no, they got... Sorry, flip the colors. Kilborn has the point. Tracer is out, and they are going to keep it. Well played by Check being able to take the MAGA out with ult, and then the Tracer afterwards, a solid hold on his body. I would like to mention that it is very hard to know which team is which when they switch back and forth yes. between red and blue every single game. Yeah, it is very difficult. Each team, of course, gets the choice of whether or not they'll attack and defend on certain maps, and of course, that sticks for a certain enough for others. Um, MAGA is taken down right off the bat. Well done, Killborn. Looks like they have lost Moira, but taken a Moira. Will they be able to hold on? It looks like Reynoldsburg is pulling back. Very yeah, interesting. We right see here. three ults for Reynoldsburg, but we will not see any for um, Worthington Kilborn. Mm -hmm. That is going to be um, scary. For but you got to think about this. They're going to have four for Reynoldsburg. They're going to probably dump into this fight. They need to win this. They cannot lose this point. We see one coming out. Will we see the other three? Immediately. Wow. Immediate denial of the ult. Two ults come out. Three ults come out. We're gonna have a glitch. With Four all ults are there. Cannot use the Lucio. Check has taken out. Uh, check with no support. That's gonna be a tough one. Kilborn will be pulling out of there. Reynoldsburg gets the point. Now look at the difference here. The only, the only ult they did not use was Lucio. Yeah. Which well, is going to be needed. Lucio was dead Four. during that fight when he got it. Four. But, but it's going to be needed to counter their ults. Of course. Well, the good thing we have for Kilborn, they have Lucio, they have Tracer, they're going to have Reaper, and they'll probably have Doom. Now it's just a reverse. If they can use their four ults to get the point back, they win. If they can't, it's going to be tough. But they have the ability to use them. And Reynoldsburg does not have the ability to counter. They only have Lucio. Made out Lucio, you win the point. You're going to see Moira go down. Well done, Lucio. Beat right there. Able to keep them off. Get them moving. We see beat pull, we also see Reaper all, and Reaper's gonna go down. Yep. We're gonna see Maga comes down too. Killborn is back on the point. A needed victory and right we there. See. Tracer will try to tra touch. I would well see done. check right there. And that will be a win for Killborn. Game. Now it's gonna be 2 1 for Wellington Killborn. Yeah. And, um,. Back and forth as always. Yeah. It's it's really really um, stressful. Yeah. I guess the stress is, is the high right that, here. Is the way to describe it. Let's see this play really quickly. Oh, yep. This was early game, of course. What we're seeing coming out. Check takes advantage of the side ground. He's able to finish those kills, and they are just not able to move out of his range, which definitely works in his favor. Of course, this will now put us with Worthington Kilborn two to Reynoldsburg one. This is a good advantage to have. Now you have the ability to lose a game but not necessarily be behind now that's not something more than the killborn wants to do but they've definitely set reynoldsburg off their feet and that was a need right there what do you think what do you see logan saw a lot mm -hmm. um i think doomfist is uh one of the best like i think check playing doomfist it's it is like a gift but also of course yeah it's awesome it's really good mm -hmm. but you he he's like the best or he's, you know, um, I don't, not the worst. I don't want to say the worst. That's not the um, word. It would be more of like a struggle, a struggle, like a down, yeah. the down fair, because it's like almost um, like the crack. Yeah. Um, right. You know, because if you can't get around, if you can get around the Doomfist, they lose. But yeah. If you can't get around the Doomfist, which check makes it really hard to not be able to get around the Doomfist. Exactly. But if they can, they, they uh, run for a Exactly. Well, I think we also saw here, Reynoldsburg was playing versatile, and it was working, but it was very 50-50 game. It could have been anybody's match right there. The one thing I'll give Reynoldsburg, though, Junker Queen played well, Ramatra played well, but the problem is when they're letting Check get around their back line, it's a struggle, and we're seeing that happen a lot. What finally happened, though, is we saw Worthington Kilborn finally say, hey, we're going to start countering their tank. We put pressure on to Sun Tzu, I believe, uh, put pressure onto them. Now, with the pressure on that tank, the tank is no longer going to keep trying to counter Doomfist. Tank is worried about other things. Now, Check is in the back line. Check is able to do what they do best. Take care of the supports, get them out of position, his team cleans up. That's happened every fight. They've used their alls to that advantage. They've been able to work really well with that. Reynoldsburg, of course, plays the same back. Counter Doomfist, stop him from moving. Make sure he doesn't get the advantage of being in the back line. Sadly, that's just not working out for them, and it didn't work out for them last yes. match. What do you think we need to see from Reynoldsburg to stop this uh, Doomfist play? 
it it's very not it's very positional. Yeah. It's less counter picking. Mm-hmm. Um, we've seen a lot of characters, we've seen a lot of tanks specifically that can counter the Doomfist, but it's so positional that it doesn't matter the tank they play mm-hmm. as much as it matters how they play yeah. the other characters and around it. Yeah. Right. Along with the map. I think the map is a big thing. Map was critical here. Uh, I think it's good to note that right now, Worthington Kilburn has one on the maps, they have one on control, then they've won on Flashpoint. Now, I wouldn't argue Control is as mobile as Flashpoint is, but they've been able to move around and really hold those points. But they lost on Hybrid. They lost that Control point really quickly in the beginning, and then they were also pushed in on and stopped by Reynoldsburg. It's yeah. definitely interesting. I'm surprised that that happened, because you think with Doomfist you can have that mobility, but they play as a team. I think they win on the maps where you play as a team to really control it. When you're on push and you leave a teammate behind, maybe push the payload, stuff like that, they don't play as well. They need all five members. Now, of course, our next map, which will be, uh, sorry, New Queen Street. Yes, push. We've, um, yes, moving on to push. Sorry, I think I was saying, I said hybrid earlier, right? Did I say push? I said, I don't know. I, I don't think I might have mixed it up there. But I think you need was, another cup of coffee. Probably earlier was hybrid. <laughs> now we are going on to push. What does that mean? We're going to be looking. It appears to be New Queen Street. Now push is going to be either great for Doomfist or it's not going to be good at all. Uh, again, we are going down to a point where they need to move the object. What does that mean? Sometimes a teammate's left behind, maybe two. What does this mean for Czech? He's not going to have his full team to support him when he dives that back line. He needs to do it himself. And that's a struggle for Doomfist players, especially when you run into this anti-Doom comp. If Reynoldsburg is able to handle Czech, his team will fall apart. They don't have him anymore. Reynoldsburg yeah. is good operating around point. They don't lead it. Czech has to lead it. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, agreed, yes. It's, it's going to be... I, I I would basically say what you said again, but yeah. I will... also think that the DPS are going to be needed very yeah. a lot. Uh, DPS changes um, negates um, they they take away twenty percent of healing. Yeah, um, which is just brutal. If you're a tank and you get shot once and you lose twenty percent of healing, that means you're just you're going to not be able to sustain yourself especially if you're a character that relies on heavy you know tanking of damage like malga or roadhog yeah dps here is crucial i know we haven't put as much of a highlight on them i know we've really highlighted checks gameplay as well as sun Tzu's, but the dps gameplay into this has been very good we've seen a lot of great reaper plays a lot of great soldier plays coming from worthington kilborn and in reynoldsburg of course ace is uh, ace's hit scan is incredible uh their use of Sojourn, which isn't, it's half and half hit scan. Um, they, it has been incredible. Ace is really a key player right here. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, but you know what? My adrenaline is pumping. I'm yeah. ready for this game. The games have been amazing so far. Of course. Um, not only these teams, but every team. Um, it's just been, it's been so fun to watch and so fun to commentate. And yeah. I'm, um, I think thank everyone for being here. Yeah. Um we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep keep talking, I guess. And uh we're about to get into the game here soon. Yes. So we are gonna keep chugging. Of course, this will go on to four, so you gotta stay in a little while longer, Logan, but we will keep going. New Queen Street will be starting. Hopefully we'll get a little downtown view of Toronto for you. We will see if that happens or not. I was uh, in Canada the other day. Yeah, that's true, you were. Was it a fun trip? It was a fun trip. It was very, very fun. Canadian money in my wallet right now. That's awesome. Um, if you are seeing um, where we were just watching the teams and we're into the game, uh, you see the hockey. <laughs> yeah, moving around a little bit on the map right now, just showing you some of the stuff that's going on. Of course, push is going to be very critical for either team. You will be moving the robot and his little blockade all across the map. The goal, of course, is to get it to the enemy's forefront of spawn, where you'll be able to finish and win. The game will give you about 10 minutes to do this, which is going to be either really good or really bad. It's hard to push either way, and if a team takes an early lead, it's tough to get it back. Uh, looks like team comp-wise, we are seeing something back to the basics that we saw on hybrid for Reynoldsburg, and Kilborn seems to be taking off a hybrid positioning too, with their Genji back on the team. What do you think about that, Logan? Yeah, so I think the Genji is going to be really um, good diving with the Doomfist, mm-hmm. uh, along with um, both the Tracer and the Lucio. And, you know, their entire team is very, I guess, damage heavy, along with being 
very mobile. Um, if you look at Reynoldsburg, though, they're very anchory. They, they sit around. And besides the Tracer, they're very good at, you know, playing. They just have to play together. Yeah. I definitely agree with you on that one. We are seeing right now Czech really handling the Orisa, moving really fast, moving around. And he's backing up right now, was not able to get any more for Power Punch. Looks like his team is working with him here. This first fight is going to be good for Worthington Kilborn, but beyond that, they've got to hold the robot. And that's the difference here. They can't move everyone out, which means that they will take hits if they don't have their full team together. Seems they have noticed that, though, and they are staying fully on the robot. A tactic I was really attributing to Reynoldsburg there. Yeah. Here's right um, now. We're just kind of watching the team fight, trying to see what happens, mm -hmm. what's going on, and we see the Tracer get picked off um, for Worthington Kilborn. That has happened early every time. Tracer generally goes down first on either side for that. And check is see being check punished. Check goes down. Um, that means more likely than not, this is going to go to... Um, Looks like it should go to Reynoldsburg, but... Oh my gosh, that's going to be down. Yeah. Her tank. I was... I was trying not to say something wrong there. Mm -hmm. um, um, as in gameplay-wise. And... Uh, we're gonna keep seeing just picks after picks. It's yeah. Brendelsburg is moving right now. They got the robot back. It's what we were talking about earlier. Check needs to stay with this team. He takes advantage from having that five sec. Their communication is really their strong suit here. By staying together, they play well together. But by taking that off angle and trying to get picks, Check can get punished for that. We saw that earlier. Now, hopefully, they'll be able to hold on here. It looks like we saw Genji go down to Kiriko. Sadly, but Brendelsburg is getting punished right now. Check is two. Looks like we saw both DPS go down for Florida Killborn. Looks like they're going to have to pull out now, unless they want to choose to fight that. Which they will not. They pull out, getting some pressure, but Reynoldsburg is not pushing their advantage right now. Not going to test the luck. You can see Check trying to bait in uh, some damage for the block and try and get a charge punch, but mm -hmm. um, they're not doing it anymore. You know? It's, uh... We see Echo actually, wow, what a punch on the Lucio from yeah. the Echo. Uh, Doomfist. Check coming in to save his Lucio, who sadly went down later. It looks like we are seeing a very competitive fight right now. Kiriko ult has come out. Uh, Echo's ult has come out. A lot of them have. Tracer came out as well. Reynoldsburg is running. Check is still in it to win it. Although the point is still getting pushed. They've got to fall back a little bit. They have everybody there. Um, yeah. They just need to regroup, and they do do it. Um, and uh, we're about to see another team fight here. Yeah. As you can see, Reynoldsburg has captured, or not captured, sorry, moved further than more than the Killborn has. That means they have to push all the way back to the other side and get their bot moving. Every meter you lose is another couple of seconds that you're going to have to have on your side here. Are they going to let... Reynoldsburg have the forward point, though. I do not believe so. Worthington Kilborn is putting all they can into it. Sadly, they, they will get forward spawn. Very critical thing for Reynoldsburg. They've used that very much when they were in their own personal flashpoint mode. Looks like it's trades on either side. Uh, looks like Worthington Kilborn is moving the robot back, so they were able to hold on to it. But with forward spawn, we will see... My, but forward spawn, we will see um, them regroup early, and you will see a fight before they even start pushing. Yes. Uh, forward spawn is critical for Reynoldsburg's strategy. They are a team that doesn't move a lot. That means that if they can spawn in early, they're going to be able to take advantage early, and they're punishing them for that. Uh, Worthington Killborn taking some damage and taking some hits. A trade with Soldier and Ace. A very good one for Worthington Killborn, but will they able to be able to move it? They will lose Moira. That's a critical one right there. Check is getting punished right now. Running away or perhaps aggroing. Looks like the reverse. Going for the Kiriko. Kiriko is down. Beautiful pick from Check right there. Going for the Lucio. Will he be able to finish the kill? The answer is yes with help from Tracer. Sunzu, the only one left, will die as well as... And they might the Tracer. be able to get a regroup before they lose... Um, the lead, but we will see. But they will get a sort of stall here with the yes. forward bot. Uh, the forward um, spawn. The bot has to stop. Yeah. If I was Reynoldsburg right now, you gotta stop them from getting forward spawn. That's gonna give Check way too much of an advantage. We see Soldier coming out already with one kill, taking advantage, going for the Arisa next. 
Are they gonna get forward spawn? Yes, they are. Down here. Now, and now it is technically tied. Yes, technically. However, since Reynoldsburg got that capture point first, we do need to see Worthington move at least a .01 meter forward to be able to take the lead back, which they have. A tough fight right there. A lot of alts used. Reynoldsburg is not going to take too much to get this back, and they have high ground. Kiriko comes out as well as Echo. The Doomfist play again. What will we see happening? Oh, they've lost Lucio and a trade for Moira. Now, something I just saw, I'll wait for this team fight to finish before I say anything. Something I just saw check do that I recently learned is if you are in block and you look down, yeah. you bait headshots. And that actually increases the amount of uh, damage that you block, which gives you charge punch faster. I, I learned no that about the, that. I learned that the other day. Mm -hmm. I think that is really interesting. Yeah. Looks like Reynoldsburg is still holding out right now. Kilborn is not willing to give the point up. Three left, now two. The trades are going. They will keep forward spawn, and it's going to be critical. Moving back up. Points moving a little bit. 71 to 57 is still w winning. That's good right there. Wolfsburg has to push the point all the way around. Moira is getting finished right now. Uh, will she die? Probably not, it looks like. Check was back in time. Oh, there she goes. I believe Check will probably pull out and wait for his team. What do you think about the team comps right now? Any changes you could make? I think that it is since it's very back and forth and Arissa doesn't have, Arissa has all you they shouldn't change anything right now. They should okay. just hope for fights, try and get picks and see what happens. Okay. I think that Wow. I think that Check might get the pick on Kiri here. Check is and not letting Kiriko get away. Undy wow. down. That will be a win. See, Newborn. Team kill. It's good for check right now. Get that forward spawn again. Make sure you can get back to your team quickly, and they're going to be doing a lot. Reynoldsburg played this really well against them. However, they're now starting to have that played into them. We see Diva come out and Genji as well. Looks like a counter to that soldier. Not tomorrow, though. It'll be difficult. Cripple. Rifle? I don't know how we said it last time. Diva diving the back line. Looks like she's getting punished for it. Will she make it out? She will not. And that was Smash Bros. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, they they were passionate about the gameplay right there. From that, it looks like Kilborn is going to take the advantage here, keeping the robot moving. Now, as you can see, the further this gets away, I mean, one second a meter, think about that. That means right now it would take a full minute for Reynoldsburg to be able to get back just to where Worthington Kilborn is. With only two minutes left on the clock and another long hold, I don't know if they're going to be able to get that. It's going to be a tough fight. Ace trying to get some picks here. Not seeing anything crazy. Uzu is having some struggles on D.Va. Able to take out the Moira. What are we going to see next? Ace going for Tracer. Letting Tracer get away. Trying to pick for Soldier now. Looks like Reynoldsburg has control of the robot. Tough fought though. A minute 33 left. Reynoldsburg needs to keep the robot if they want to get close in range by the time overtime hits. They're punishing right now. Killborn has to fall back. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of mem mesmerized by this game. Uh, this is a lot faster and a lot more uh, different than my games that I usually play. And it's really with a minute left, you're with a minute left, you are really just we're gonna see Diva ult not get anybody. And with a minute left, you are just gonna try and regroup, get a push, hope for time, and see what happens. Looks like Reynoldsburg has been finished. 50 seconds left, and they're pushing the bot again. That's going to be tough for Reynoldsburg to try and get back. I think Kilborn is really taking advantage. Diva's just not playing as well in the Doomfist as we thought it was. Or as they thought it was. Interesting you to see this happen. background. Um, Smash Bros. Um, I had some excitement from the Smash Bros. Uh, somebody just won. Yep. And, Going from there. Uh, photos. So. While that's happening, we will be finishing this game up, and we're going to see what happens. Looks like Killborn now coming out. Hopefully on top. 20 seconds left. The fight is fierce. Check's taking advantage, and we're seeing Ramatra going down. Oh, 
good competition right here. We're seeing Blade coming out as well. Lucio as well. Check getting lots of kills. We're seeing Wrecking Ball coming out. Rundlesburg looks like an act of, not to say desperation, but an attempt to try and keep point. Soldier will be going down next. And then it looks like the fight is going strong. Kilborn has kept the point in overtime. Reynoldsburg is moving back up on them. One person left, now to two. Will they be able to do anything else? It looks like a, there will be no, with Worthington Kilborn getting the next point. Well done. Worthington Kilborn is going to win. And mm. if I could ask nicely for talk back, if somebody can hear me, because I cannot hear uh, Addison talking. Anyway, um, yeah, I think uh, it was a great game. Yeah. I'm. Um, I don't know. I don't know the best way to describe it. Do you have an idea, Addison? It was really close. I mean, we were seeing Reynoldsburg coming out early on, and it was definitely useful. I mean, they had a lot of lead. The problem is here, we're seeing Worthington Kilborn really in their element. The movement, they finally got it down. And then they pushed that robot back, and they took advantage of it. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's just, I guess, one of those things it's not a composition problem. It's not a problem with... Um, it's not a composition problem. It's a problem just with um, teamwork, and it, it's not. I I don't know the way to describe it the best. Um, I just take take it away. I <laughs> I will take it a little bit. Right now we have, of course, uh, the Smash Bros. trophies coming out right behind us. But uh, to go on to what the game happened. Uh, currently, of course, we saw Czech really taking advantage of the Doomfist mobility. I mean, he was going in there, he was taking a lot of advantage. Uh, we saw Salva, uh, I guess Salva, maybe Sal, uh, DPS, of course, going in there really, really well. Uh, we saw from Ryan, uh, the Moira player, <laughs> they were doing really, really well, getting that damage in there, getting that healing as well. From there, of course, Flare was doing really well on UCL, and Citrus Galaxy, of course, was taking just as good, uh, doing just as well. From Reynoldsburg, of course, we saw a lot coming out there. We saw the Orisa playing very well. We saw a lot of different players coming out. Uh, with Sun Tzu, the tank play was also very solid. They switched up a lot. Diva was not the best choice there, sadly, but throughout the entire game, they were doing very well. Ace, of course, with the DPS play was very strong. And then we brought out a lot of others too. Reynoldsburg is still in this. This is not a loss yet. The difference here, all. though, is whether or not Reynoldsburg is going to be able to start switching up and truly countering Doomfist. When they get Worthington Kilborn off of their feet and they start countering the Doomfist, they win. It's just whether or not we're going to be able to see that happen. Yeah, no, it's just... It's all about getting around the Doomfist. Yes. Yes. You don't want to play too close, but you can't play too far away. It's it, positioning is vital. Yeah. I mean, positioning is always vital for any team comp right here. What we're going to be seeing, though, is assuming. What is the next map? Do you know by any chance? Um, It will be a. Is it Escort or is it Control? It will be an Escort. Escort. Okay. I believe. Wait, wait what do we just play? We play Push. Flashpoint. Escort. Push. Escort's next. And then. Yes. And then after I Control. That, control. Um, yeah. If it's that. If they recycle it. Okay. So if you hear the background. Yeah. You'll hear a lot of people, and this couldn't be possible without the sponsor. Yeah, of course. Sponsors. We will go into that while we're on a quick little break here, a little respite. Uh, we would like, for, on behalf of Esports Ohio, to thank the National Guard for their sponsorship. And on behalf of Ohio University, we'd like to thank PNC and Lenovo for their continued support and making Esports possible here. Uh, one other quick thing. We are looking at the push map right now. Or stop, push, escort. My mistake. It looks like we are going to be seeing Havana. Definitely an interesting choice right now. Havana is, of course, a very good map for Escort, uh, specifically Doom. Uh, if we look at that, there's a lot of open space, and Doom has a lot of high ground he can use. I'm interested to see how Czech will come into this. However, there is some counters as well. Uh, Sunzu will be able to play a lot more openly. That means Doomfist can be stopped a little bit better. If you play something like Roadhog, you can grab him in your backline. Your team has the ability to spread out as well as clench up. Uh, and you can also get into different high ground. Check likes to dive the backline and split them up when they're grouped. Now take that and put them onto high ground. Put them onto a second story building. Put them in smaller rooms. Check now needs to choose who he dives. If you play mobile enough, you can just leave. Think about that. Dive your Kiriko as Doomfist. Kiriko teleports away. Moira fades away. Uh, play that with different characters. You're going to see a lot of different things happening. It's going to be key for Reynoldsburg to be able to take advantage of that point and use it to their advantage. Check, on the other hand, will need to realize that they're going to be trying to play more separated or perhaps closer together. It's really anyone's game right now, and it only depends oh. on how Reynoldsburg is going to play into this deal. 100%. Yeah, no, it's... Um, 
Wow, I mean, Wow Wellington, um, Kilborn needs one more to win. Yeah. Reynoldsburg is not out of it. No. At all. You know, it, two games for this team is just going to be, I don't want to say, it's not going to be a walk in the park, but if you play it right, if they understand, if they find how to win and they just keep doing it, they're going to do it. Yeah. It's, there's not much you can do unless they swap off Doomfist. There's not much you can do once you get countered. Yeah. Uh, in, a, in a reasonable way. I mean, it's it, it's all dependent. I mean, we are going to see how this happens. More than to kill Born, it's like on Flashpoint. They're just one away. It's perfectly winnable for them. They, are, they have it in their sights. The trophy is right there. They can almost touch it. Now, with Reynoldsburg, it's a little bit further away. However, they still won to three. They got the point, and Reynoldsburg did win last year. They can push this back out if they can stop Doomfist. They just need to stop it. Stop the push. Stop Killborn being in your back line. You're going to go from there. It's just all dependent on that. I mean, you can't really say one team is truly better than the other. It's always been so close. We just need to start seeing Reynoldsburg getting more of that favor. Now, they won on hybrid. Push maps are good for them. Or, sorry, escort maps are good for them. Play into that escort. Play around your payload. Force check to come to you. He comes to you. You take care of him. You push him back. By making him move around and use his abilities to flee from taking damage, you're going to be able to deal with the back ones. So hopefully we'll see that from there. Yeah. Um, as we see, we can see both teams just, you know, talking, figuring it out. Figuring out, like, what to do and um, how to do it, you know. Yeah. And you... Uh, you can probably hear a lot of background talk, and um, part of that is Smash, and part of that is you know Overwatch trying to figure out w what they need to get done. You know? Yeah, uh, we will see from there. It looks like Wil Worthington Kilborn is choosing the attack here, which means Reynoldsburg will be on defense. This is very key. Um, usually, a team that's choosing the attack is assuming that they'll need to push it. They're assuming the other team will be good on defense. So we will see from there. Yeah. And now the crowd is cleared up, perhaps rebound can turn off as well. Hopefully. Yeah, um, we'll see from there. Uh, yeah. From there, though, I am excited to see what will happen. Yeah, and um, while we're sitting here, uh, anything cool you want to talk about? Just anything in life? Any, any, oh, we've got some time. Uh, we're going to get into the other game. I'm excited for it, though. Havana hasn't got a lot of updates. It's pretty much the same map as always been. So it's going to be interesting to see how this push goes. That's cool. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. You're getting tired too. I'm getting tired, but the problem is, I think push because you're pushing the payload, right? It's just so hard for me to separate that between escort, where you're escorting the payload. It just—it's the same thing in my mind, but it's two separate things. So it's killing me. It's for the it. same thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Uh, I tend to like when I'm playing competitive and stuff. I'm sitting there and I'm like, wait, we we have to cap? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can't just we just can't push. Okay, we had to go with change. By the way, I don't want to interrupt you, uh, but we have moved to Route 66. It looks, it looks like. I just, I was gonna say that. Oh, I'm sorry. I still <laughs> under. Um, yeah, if you're tuning in. Uh, what is this? This is the Esports Ohio Regional Thank Final. You. Oh my God. Yeah. You're giving me stuff. I'm not getting it. I'm too tired for that, Logan. Come on. I'm like, I'm shooting and you're just not like catching. Yeah, I'm not catching anything. <laughs> this is whatever. why I don't play basketball. I play Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, you don't catch it. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to laugh from something. Like, that was good. That's about as good as our Smash commentary. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, you were, uh, I guess Grace uh, and listened to our Smash commentary. Mm -hmm. um, we, we did. And it was... Awesome. Yeah. I was super happy with it. I think we did really well. Uh, of course, they need to put us on there full time. Uh, Agreed. I have no idea. We had Mr. Game & Watch, Snake, and like Bowser, and a Pokemon. And we, I called him Robot. It was Robot, yeah. Rob. <laughs> uh, Rob and Robot are the same thing. And it's just missing two letters. Yes. Uh, one quick thing before we get into this game. Now the sound in the background has died out. If the rebound can die off as well. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. comment beyond that. Okay. Talk about guess. Um, yeah. Uh, I have nothing else. We're just, I guess, we're just waiting to get into the game, mm -hmm. figuring out. Um, you know, yeah. Much uh, else? Well, I mean, we're getting tired up here. I'm sure the. Uh, I am not tired. I'm excited for Overwatch. I'm we sure that I'm sure the players are getting tired. Um, I think that's something we should be talking about. Is yes. 
the um, mental like exhaustion is such a big thing in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at it, it, it they could play seven games. Yeah. There could be there could be th- three more games. Yeah. And at the end of that, you're sitting there and you're like, I don't want to play anymore. I'm just tired. I don't. You know. You figure it, it out. It's just it's just such a big thing. It and looks like we're Astro- moving into Route 66, not to cut you off. Uh, pretty soon we will flash the words out of my mouth. I, I'm, I'm we're, stealing we're moving into Route 66. not say anything about Route 66. Uh, hey. and we'll see. <laughs> stealing my thunder there, man. <laughs> but uh, yes, we are moving in there. Um, it looks like, I believe, Worthington Kilborn is on the attack again, uh, which will put Reynoldsburg on the offense. What do you think about that? Yes. Um, I think uh, with a uh, dive comp, it's going to be um ready for battle. Uh whatever. Uh I believe the the graphic is flipped. Um but yes, yes I, I I believe that Worthington Kilborn and Reynoldsburg are flipped. Yes. But in other news, um thank you. Uh I think Reynoldsburg um on the defense um they are going to be they're playing Sigma, which mm-hmm. we haven't seen yet. Um and that's and they're playing poke. That's pretty much how they're playing it. Yeah. And I think that's going to be either really good or really bad against Doom. Because if you could, if Doom dives in and you can poke off like the Lucio and and or the oh they have a widow now. Uh, if you can poke like the Lucio or even the widow, um, you already like um halfway there. Halfway there, exactly. I'm oh. really interested. Widow is not new for Worthington Kilborn, but definitely not used. At all. I mean, they pulled it out on King's Row once to peek out a point, but they didn't run it again. Let's see how Widow will go. They're probably trying to play it into the hit scan right now. Sigma will be interesting. It's Ooh. doable. Check is taking some damage. Now, I think Reynoldsburg has switched up their strategy. Now, the problem with Zen, but also the greatest thing about Zen, is if you see it, is his Discord work. If he can put Discord on Doom, Doom is going to die. Mm-hmm. But since they're playing dive, Zen has no mobility, yeah. and Zen will get picked off. Constantly, and it looks like Zen is gone. It was a good choice, a sad one to do, but it looks like Reynoldsburg is pulling out what worked last time running counter dive. Now, this can work really well. Check will have to pull back now, or he'll be stuck with his own team, which is not put him in his prime. However, a close hallway is not key for Reynoldsburg, as Winston will be taking a punch for that. Definitely getting punished for going first, and that will be the end of him. Leaving check with the rest of the team. Uh, looks like his team will be with him. And it looks like Reynoldsburg is not able to pull out. I assume we will see a swap off of Widow. Dive is not going to be key for her. And I assume Worthington Kilborn Kilbo- will fully commit to the dive comp. Yep, here we go. We have Reaper. Uh, I think it's just going to be dive versus dive. Reynoldsburg has pulled it out before. It worked it's- in their last game. The question is whether or not it will work here. Winston was out of position earlier. It can be fixed. The question is whether or not he's actually going to be able to get picks with it or if the Reaper is going to stop him. Reaper is a common Winston counter. What do you think, Logan? Yeah, um, I think, again, oh, as we're going to see the, uh, the Winston swap, so my entire argument is f- not valid anymore. Yep, well, what do you think about Ramatra now? <laughs> I think Ramatra is going to be a really interesting... When you have so many dive kind of characters, but not a dive tank, it's going to be very hard to play around their team, but with your tank at yeah. the same time. Um, and I'm kind of curious on to see how that will unfold. Looks like it will work fairly well. They did trade for the Lucio. That started healing the part of mobility right there. Already goes down. Kilborn's down at support lineup right here. This could be good. Reynoldsburg looks like they're going to keep this point. Check is pressured down. Has to leave. It looks like they're going to hold on to this point for a little while longer. Getting them into that four-minute time frame. It's interesting. Yeah. Looks it's like a very interesting um, game. And in the mid-fight, you know, uh, I just want to take the time to talk about, you know, I guess I, I don't know what I'm saying. But um, Check is... Just awesome. He's really good at the game. He's playing it well. And um, I guess I've been watching. We've been talking about him a lot, but yes. I just it's just insane. Yeah, and the Doomfist play is very good. It's forcing Reynoldsburg to try out a lot that it hasn't before, but also putting Killworn at a different advantage too. 
They see that they're having to have the DPS play a lot of counters to Rumblesburg's style, which is going both for and against them. Soldier gameplay is really good for Killborn, but it is not their strong suit. If Rumblesburg pulls out a lot of flying characters on the attack, I would not be surprised if it's going to put Killborn in a little bit of a struggle here. However, for the moment, they are taking the lead with 4 minutes 30 seconds onto the final point. If they do this quick, they do it efficiently, they could end up with three extra minutes on a escort map, which is critical for a team like this, where now you don't have to worry about losing the point, you don't have to worry about very much at all. All you need to do is worry about the fights that matter. And we're going to see both both teams have two ults, and um, actually, as Czech is about to use his ult, um, I don't know. Lucio gets picked off. We're, I don't know if we're going to see her Matra ult here yet. I don't know. It's going to put a lot of pressure on Rumblesburg to try and win this point. They cannot lose these fights. They're losing a lot. That is not good. With Ramatra out, that puts... in spawn. Yeah, that put loads of pressure on them. They're going to have to ult to win the point, which, of course, Kilborn does not have ult advantage, but they do have player advantage. I mean, having the Doomfist in the back line is going to be critical, and now he's in front of your spawn. <laughs> it's definitely going to be tough. Czech will take great advantage of this, and I'm not surprised that Rumblesburg will pull out everything they have to win this. They're going to try not to, but they might not have a choice. Uh, yeah, my guess is that we see ults as soon as they get them. We're going to see probably Soldier ult the second Soldier gets ult. Same with probably Tracer. Yep. Um, Actually, it looks like Reynoldsburg did not pull out anything. Uh, Worthington and Kilborn pulled back a little bit, got their team back together. Now we see one to three ults, two to three, possibly two, three to four. Looks like we have... We see Ko, we see... Yep. We're going to see B. This is a tough one here for Worthington Kilborn. Soldier Visor being beaten by a Tracer Bomb, as well as Moira not coming out. Uh, Moira's Essence not coming out to the way they thought it would. It's going to go back and forth, but we did see Ramatra and Lucio go. Lucio is a critical one here. That's going to stop a lot of abilities, which could give Tracer what she needs, as well as their own Lucio to stop some of their abilities. We'll see. And we know Kiriko's going to come out, so I think Lucio will probably play counter to that. I don't know what else will be seen. We might see a Tracer Pulse Bomb here. Yes. On the Echo or the Lucio. She's looking for it. Uh, he's not going to use it. Oh, they cannot let this Soldier 76 get Visor out on them. But I believe Worthington Kilborn will actually be running away from this fight. Calling it quits for now. They have the time. They have the, the ult. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, yeah, if they just... They just hold off, hang out, mm -hmm. regroup, get some comms, and uh, re-push. Well, the difference here is now alt advantage lies with Killborn. They're going to have three to zero. And it doesn't look like anybody but... Well, Tracer might get Pulse Bomb, but that's the only one we're going to be seeing. And Tracer Pulse Bomb is good, but when countered into Lucio, it definitely can be ineffective. Uh, looking around, check gets a good finish. Doing well, Lucio B comes in, unable to save the Moira, but they are still moving a lot of pressure on Ramatra, who is low and going. Ramatra is going, going, gone, and that is going to be now onto the Moira and Tracer to hold for over. Doing well right now. Payload is getting moved. I don't know who's on it contesting. Reynoldsburg is not able to stop them yet. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, barely stopped. And they do get the hold. But it's going to be very staggered, and they're going to get two. Mm -hmm. We're going to see if they can get the Doomfist. And oh. Doomfist is going to get it, but he's going to get picked off. Check was good, but could not get the entire team off of there, sadly. You can see his team was trying to run up there to give him some heals, but it was sadly not enough. They do get one more fight. They are less than two meters away. I mean, all it takes, you win one fight, you're going to win this point problem is that no longer alt advantage lies with Reynoldsburg. That means they're going to have Ramacha, they're going to have Echo, and a lot of others comparative to our possibly Soldier, maybe Moira. We'll see. Well, not ours, but Killborns. <laughs> see, looking through. Ramacha comes out. Doomfist now has to play into that. No alts coming back from Reynoldsburg. They're going to have to use Soldier Visor here. They only have 23 seconds left. You can hear them screaming comms in the background trying yeah. to call characters. And we're going to see 17 seconds left. With 17 seconds, I would not be surprised if Doomfist uses alt to simply touch the point. If Lucio goes down, that's a tough one right there. <sighs> Check has no choice. He has to touch five the point. seconds. Someone has to. Three, two. And they're going to get their touch, but we're going to see probably every alt come out. 
We got you everything possible. Reminds me of a bronze lobby every Q. You have no choice. They have three alts. They need to use them. Morwen needs to get on there. Soldier needs to get on there. Visor did not do anything for them, but perhaps Morwen's coalescence could do something. We'll be seeing it come out. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Using it to heal check, trying to keep him in the fight. It will not be enough, sadly, and it does not look like when the Kabon will be able to get this captured. Now, they didn't push it all the way. No. The last time Roundsburg won yes. was the same outcome. Mm -hmm. It was Eichenwald. They they pushed it. They didn't push it all the way, and um, they won. Yeah. So we are going to see what happens. We see, um, I believe... I don't know which team this is. I'll be honest. Believe Worthington Kilborn. I do not know for sure. Actually, Reynoldsburg. I believe. I believe that is Reynoldsburg. We see them, um, hanging out, yeah. trying to you know figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um, Teams are getting set up right now. The key part here is whether or not Worthington Kilborn can actually hold this. Reynoldsburg took advantage last time. You were really right. Hybrid. Yeah. They won because Worthington Kilborn could not get it all the way. It's going to be the same thing here. They couldn't get it all the way. That means Reynoldsburg simply has to... They don't even have to play another round after this. They simply have to get it higher than 72.91, and then you take it from there. Agreed. Yeah. It's just crazy right now. I mean, we'll see from here. Looks like we're seeing... Again, Doomfist comp. Not surprising from Worthington Kilborn. Uh, Reynoldsburg is pulling out Widow... Ramatra and Tracer, an interesting choice, but Widow might be used here to pick off a lot of the mobile characters of Worthington Kilborn. If you can get a shot, it'll work. And Tracer, I would assume, would uh, help to that benefit. Yeah. This Stressful makes game. me want to go home and play Overwatch. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see off bat. We're going to see if Widow can get a pick. Interesting uh, Widow porch right there, but they're using it. Nice shot. Uncheck. Uh, looks like she is waiting for They are pick. hiding in corners. To prevent being picked off. Good choice from Worthington Killborn. There's no point to peek the Widow if you don't want to. Uh, especially with how open this map is, it's tough to try and fight her there. They'll probably use Doomfist to dive her, but looks like Reynoldsburg is pushing in, going for the Lucio, not letting him escape, and Soldier is next on the chopping block, sadly. Unless he and gets Soldier away. is not okay. going down without a fight. Yeah, running like crazy back there. Reynoldsburg trying to wrap up some kills right here. Making sure that they push back Worthington Kilborn, who will lose their Moira. That's a poor loss right there. Getting four on their point as they keep moving it. This is a tough one right now. If I was Worthington Kilborn, I'd want to contest. But at the same point, Doomfist is having to dive into a check. Yeah, if they can get the contest. Yeah. But we'll be able to hold it. That's the real question here. Maybe if they can get a pick here, they can, they can keep the hold. But they're going to get... Three dead. Yep, I gotta give credit to Ace there. That was a beautiful tracer bomb. Uh, well done. Able to get two with one, one ult. We're just gonna hold for another 15 seconds. That is. Now it's gonna be a five minute hold. Yes, that's tough. We did not see this happen when Worthington Kilborn was on the attack. They had a lot less time, but they were able to get it fairly far. Reynoldsburg is gonna have five minutes now. Five minutes is a huge difference. That means they can have multiple team fights. And with. Uh, Gordon and Kilborn having to pull out a lot of counters now to try and stop Ramatra. It's going to be new range for them. Hopefully, Shek can take advantage of the high ground, but we'll probably be seeing Sun Tzu pushing that point, getting really far, and forcing Shek to operate on his turf. Well, well done shot. Ooh, two. Shot. Shot. Now, we did not see a lot of Widow coming out from Reynoldsburg earlier. It's definitely going to their advantage right now. Of course, the dive was not great, but the lack of a teammate is, can be credited to that. I was wondering if they'll keep the Widow, but hopefully they will. It would definitely serve them well if they kept high ground. Oh, okay. Going for Echo. It's a fair swap. Operate mobility over the Reaper. Ran this last time. Well done for Reynolds. For Worthington Kilborn, getting those two, now three, now four. He limps five. Be a full team wipe right there. Well done. Holding it right at the entrance is definitely interesting. Wait. Hold. Mm hmm. We're going yeah. to see them regroup, and we are going to see another team fight here and see um, if they can get some picks and see what happens. 
definitely interesting. We see the Reaper and Lucio alts are out. Looks like we had Lucio come out for Reynoldsburg. Maybe followed by Ramatra. We'll see. Looks like it was mainly to keep them alive. I think they got a little scared by Reaper pushing and aggroing just a little bit. Uh, Reynoldsburg has handled the Tracer. They're backing out right now. Well, Reynoldsburg is pushing in. Yeah. Um, pretty much a lost team fight. You're going to try yes. and get out, try and die, and try and regroup and see what happens. Yep. We actually see them... All right. Watch it. it. Looks like a little bit of skirmish right now. I'm surprised the Boyfriend and Killborn is so grouped together. Ooh. Taken down by Ace. Ace then taken down by Sal. Moving in. Oh, a poor Reaper ult right there. Pushed out of the way by Lucio. But is it going to punish them? No. Sal will go in for the kill anyways. You can hear them in the background again screaming. Trying to get picks. Figure out who to, who to get. Yeah, a lot was committed by Reynoldsburg here, and it is tough to watch them not get anything out of it. We will see. It looks like they are going to try to regroup and get back onto the point in time. Although, I don't think it will be enough. It looks like Worthington Kilborn will be back on the point again. Yep, back to holding it. They're doing really well. Of the, f what, five minutes that they had, they've got them down to two. Definitely critical right here to keep them off the point as long as possible with these finals. Close. Alt advantage is favoring Killborn, but will they use them? Yes, they will. See Moira come out. Coalesces on both sides, punishing Reynoldsburg. Well done. Three down. They will not be able to take it. Check moving still. Well done. Keeping the Ramantra back. Good hold. Good hold. Even trying to finish the kill on the Ramantra. We see Ramantra go down. That's going to be a great standard Oh. Yeah, I would not be surprised if this is going to come down to overtime to try and get to this last point. We'll see We'll see Tracer ult, and yeah. we'll probably see Beat by the end of this um, uh, against Doomfist and maybe Reaper. Yes. So it'll be, I think this last fight, it, this will probably be the last fight unless they can get out. Um, yes. Ramatra lacks the mobility, yeah. Looks like they're going to kill the Lucio. Trying to keep it up with Tracer. I don't know if it'll happen. Uh. And that'll be Widow and Lucio and Moira down. Yep. The end goal here is just get out and try and see if you can get a regal route. And Raids on either Luke's side. Gone. 45 seconds left. We're yeah. gonna, they're going to get a regroup. Try and, try and figure out what's going on. And Hi. <laughs> we see Reaper saying hi. Yes, saying hi to the camera, of course. I don't know what's exactly going on there. I think they're trying to come through the hallway, and Reaper's going to try to take advantage of that with alt. Ooh, one goes down for working to kill Born. Will it be two? Looks like the guy's good. Oh, that is a tough one for Reynoldsburg. It's going to be a big, big... Reynoldsburg is going to have to get a touch here. Yeah. Try and get some picks, try and see what's going on. Losing players right now. Huge staggers from both sides. Some Ten seconds left. They got to get... They gotta get a touch. I don't even, I don't know if Ball will get a touch. Lucio will get that touch, hopefully. Let's check and stop him. Miss the punch. Lucio, Lucio does get the touch. touch. And now it's up to Ball to hold for as long as possible. I don't think that's and gonna Ball happen. Gets cooked off, and it's just gonna be Tracer and Moira. And Stress is high for Can and they keep Tracer. Tracer against the beat, and that will not. be... Lucio is gonna get back on. Diving on. Might be able and to get someone else. might be the game. Yeah, that is. Reynoldsburg, yeah, was not able to push it as far. We were not able to keep the pressure like they were on hybrid, and that will be Worthington's fourth win. And, and that's that, it. That is game. Yes, yeah, states, I believe. That I don't believe that's states. Not states. I believe this is regionals. Regionals. Sorry, we'll win the regionals. <laughs> My mistake. Beautiful game by yes. both both teams. Honestly, yes. um, better than I will ever play. Better than probably ever play. Not this that game. hurts. That hurts. <laughs> hey. It's sad to see a, a loss like that, mm. but we know Reynoldsburg beat it back next year, hopefully. Yes. And they should um, just know what they did wrong. And yeah. See what happens. Plus, uh, encourage the rivalry, right? Hopefully, next year they'll. I guess again. this is a rivalry now. Uh, it's official. We've, we've said it here. We've it's been a rivalry. Yep. 
Um, but uh, it was really interesting. I mean, Doomfist was really good. Check came out always on top. They never switched off of the Doomfist comp, and they forced Reynoldsburg to play into that. One um, quick thing before we do finish, though, on behalf of Esports Ohio, we would like to thank the National Cup for the sponsorship, and then of course, on behalf of Ohio University, we'd like to thank PNC and Lenovo for making esports possible here for the sponsorships as well. Yeah, we've been saying it um, over over the the course of the stream if you've been watching, but yeah, you know. This isn't possible without, you know, sponsors like them um, doing their stuff, you know. Um, it's just, it's so nice when um, companies and stuff believe that we can do this and, you know, be successful in this and, you know, um, it's just, it's very, I guess, this isn't possible without them. So yes. We just want to thank them. Um, thank you to the teams that are playing. Mm -hmm. um, thank you to the parents. Um, and thank you to the players and coaches. Yeah. You know, this is this is such a fun event to do and such a fun, you know, thing. And without any of those, it's not possible. So. Yeah. To point out one other quick thing, Day 2 will be hosting, I believe, Valorant as well as Rocket League. Any other games you've seen on there, Logan? Uh, I'm looking at the sheet right now. We will see. Valorant and Rocket League. Okay. Well, those two games will be here tomorrow. We will, of course, be having some commentators there. Probably not us. I'm not as good as oh, Rocket maybe. League players maybe. are. I'm going to try and get Addison up early in the morning. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that's all we got right now. Yeah, so, that's, that's us. Yeah. It was awesome being your commentators for today. Uh, I was Addison. I'm Logan. And yeah, we will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.